Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc. Yesterday, we hit 750 wins in Triple Threat Offline. That was a whole different grind than what we're about to do today. Today, we're playing Domination. We're getting started on Heat Check Domination. We're gonna start on our full playthrough of Heat Check Domination. 33 games, 99 stars, starting with the Atlantic Division and my favorite team, the Knicks. Yeah, the Knicks. So it's gonna be fun playing through Domination. Yesterday, like I said, we finished up Triple Threat, which is a bunch of three-on-three -three games, man. A bunch of three-on-three -three games, games to 21. Pretty short games, pretty simple games. But these Domination games, five-minute quarters, man, 33 games, five-minute quarters. It's gonna be a grind, but we're gonna get started on that grind right here, right now. What's up, Zany? Splash Inc. What's good, Nick? Nick said, Obi Toppin! What's good, NBA gameplay? Lyrical Ice, Adam Bertanke, A Bay, Ryder. Man, it's good to see all you guys in the stream today. NBA say, Wow, I can never go through 750 games. And adding all the games you lose. I didn't lose a single game, so there you go. What's up, Grant? What's up, Jamari? What's up, Puff? A Bay? Man, we got a lot to do today, so let's get right to it. Let's start with the Knicks. That's my favorite team. We'll play on Hall of Fame difficulty, or Hall of Fame difficulty. I even put together a domination lineup. We're going to be using Curry, who y'all already knew I was going to use him. We're going to use Eddie Jones and Chris Mullen just for fun. We got Blake and Bill Russell, and we got a few guys off the bench just in case. So there we go. Let's get right to it. What's up, Dynamite? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Flash Gamer? What's up, Chris Guzman? What's good, Ryder? Nick said, Antoine takes 15 to 18 hours. I thought he takes 16 or 17. Each game's like 30 minutes long, so... Doing all the math and the in-between games and the timeouts and the dead balls and stuff, I feel like it takes about 17 hours. What's up, Peleg? Welcome back to the stream. Adam says I have mostly amethyst. Thankfully, I have a few pink diamonds I can use. And a couple opals, I guess. What's good, Wiggy? Welcome to the stream. Puff said I got my ring this morning. Nice. I hope you feel better, Kyle. No, same here, man. Same here. I'm sorry I didn't read that chat earlier. I hope you get better, man. I'm glad that it hasn't been too bad for you. You're a strong dude, though, so keep fighting through it, man. You're going to be all right, my boy. Young Glock said, congrats on 6K. Appreciate it. 6K, big milestone, man. I didn't think we were going to hit it yesterday, but I was mistaken. I was clearly mistaken. And I appreciate you dropping by today. What's good, Edison? Welcome to the stream. I just started the Dom grind today. Me too. Adam said, did you get Doug West? Yes, I did. Splash Inc. said, are you going to grind XP while doing this? Probably not. What's good, RJL? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Liam? Welcome to the stream. And Surge2K. Also, what's up? This is The Way Sports. Nice to have you in the stream. Hope all you guys are ready for a, a pretty chill stream today. We're not going to finish Domination today. I'm probably only going to finish like half of it. Because I want to save some content for tomorrow. I'm going to do half of it today, half of it tomorrow. I know it says full playthrough, and trust me, this is a full playthrough, but... This is going to be part one, and eventually, I'm going to put the link to part two in the description, but part two hasn't happened yet, so let's go ahead and get through part one, and then we're going to do part two tomorrow. We're starting off pretty strong, though, playing some decent defense. Five minute quarter game, so my goal is just to win. I really don't care how much we win by. The goal is just to get as many wins as we can. As fast as we can. What's good, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Beans? Dynamite says I've been here since 3.7K. Congrats. I appreciate it. Yeah, yesterday we hit 6,000. I didn't see that coming. Maybe we'll hit 6.1 thousand today, but I really haven't thought that far ahead. I just appreciate everybody for showing up. It's been a long time since I've played like actual domination 5v5, so 
If I start off a little bit rusty today, don't be surprised, but we're looking pretty good early. What's good, Colix? Welcome to the stream. Puff said, how's that Bill Russell doing? He's so good defensively, but I haven't really tested him out on offense. He has a B-3 pointer, but he only has, you know, zero shooting badges. So, even though he has a decent three-point rating, he's not a great three-point shooter because you need badges, but defensively, he's great. Let's feed it to him in the post and see if he can get me an easy bucket over Alec Burks. What's good the other side? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Easy Williams? And what's up, Austin? Austin said, just snipe throw again. That's a dub. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We have 69 people in here, but we only have 39 likes on the stream, so you guys hit that like button for me if you haven't already. Drop a like on the stream. Every single like helps the stream get out there. More people will see it, and possibly more people will join, so that's what happened yesterday, man. We had so many people joining the stream. We had so many new viewers in here yesterday, and that's why we gained a lot of subs yesterday, so... Every single person who likes the stream, every single person who's even in here, every single person talking in the chat is a huge help, man. It really helps the channel grow, even though you may not realize that. It's a huge help, so I appreciate all y'all, and hey, every single like means a lot to me, man. What's up, Lou Dort? Welcome to the stream. Jaden Gwynn says, how's it going? It's going good. Having a good day. It's been pretty chill. Yesterday, we got a long stream in, and today, we're going to get another long stream in, so... Yeah, you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy today's stream. And if you're actually watching the gameplay, turn your stream up to 1080p. Turn the video quality up to 1080 for the best viewing experience possible. You will not be disappointed. I don't think you'll be disappointed, at least. Adam said PS5 or Xbox? Xbox. Goat Mode said YBZ, you there? YBZ's always in here. I don't know if he's in here right now, but YBZ always comes around. That's my boy. Goat Mode said, like up the stream, everybody. Yes, sir. Y'all listen to Goat Mode. Drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. Jay Bucket says, I pulled Isaiah Thomas from the weekly challenge. That's a dub. What's good, Codeine? Welcome to the stream. Ludor says, I like the heat check packs, or the heat check cards, because you don't know what you're getting. It could be a 69 or 94. That's true. That's true. Yesterday, I opened up one heat check pack. It was a reward, I think. And I got Carl Anthony Towns. So, decent. There aren't many Carl Towns on the auction house for heat check. So, I think I might wait for him to return. Maybe his price will go up. Maybe I can sell him. I don't know. We'll have to see, but that's the great thing about heat check packs. You're 100% correct. You never know what you're going to get. What's good, Senua? What's up, Jace Praveen? Welcome to the stream. Jamari says, I got Jason Tatum. Kyle Clark said, the GOAT. Lou Dort. Lou Dort is the GOAT. You weren't lying about that one. McCoy Boy says, I'm in a basketball tournament. Wish me luck. Good luck, McCoy. Lou Dort says, I'm so happy I got a ruby. But to be honest, I deserve an opal. Especially after that 30-point performance in Game 7. Of course you deserve an opal. But I guess that, uh... I guess a ruby card is fine. I guess there's nothing wrong with a ruby. Puff says, if you haven't already, drop a like. Yes, sir. Y'all listen to Puff. He knows exactly what he's talking about. And like I said earlier, yesterday we hit, how many subscribers? 6,000, so maybe today we'll hit 6.1. I don't know. What's up, Elijah? Welcome to the stream. Adam says, what's good, Doc? You got the updates done. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. I hate that I couldn't run with you last night, but... I might be able to tonight, depending on how I'm feeling. The other side says I'm on the second page. Good for you. Pineapple Lump said, what's up, Doc? You're a machine. Facts. Facts. The grind never stops. The grind never stops. What's up, Mirko? Welcome to the stream. Elijah said, damn, early stream. Yesterday's stream was earlier. Just saying. Not a bad first quarter. They scored, but I guess that's not a big deal. This is like a warm-up game for me because this is my first time playing today, so I'm a little bit rusty. Gotta get my, gotta get warmed up because we're gonna play a lot of games today. What's up, Frumpy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Giovanni? Welcome back. Scott Yem said, what's up, Doc? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too, my boy. Giovanni said, how's your day? Can't complain. Pretty good day so far. Pretty good day. 
I mean, I haven't done much. I've been resting. Yesterday was a long day for me. Of course, I streamed for nine hours. I went to the gym twice. Got to spend time with some family at night, though, so that's always a great thing. Yesterday was a good day, and maybe today is going to be even better. I don't know if it's going to be a better stream, though, because yesterday's stream was insanely good. Got like 11,000 views, 200 new subs. There's no way we're going to do that today, but hey, you never know. My goal is to make this stream partly as good as yesterday's stream. Partly. Splash Inc. says, going to try to get my hand back to normal. Good for you. What's good, Michael Sanchez? Welcome to the stream. What's up, chaps? Welcome to the stream, my boy. Everybody in the stream, say what's up to me. Say hi to me if you haven't already. Let me know how you're doing. Especially if you're back here from yesterday. Easy Williams said, where's Antoine Jameson? He's the reward for domination. Lil Codeine said, eight games to go. Nice. Yeah, I have a lot more than eight games to go. Giovanni says, I'll try to tell people to subscribe to you. Appreciate that. What's up, Ernie? Welcome to the stream. And what's up, Odd Squad? Welcome to the stream. Lil Codine said, who's the best diamond reward? Probably either Hal Greer or Lou Hudson. Antonio Davis isn't too bad either, though. And I'm pretty sure there's some new diamond rewards, but I really have no idea who they are. I know about the new pink diamond rewards and the new opal rewards, but other than that, I don't know the rewards very well, sadly. I wish I could give you more help, but sadly, that's all I know. Abe said, yo, Doc, one day you're going to reach 1 million subs. I don't know about that, but... My goal is to grow the channel as much as I can, and to put as much work into it as I can. I really enjoy doing this, so 1 million would be cool, but that's not going to happen. What's good, Mongoose? Welcome to the stream. HD says, I'm excited for Russ. Me too. Me too. That Russ is going to be real good. I'm also looking forward to getting him in my team limited. Otaniel said, who's better, D. Wade or Baron Davis? Definitely D. Wade. Senawa says, if you are new and you like the stream, sub that's very true if you're new and you have not subscribed yet i would love it if you subbed of course it's not mandatory but it really does help the channel grow every single sub matters but hey it's not all about the numbers it's not all about the subs for me it's about the interaction just playing the game getting to talk to y'all spend time in the stream i'd say those are the most important things for sure frumpy said when are you going to grind xp Sometime this season. I haven't thought that far ahead, though. Right now, I'm focused on domination. Giovanni said LeBron or Kobe. LeBron's much better than Kobe. Kobe's one of the greatest ever, but LeBron's undoubtedly the better player. Tank Time said, you're God. Not even close, but I appreciate the love, my guy. Jacob says, what's good? Are you grinding XP? No, I'm not. I'm just doing domination, and eventually we'll grind XP. Domination's the focus right now. Yesterday, the focus was triple threat, so the focus changes every day. What's good, fresh day? Welcome to the stream. Liam says, I'm back. Haven't seen you in so long. I haven't seen you either, but it's good to have you back. What's up, VDK? Welcome to the stream. VDK, Liam, everybody in here. Hope y'all are having a good day so far, man. Hope y'all are ready for an awesome stream, too. It's going to be a long stream. Not as long as yesterday's, but it's still going to be pretty long. We're going to finish the first half of Domination today. We're going to finish the second half tomorrow, so it's a gradual grind, man. We're starting off today, and just so we have some content tomorrow, we're going to finish up tomorrow, because let's be honest, I could totally do this all in one stream, but nah. We'll just save some for tomorrow and get some more done tomorrow. What's up, Kuda Coolin? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Molly Maul? Welcome to the stream. She Love Bandit says, tips on getting Kawhi, no money spent. Save up MT, buy players on the auction house, sell them back, and do some challenges. Rinse and repeat. It's that easy. Jacob says I'm doing XP and Dom together. See, that's a pretty smart idea, but I really haven't bought any players from the new season yet, so I could be doing XP challenges, but nah. See, I want to get through these games as fast as I can. I could have prepared better, and I could have definitely done some domination with the XP players, but... We'll do that another day for sure. Ryder says, what's up? I'm back from yesterday. Welcome back, Ryder. Nice to have you back in the stream, my boy. Senua says, it's kind of sad because my uncle doesn't want to grind. I mean, to be fair, grinding 2K, grinding domination, triple threat, it takes a lot of time. It's not hard to do, but it's super time consuming. 
And that's the biggest turnoff for some people. Some guys are like, why should I grind for these cards when I can just, you know, spend some money and buy them instead? Like, why go for someone like Hawaii when you can get someone else like, you know, Kevin Durant on the auction house? That's the mentality for a lot of people, and that's why some people don't like to grind. But we do. So that's why we're grinding today. After getting Doug West yesterday, we're immediately going for Antoine Jameson today. That's right, the grind don't stop around here. What's good, Anthony? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you back in here. Chap said, CP, you get Jameson today. Nah, we literally just started the stream, so... No, we haven't gotten Jameson yet. That's such a silly question. Tank Time said, should I get Cat? Are you talking about Heat Check Cat? Or what cat? Are you talking about the Sapphire Cat in the exchange? That's a great question. I don't know which cat you're talking about. Epic Cockroach said, I'm working on the Sixers right now. I'm on the Hall of Fame game. Hey, keep on grinding. Good luck on that Hall of Fame game. This is the first game of the stream. I'm playing versus the Knicks on Hall of Fame. But the Knicks are the Knicks. And I don't think this is actually Hall of Fame difficulty. I think this is like Superstar. But hey, to each his own. We're off to a good start. We're playing some good defense, which is a great thing. Come on, Eddie Jones! Not a bad start to the game. Not a bad start at all. What's up, Christian? Welcome to the stream. RL33 said, hey, Doc, how's the Doug West card? Doug West is surprisingly good. I'm going to post a gameplay video probably tomorrow. He is surprisingly good. You guys, honestly, you guys are probably expecting him not to be very good. I know I wasn't expecting him to be very good, but he surprised me yesterday. And he's going to surprise y'all too. But yeah, fresh day. To answer your question, he was very good. What's up, Coombs? Welcome to the stream. Anthony says, yo, Doc, have you gotten your ring yet? Yes, I got my ring yesterday. Herbs said, hey, Doc, I was the 69th like. Yes, sir, Herbs. Like number 69. Congratulations on that. That's what I'm talking about. Felipe says, if you're on Xbox, can you do the domination glitch? I don't know about a domination glitch. I'm just going to play through the games. I want to give you guys some gameplay. And, I mean, if you guys are actually watch watching the gameplay, turn the stream quality up to 1080p for the best viewing experience possible. I'm just trying to give you guys some gameplay. And, see, it would be boring if I did some glitch or skipped through the games, so... I don't want this ring to be boring, so we're going to play through each game fair and square. The Great said, hey Doc, how are you liking Season 4 so far? Honestly, I'm loving it, dude. Of course, there are problems with XP yesterday. Some people were losing their rings. Some guys were like going down in tears and unlimited. There were so many glitches going on yesterday, but content-wise, I'm loving Season 4 so far. Yesterday, we finished up Triple Threat. Today, we're going to play some Domination. And we're not going to finish it today, but we're going to make some good progress and we're going to get probably halfway done if I had to give you guys a prediction. Nico said, what game are you on? Game number one. Lou Dort says, is Isaiah Thomas good? Isaiah Thomas is good, but his price has gone down a lot since he first, since he first dropped yesterday. I haven't used him, but I've seen some gameplay. Super fun looking card. Goonie says, what's up, Doc? What's up, Goonie? Welcome back from yesterday. Giovanni says, do you like Kyrie? Yes, I do. ASG said, should I get Westbrook if I have D. White and Barron? Maybe. I don't know how good Westbrook's going to be, but he looks like he's going to be a, a pretty fun card. He looks like he's going to be fun, but if you have Barron, if you have D. Wade, then you definitely don't need him as much, for sure. Omar says, do you only play the Hall of Fame games? I mean... You only have to play on Hall of Fame. You don't have to play on Pro. You don't have to play on All-Star or whatever. And you only get three stars if you play on Hall of Fame. So playing on Hall of Fame is the only thing you should do. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome back to the stream. What's up, Skelly23? Welcome to the stream. We got 121 people in here. I hope all you guys are enjoying the stream so far. We're just getting started. It's going to be a long stream. And if any of you guys watching are new to my channel, talk to me in the chat, let me know how you're doing, and subscribe if you're enjoying what you see. David said, what ball is that? I'm using the disco ball. 
Brian Good said, just finished up the first page of Domination. Nice. I'm working on the first page right now. Flash Gamer said, who's your favorite NBA team other than the Knicks? My second favorite team is the Hawks. What's good, John Ventura? Welcome to the stream. Mally says, I only play the three-star games. You shouldn't play any games other than the three-star games because if you don't get three stars every game, you're not going to finish with 99 stars. And finishing with 99 stars, that's the whole point. So you guys make sure to play the three-star games and mainly the three-star games. Sebastian says, I've done three and a half pages. Is it worth it? I don't know. You tell me. Has it been worth it so far? G Wu says, got my XP reset. Thankfully, I haven't gotten my XP reset yet. Thankfully, but that was happening to so many of you guys yesterday. And I hope 2K fixes that eventually because I heard they haven't fixed it yet. So I hope they fix that up eventually because a lot of you guys were grinding hard yesterday, getting XP, but y'all lost it because 2K is being weird and glitching, which I don't like. I don't like it at all. Anej says, yo, I am new. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Anej. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to your first stream. Hope you're doing all right, too, and I hope you enjoy your first stream tuning into the channel. Molly said, Doc, did you hit 6,000 subs yesterday? Yes, that was on yesterday's stream. Awesome moment. I didn't see it coming, but you guys surprised me. We gained a lot of new subs yesterday, and we hit 6,000. It was an awesome moment, man. And we're going to see if we can keep the channel growing today. What's good, Ryan? Welcome to the stream, my boy. Welcome back, should I say. Nice to have you back, my guy. Fresh Day said, did you get Byron Beck yesterday? I got Byron Beck three times yesterday. So, yes, to answer your question, I did get Byron Beck. Three times. What's up, Lil Ray's Gaming? Welcome to the stream. I'm new, bro. What's up? Hey, welcome to your first stream as well. If you're a new viewer, talk to me in the chat. Don't be afraid. Let me know how you're doing. Talk to me and enjoy the stream. What's up, Sir Tunes? Welcome to the stream. Splash Inc. said, what level are you? I think I'm like level 10 or 11. I really haven't been doing XP. Of course, yesterday I played Triple Threat offline the entire stream, and today I'm going to play Domination the entire stream, so I'm not really focusing on leveling up yet, but eventually we'll focus on that, but today is not the day. Rossi says, did you get 750 wins in Triple Threat? Yes, I did. Giovanni said, do you have merch? No, I don't. Not yet. I'm going to release merch this year, though. You guys have been asking for it. I know I'm a very small YouTube channel, but hey, if you guys want merch, I'll give it to you, since y'all want it. And I'll make it pretty cheap, too, because I don't want you guys to break the bank. Edward said, bro, love your videos, man. I appreciate you, Edward. I appreciate you, man. I hope you enjoy the streams as well. These streams, they're a lot of fun. Yesterday's stream was a lot of fun. It was nine hours long. Today's stream is probably going to be around the same amount of time, around the same length. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing today, but if I'm feeling it, maybe I will. But like I said earlier, I want to leave some content for tomorrow. We'll probably finish things up tomorrow, but got to get started on things today. What's good, Caleb Rourke? Welcome to the stream. Parker said, yo, Doc, I hit level 15, and then it bumped me back down to level 1. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I have not been grinding XP. Because you guys have been going back down to level 1 after getting to, like, level 15. To be fair, though, level 15 is only like 3,000 XP, so you're not losing that much XP, thankfully. It doesn't take very long to get it back either, so it sucks that you guys are losing XP, but thankfully you aren't losing much XP. Tank Time says, I love your streams because you look at the comments. I always try to look at the comments, and I try to read every single one. Sometimes I'll miss a comment. Sometimes... I'll be focused on the game and I won't see some comments, but I promise you guys, I try to read every single thing that I can. James M says, have you got your ring? Yes, I got my ring last night. What's up, extra spaceship? Hello again. You grinding? Of course I'm grinding, yes. MC Duncan says I'm hunting right now. That's dope. Jude said, Doc, what's up? What's good, Jude? Haven't seen you in a minute, man. Welcome back to the stream, Jude. Also, what's up, Zunquo? Molly Moss says, but do you get the rewards over after the reset? That's a good question. I seriously don't know. My level hasn't reset yet, so I seriously have no idea. That would be very inconvenient if you didn't, though. Lil Ray Gaming says, did you get D-Wade? I got D-Wade, I got Curry, and I got Blake Griffin. 
Getting D-Wade was so easy. Like, they gave, they pretty much gave you free XP. I got D-Wade with, like, three weeks left in the season, so it was pretty easy. Very easy. Edward says, you are slowly getting popular. I can feel it. I don't know about that, but we are slowly building a big community around here, man. You guys are tuning in stream after stream. You guys have been showing up for me consistently. And I can't thank you guys enough for that, man. I can't thank y'all enough. I don't know if popular is the word, but y'all know popularity is not a big deal to me. Just trying to give y'all some fun content as often as I can. And with the new season four in my team, there's a lot of new content to give y'all, which is a great thing. What's up, Germ Germ? Welcome back to the stream. Kyle said is level 15 good. Uh, the season just started, so I don't think any level is truly good. I mean, you can be level zero and you can still get Kawhi Leonard. What's up, Trizzy P? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jacob Asbell? Welcome back. Parker says I got Terry Cummings first game. I haven't played Triple Threat Online yet. Actually, yes, I did. I played a few games yesterday after I finished up Triple Threat Offline. We went 3-0, which was pretty great. Kuda says I sold Heat Check Giannis for 70k. That's a big dub. That's a huge dub. And of course, you guys know that the Heat Check cards, their prices are eventually going to go up because the better that the card plays in person, the card gets better the, and the rating goes up. That's why they call it Heat Check. 2K Story says, are you not ending the stream until you finish? Nah, we're probably not going to finish today. We're going to get started and we're probably going to finish tomorrow. Because I want to stream some today and I want to stream some tomorrow. So we're probably going to do the first half today. We'll do the second half tomorrow. So this stream is still going to be like eight or nine hours long if you guys are okay with that. If you guys want me to do like a four or five hour stream, I got you. But I'm planning on this being a super long one today. A, the MVP, says I sold him for 70k. Sphere says I got Pink Diamond LeBron for 250k. Now he's 470. That's a dub. Lil Ray Gaming says, did you get Pink Diamond S-A-H-W? I don't know what you're talking about. Extra Spaceship said, so what should I do if I just started playing? I think you should start playing Domination or Triple Threat offline. And as your team gets better, you should start playing Triple Threat online. Neal T said, hey, Doc, how's it going? Going pretty well. Going pretty well. How are you doing, Neal? Hope you're doing all right, my guy. Nice to have you back in the stream from yesterday. Today we're playing Domination, though, so a little bit different than what we were doing yesterday. HD said, how many stars you got? Zero. Yeah, we just started. Jude said, Doc, I'm in the diamond tier for Unlimited. What about you? The season just started yesterday. I literally played Unlimited for zero minutes yesterday, so I don't even know what tier that is. Silver, gold, whatever it is, that's what I'm on. Parker said, let me get a heat check, heat check. Extra says, I played 2K20, and I haven't played 2K21. Well, 2K21, my team, is a lot different than from 2K20, my team. In 2K21, there's like a battle pass system, a level up system, so I'd say just get started leveling up, gaining XP, doing whatever challenge you can, and yeah, just go from there. i say Triple Threat Online is the best game mode to play if you want to save up MT. Playing Domination is great for MT and tokens. There's a lot of game modes to play, and that's why I love so much about my team so far this year. It feels like there's always something to do. Whether it's going for an award in Triple Threat Offline, whether it's playing Domination, going for tokens in MT and Galaxy Opal Jameson, playing Unlimited, going for Kevin McHale right now. There's always something to do, it feels like. So that's what I love so far about my team this year. Ryder says, I have 100 wins in Triple Threat, not even close to you. Well, hey, the good thing about Triple Threat Ryder is the games go by super fast, so... Even though you may not have as many wins as I do right now, keep on grinding. You can get like 200 wins in 12 hours if you lock in and win the games fast. Also, I'm on next gen, so the loading times are very good. So that definitely helps me win games faster as well. What's up, Xavian? Welcome to the stream. There we go. Game one in the books. That was a pretty easy first game. That was like a warm up versus the Knicks. Next, I guess we'll play versus the Brooklyn Nets. This should be a little bit of a step up. This game should be a little bit more difficult, but y'all know I'm not really worried about it. Copper says, you don't see my messages. Smiley face. 
Um, I haven't seen you say a single message, so... Yeah, that's the first thing I've seen you say. Smiley face. HD said, should I sell Heat Check Giannis? He's on fire. You might as well sell him. Other guys are selling him for like 70k, so... You might as well sell him too. What's good, Benicio? Welcome to the stream. Game number two, starting right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I just gotta say this real quick. We are two likes away from 100 likes on the stream already, so you guys give this stream a thumbs up. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's get this stream up to 100 likes because we have 160 people in here. Y'all come through for me and let's keep on grinding. Game one versus the Knicks was super easy. Game two versus the Nets should be a little bit more difficult. Should be. Should be. What's up, Mansoor? Welcome to the stream. Parker says, can you only get bad cards from Domination or is it random? I have no idea. This is my first time playing Heat Check Domination, so I seriously have no idea. I don't know what cards we're going to get from those Heat Check packs. Some guys are saying they got Giannis, so I'm assuming you can get some pretty good cards from it. I'm assuming, but I could be wrong. Someone's open. Chris Mullen's open. Giovanni says, will you play games other than 2K? Every now and then, but I usually stream 2K because that's what you guys enjoy watching and I enjoy grinding the game, so I'm usually going to stream 2K, but I enjoy playing some other games too, so I might start doing that more often on the channel. Dean Wade said, CP, I just came to say what's good. I have to go because I have the biggest exam of my life in seven hours. Hey, Dean Wade, good luck, man. Good luck on your exam. Go study and go kill it, man. You got this, my guy. You got this. What's good, Carter? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, should I say. Also, what's up, Javen Malone? Welcome back. So many guys from yesterday are returning, and it's nice to see all you guys back in the stream. I'm happy to have all you guys back, and I'm happy you could return and enjoy the grind. Luke said, when did you get 2K21? September. Ari Held said, what's good? Grinding Dom with you. Yes, sir. I just finished my first game. We're on game number two. So we have a lot of work to do, but y'all know I'm all about the grind, so I'm not going to back down from it. What's up, Laker fan 8? Welcome to the stream. Greens YT says, I got Amethyst Kyrie from the current 21 pack. That's a dub. You got that new Kyrie. Copper says, I just got Byron back from the vault. Nice. I got him yesterday, but I haven't used him yet. I haven't tried him out. How good is he? Let me know. What's up, Gosa? Welcome to the stream. We need the trio of Curry, Johnson, and Wiseman back. That was a great duo. That was a very good duo. So you are not wrong about that. What's up, Not Nation Reacts? Or K Nation Reacts? Welcome to the stream. Lil Ray's get said, How can I tell how many points I have? Do command points in the chat and you can see how many points you have. I'm pretty sure. Exclamation point. Points. Frumpy said, Byron Beck's okay. Yeah, I've heard he's not that great. I haven't used him yet, but he's a free pink diamond, so even if he's not that good, he is a good value card because he's free. Pokemon said, how hard is the grind to 40? Not very hard. Last season it was super easy. This season, I feel like it's also going to be pretty easy. I mean, keep in mind, it was season of giving last in season 3, so... They were handing out XP, making it super easy to get D-Wade. Do you play on Xbox or PS4? I play on Xbox, clearly. Actually, not clearly, because you can't really tell. But yeah, I'm on Xbox. Carlos said, hey Doc, any tips to win unlimited? I mean, I don't really have any tips. I'd say you want to use, you want a good point guard, a guy who can hit threes, create offense for himself, blow by defenders, and you want to surround them with shooters and defenders. That's more of a squad building tip, but I usually use a budget squad online because every now and then I'll match up with a good team, but usually I'll match up versus teams that aren't as good as mine when I use my budget squad. What's up, Patchmade YT? Welcome to the stream. PD2K says, where are you at on the grind? We just started. We've been live for 35 minutes. This is game number two. Giovanni said, who's your favorite rapper? Either Kanye West or J. Cole. I'm a classic man, I feel like. Oh, I wasn't playing defense. I was looking at the chat. Gosa says, do you play basketball in real life? I used to. Little Ray's Gaming says, any tips for limited lineups? Not really. 
Not really limited so easy this week. I don't have many tips for you. I'd say use a good point guard or score. A guy who can hit threes, kind of like Tyler Hero, De'Aaron Fox. Those guys are pretty good. D'Angelo Russell is also a good point guard. You can also use a Ruby player, a Ruby big man like Thon Maker, for example. I'd say he's a pretty good player to use. You can also use Bull Bull, Minute Bull. Just use whoever you want to, and some pretty good Sapphires are guys like Jordan Clarkson. Of course, the LeBron from, I think it was season two, is pretty good too, front for limited. There's a lot of good players you can use, but the ones I named are pretty much my favorites. What's up, Disc? Welcome to the stream. Ari Held says use Foltz. Foltz is a really good one to use. I played against him a lot yesterday. Foltz is a very, very good player to use in Limited. A good Ruby. Let's go, Blake. Jacob says I use Ruby Trey. Ruby Trey is also good. I played against him a few times yesterday. Ruby Trey and Sapphire Trey Young. Trey Young cards, they can shoot so fast. They're so quick off the dribble. They're pretty good to use in Limited this weekend, for sure. James Chris said, CP the doc for three. Bang, yes sir. Not off to the best start in this game. We've already given up nine points, but we should still win. Y'all know I really don't care how much I win by. All that matters is that we get these games done. Hey man, we got 200 people in here. That is more people than we had in here the entire time yesterday. You guys hang around, enjoy the stream, and talk to me in the chat if you're new. Let me know how you're doing, and let me know how you're doing on the Season 4 grind so far. I'm assuming a bunch of you guys play 2K. Let me know how you're doing, and let me know how you're enjoying Season 4 so far, because I'm loving it so far, content-wise. Of course, there have been a lot of glitches. I was talking about them earlier. People are losing XP. People are losing their My Team Limited rings, which is so inconvenient, but content-wise, there's so much to do. And that's why I'm loving so far about the new season, for sure. HD says they need to add heat check packs to the pack market. That would be interesting, man. They need to do that. We've been getting heat check packs by playing, like, limited, playing other game modes, but heat check packs in the market will be pretty great. PD2K says I'm level 14 through 16. So are you level 14, 15, or 16? You can't be three levels at once. Gavin says I'm level 22, that's pretty good. Shane Doe says I only have 2K20. I know so many guys who went back to 2K20. I'm not one of them, but yeah, I know a lot of people who don't love 2K21, so they're back on 2K20 all because of that. What's up, Jay Greens? Welcome to the stream. What's up, R. Ripley? Welcome to the stream. Swavy says I'm level 6, I have my ring already. Me too, except I'm not level 6. Luke Paul says, do you like the Dallas Mavericks? I'm not a Mavericks fan, but I like watching them a lot. I love watching Luka. He's on my fantasy team. On my other fantasy team, I have Josh Richardson, so I like the Mavericks players individually, but my favorite team's the Knicks. And I will say, I also like Porzingis. He used to play for the Knicks, and I'm a Knicks fan, so even though Porzingis got traded away, I'm still a fan of him for sure. James says I'm stuck at level 16, I don't know what to do. Maybe you should start doing more XP challenges. That's what I would do if I were stuck at level 16. Gosa said, should I get 2K21? It's a lot better than 2K20. And next gen 2K21, I've really enjoyed it so far. I know some guys don't really like it, but it's more realistic than 2K21 on current gen. It's a lot more fun. And my team itself, there's just so much more to do. There's so much more content. It feels like there's always something to do, man. Whether it's leveling up or playing online or offline, there's always something to do, and that's what I've really enjoyed about 2K21, my team so far. Park isn't as good in my opinion on current gen, but the city, a lot of guys love it, and I enjoy playing it, but I don't play it very much, not as much as I play my team. TazGL says, can I see your lineup for the heat check after this? Um, I already deleted it because I finished um, Limited yesterday, but I can tell you what players I used. I used like Ruby Thon Maker, Amethyst, De'Aaron Fox. You can also use someone like Amethyst Tyler Hero. He's a guy I was thinking about using. You can also use Sapphires like Sapphire LeBron, Sapphire Xavier McDaniel, Sapphire Robert Horry, and Sapphire Jordan Clarkson is a very good one because his release is so easy. His release is insanely easy and yeah, if guys play 2-3 zone, Clarkson can hit that wide open 3 for sure. Pretty consistently, matter of fact. 
Derek2k says I'm level 18, but it's hard because I need a thousand XP to level up. A thousand's not very much, so I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. Ahmed says, can I take level 40 Kawhi with no money spent? Yeah, of course. I mean, being no money spent doesn't really matter. Just because you're no money spent doesn't mean you can't get the rewards. Just save up MT and eventually buy players, do their challenges, sell them back and make some profit or make your MT back. Maybe not make some profit, but get your MT back. Tony Allen said Bobby Jones is so underrated. I got Bobby Jones yesterday, but I haven't used him yet. What do you think of him? What's up, Cloud Chaser? Welcome to the stream. Venom Snake says, what's the best way to get level 40? Definitely do some XP challenges, and you should gain XP to level up. Rossi says, just finished the first page of Domination. Nice. Darby says, I missed the ring three times in a row in Limited. Not nice. I'm sorry about that, Darby. Hey, my advice to you is go left every single time. The ring's always on the left for me. And a bunch of you guys yesterday in the stream said that going left was working for you too, so going left is a great thing to do. Jerome says Bobby Jones is a god defensively. I've heard he's really good defensively. Offensively, I haven't heard much about him though, but I've heard Bobby Jones is just a big time player defensively. What's good, Papa Money? Welcome to the stream. Tony Allen said, elite defender, like elite, and he can dunk on people and hit open shots. Well, hey, man, if you're able to lock down on defense and dunk on people and hit open shots, you're going to be a pretty good player. So Bobby Jones, I might have to test him out because I have him, but I haven't used him yet. So I might have to test him out. Maybe this stream, you never know. There's no reason why I can't sub him into the lineup. What's up, the boss? Welcome to the stream. I got Mikhail. That's a dub. Peptic says I'm level 19 right now. Nice. Austin says I went right and got my ring. Come on, Austin. You know the ring's always on the left. Going left is the way to go. It's the thing to do. Going left is always the answer, but I guess you got your ring on the right. I guess you got lucky this time. Come on, Austin. R. Ripley says, did you get Jimmy Butler? Nah, not yet. Patchmade YT says, I'm about to complete the new domination. 84 out of 99, good for you. Saucy said, yo CP, what's up, what's good? What's good, Saucy? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. Nice to have you back. We got over 200 people in here. Y'all let me know how you're doing, and if any of y'all are new to my channel, talk to me in the chat. And if you're enjoying what you see, I would love it if you subbed. Yesterday we hit 6,000 subs. My goal today is 6.1. I don't know how far away we are from that, but I'm sure you guys will let me know when we get there. Gosa says, do you think the Nets will win this year? I got my money on the Lakers. The Lakers, in my opinion, are the most complete team. Ziv says I got the ring on the first game. Nice. Easy Williams said, how do I get a lot of tokens? I think the best ways to get tokens are playing Domination and playing Triple Threat online. If you wanted to, you could also like buy MT and use MT on like collections and you could lock in the collections and get a lot of tokens, but I'd say the best ways to get MT or tokens if you want to play the game is by playing Triple Threat and Domination. What's good, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Chris said I'm new here. Hey man, welcome to your first stream. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to hang around and... You see the title, you know what we're doing. We're just playing Domination and chilling out right now. So hang around, enjoy it, and subscribe if you like what you see. Ziv said, who do you think is going to be the best reward in Season 4? I think it's going to be Kawhi, but a lot of guys don't think Kawhi is that good. I think Kawhi is going to be great because he's six foot eight, a defensive monster. He can play the shooting guard, which is a huge mismatch. I think Kawhi is going to be great. 98 overall, Galaxy Opal, great defensively, offensively, he can dribble, he can shoot. He's going to be a fun player to use, I think. And I'm probably going to use him as my shooting guard. Using tall shooting guards is a good thing to do, man, especially if they can lock down like Kawhi. Cloud Chaser says, who's the best small forward on current gen around 200k? Best small forward on current gen? I really don't know because I haven't played current gen in so long, but... On current gen, I know Kevin Durant's pretty good because of his ability to shoot, his ability to dribble. Paul George is also pretty good. I don't know how much those guys are going for, though. 
I haven't played current gen in a while, so I don't know how good they are on current gen, but Paul George is a favorite of mine, but I sold him back because I wanted as much MT as possible to start this season, but Paul George is great. What's good, Noah Gardner? Welcome back to the stream. HD says Bird or KD. Bird's pretty good. Bird's good, but I know so many guys who actually don't like Bird. So, I guess it kind of depends on what you think of Bird and KD. But KD, if you know how to dribble with them, might be the might be the hardest player to guard in the entire game, in my opinion, because if you're as tall as KD, if you can shoot as well, if you can just pull up from so deep and dribble as fast as a guard can, like, you're going to be hard to guard. So, if you're good at dribbling in 2K, KD could be the best player in my team for you. He's one player I always have a tough time guarding. And y'all know I play some pretty good defense online, but man, guarding that KD is not easy at all. Brian Good said, what jerseys are you wearing? These are some Orlando Magic jerseys. Carter said, Devin Booker is so good. In real life or in the game? Because I agree with you. For both. Not Toxic says, I'm now on page four. That's a dub. Darby says, do you think Russ will be good? I think Russ is going to be real good. But here's the thing. I already have Curry. I already have Baron Davis. I already have Dwayne Wade. I have so many good point guards, so... I want Russell. I'm going to get him because he's a super easy opal to get, but I mean, I don't know where he's going to fit on my team, so we're going to have to test him out after we get him. I already have so many good guards. I would love to pick him up, though, and test him out. Tony Allen said, dude, Bird is going for 175k. That's pretty crazy, man. He was just going for over 300, so if you like Larry Bird cards, if you think you'll like this Larry Bird, and you have 175k MT, you might as well pick him up. Carter said, go T-Wolves. I like a bunch of players on the T-Wolves, but I'm not a T-Wolves fan, and they're off to a bit of a slow start this season. But to be fair, Carl Towns, he's injured. I hope he gets back as fast as possible because I love watching him play. He's one of the most versatile offensive centers ever, to be honest with you. And the Timberwolves, they're a better team when he's out there on the court. So I would love to see him back as soon as possible. Ryder says, I'm on page one, I have three stars. Me too. I'm on page one, I also have three stars. In game one, we beat the Knicks. Right now, we're going for the Nets. Javen says, I'm a Timberwolves fan. The Timberwolves have some young talent, man. They have a good future. I like Carl Towns. I'm a huge fan of D'Angelo Russell. Of course, Anthony Edwards. He had a huge game the other day, dropped a career high. Hernan Gomez played all right for him the other day. Naz Reed's a decent backup center. They got some good pieces, man, but a long way to go, especially defensively. All Ripley says, I'm going to play 2K21 and level up. Bye. Take it easy and have fun leveling up. Look at Eddie Jones knocking down threes. What's up, Adam? Welcome to the stream. Dre2K said, what's a good playbook for domination? Honestly, Dre, I don't really run plays in domination, but... My favorite playbook to use is either the, probably the, either the Rockets or the Bucks. Also, the Hawks Freelance is good, and I never really use it, but I know people who love using it. I don't know how to activate it, but that's a pretty good play you can run. And, I mean, if you have a fast point guard, you can get to the rim every time. And if you can shoot, you can just snatch back every time and shoot threes, drive and kick, all those good things. Christian says, what level are you? I haven't really been grinding XP, so I'm only like level 11 or 12. Yesterday, for anybody who wasn't here, I won all 150 games in Triple Threat Offline. I was the first player in the entire world to get Doug West, Pink Diamond, for winning 750 games in Triple Threat. So I really haven't been grinding XP. I've just been playing offline game modes, and eventually we're going to start playing online game modes too. Duarte said, who's your favorite player? My two favorite players in the NBA right now are D. Rose and Carmelo. I've been a Carmelo fan since 2013. I hope you guys don't make fun of me for that, but Carmelo's always been one of my favorites. Probably always will be one of my favorites. Jerome says, is Doug West good? He is surprisingly good. Way better than Michael Finley. Easily the best triple threat offline player. I'm going to post a gameplay tomorrow. I was going to post it today, but I was like, eh, let me stream early in the day instead. And I'll post the gameplay tomorrow. What's good, Caden Miller? Welcome to the stream. Shane Doe says, what quarter are you in? This is the fourth quarter. Should say that at the bottom left of the screen. 
Rainer says, sheesh, we old heads now. Eh, a little bit, man. A little bit. See, I'm 21, and I first started watching basketball when I was like 13. And ever since I first started watching it, Carmelo became one of my favorite players, and D. Rose. So, yeah, older players, but still fun to watch. And Hall of Famers, no doubt, in my opinion. Kevin said, hey, Doc, I'm going to watch the whole stream. Already subbed and like. I appreciate you, Kevin. Yeah, hang around. It's going to be a long stream. I would love if you can hang around for the whole thing. All you guys. What's up, Ron LeBron? Welcome to the stream. Ryder says, I watch you when I play my team. You make it so much more fun. Hey, that's what I'm here for, man. This my team grind can get super long. It can get just super tedious. And it can get kind of boring if you aren't doing something in the background. So tune into the streams and... I'll give you guys something to listen to, someone to talk to while you're playing the game as well, because keep in mind, you make the streams a lot easier for me too, y'all make them a lot more fun, because sitting here in silence playing 2K is not a fun thing to do. What's good, Mock Builds? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you back in the building, my brother. What's up, Peleg? Welcome back. Rainer says, who's your favorite team? My favorite team's the Knicks. We took an L last night, but we're still 5-4, and four, so I'm not going to complain. Brian Good said, did you see Steph beat the Clippers? Yeah, Steph had a huge game. Steph had a huge game, and the Clippers lose again. The Clippers lost to the Spurs earlier this week, and then they go down to the Warriors. Man, the NBA season's been so crazy so far, man. It's so unpredictable. It really truly feels like any team can win on any given night. So I've really enjoyed watching the NBA so far, and I know the season's only going to get better and better. Darby says, are they going to make an Opal Tatum? I'm not going to get 4,000 cards. They most likely will make an Opal Jason Tatum. Because not many people are going to get 4,000 cards. Eventually, we're going to get Opals and Dark Matters for a bunch of different players. Like Steph Curry, Clay, probably Iguodala. Guys like that. We're going to get so many Opals for players who we don't have Opals for right now. LeBron, for example. KD, for example. So many players are going to get better cards, so... If you don't get Dark Matter Jason Tatum, don't worry. We most likely will get a Galaxy Opal for Jason Tatum, at the very least. Brendan says, is Antoine the best card in the game? Probably not. Probably not. He's a good card, and he's free, so that's a super attractive thing about Jameson, but best card in the game? Probably not. But he does look like he's going to be really good. Antoine Jameson, he's one of those cards in 2K that's either like really good or really bad. Like, really fun to use or really bad. And see, Jameson in 2K20, he was pretty bad. Jameson in 2K19 was pretty good. So I don't know how good he is in 2K21, but I guess we'll have to find out after we get him. Duarte says, where do you live? I'm from Alabama. Adam says, KD needs an opal. It's going to be so good. Dude, I mean, KD's pink diamond's already so good. KD's flash diamond card was also really good. I don't see why his Opal wouldn't be amazing too, for sure. PD2K says, when the Pacers went 4-0. Hey, don't forget, the Cavaliers were 4-0 too, or they were 3-0. The Cavaliers started off really well. The Pacers also started off well. The Orlando Magic started off pretty well too, but they have so many injuries this season, man, and they got destroyed by the Rockets yesterday. The Rockets beat them by 40. I couldn't believe it. Because the Magic, even though they're not a championship contender, they're always a good defensive team. So I can't believe they gave up so many points yesterday and lost by so much, but they have Jonathan Isaac injured. Of course, Michael Carter-Williams is injured. Markel Fultz is injured. I heard Aaron Gordon was sitting out too for a little while. Like, a lot of injuries, man. A lot of injuries early in the season for a bunch of different teams. Amadeus says Bobby, du Bobby Jones' dunk animations are goaded. I've heard. I've heard. I have Bobby Jones, but I haven't used him yet, so I might test him out later this stream. Maybe next game. Actually, nah, we're just going to keep on using this lineup for now, but nah, I've heard about how good Bobby Jones is. Pretty good pink diamond card. Definitely going to try him out at some point. Maybe not this stream, but I'll definitely try him out at some point. Let's just hold the ball for the rest of the game, and there we go. Two wins in two games. We beat the Knicks pretty easily, and we played a little bit better versus the Nets. We didn't get off to a good start defensively, but still a pretty good win. Can't complain about that. Rainer says, you got any XP advice? 
XP advice. Buy players, sell them back once you finish up their challenges, and use the MCU to get back on more players. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, two games down, three games to go in the Atlantic Division. We haven't even been live for one hour, so we're off to a pretty good start. We're on a pretty good pace. Let's play versus the Heat Check. 76ers. Let's get it. Adam said, just ran into an Elite One using a Zen in the park. That is so bad, man. That is so bad. I'm so sorry about that. That's just inconvenient, dude. I hate playing versus guys with Zen because most guys who I play against who use Zen, they aren't even that good at the game, but they're able to hit pretty much every shot they get because of aimbot pretty much. What's good, ham family? Welcome to the stream. Christian said, when do you plan on finishing Dom? Probably tomorrow, so I want to save some content for tomorrow, so I'm going to start on Domination. I'm probably going to do the first half of it. There are 99 stars you need to get, so I'll probably get like 50 stars today, and I'll get the other 49 tomorrow or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to split it up. I'm probably going to do half today, half tomorrow. Brendan says, do you think Tatum and Brown are the best young duo in the league? Definitely one of the best young duos, but... There are some other good young duos in the league who could give them a run for their money, but in terms of guys who are like so young, who haven't even reached their primes yet, I think Tatum and Brown, it probably is the best duo. It's hard to think of many other duos because you think of duos like LeBron and AD, that's not a young duo. You think of duos like Kyrie and KD, that's also not a young duo. Curry and Clay, not young. Like all these, all the best duos in the league. I'd say that Tatum and Brown is probably the best one other than Porzingis and Luka. But Porzingis is going to have to get healthy. No Limit Zoe, welcome to the stream, my boy. Ziv Penso said, who's the best card in the game? In my opinion, in my honest opinion, my favorite card to use is Steph Curry. And I believe he's still the best point guard in the game. Is he the best card in the game? Probably not. But I'm kind of biased. He's my favorite to use. And even though I missed that shot, we never really miss with him. If y'all hang around the streams, you know that. What's good, Splash Central? Welcome to the stream. Mason Stokes said Jokic and Murray. Jokic and Murray's also very good, but like I said, it's so hard to compete with Brown and Tatum. Murray, he's been good this season, but he's got to step up his game like Jokic has. Jokic has been huge so far this season, man. Like, he's putting up like 26, 12, and 11. Insane stats, even better than he was last regular season. Ryder said, do you know a cheap good card? I know a ton of cheap good cards, but let me know what position cheap good card you want and I'll give you a recommendation. Wiggy said, Doc, do you have any tips for limited? Because I can't win, Ruby Curry can't hit a wide open white to save his life. I think you should use Ruby Thon Maker. Probably one of the best budget big men in the game. And you should use someone like Amethyst D'Angelo Russell or Amethyst Tyler Hero. There are so many good Amethyst guards you can use instead of Curry. And yeah, if I were you, I would also get a good Ruby big man in there. Symbiolar, unstoppable in the post. You can also use Ruby Starter Shaq if that's who you pick. Ruby Thon Maker. Ruby Ray Lafrentz, for example, can shoot the three. Ruby, who else? Andre Bargnani. There's so many good Ruby big men in the game you can use instead which is, I think, is the right way to go. Gavin says, have you used Thurl Bailey? I haven't used him, but I've heard he is really, really good. But I haven't used him yet. I heard he's like a miniature Giannis, which, if you're being compared to Giannis, you're a pretty dominant card. Kevin says, hey, Doc, are you going to watch the Buccaneers game tonight? I want to watch as much football as I can. I was watching the Colts game before the stream. Sadly, I probably won't be able to watch much because... Of course, I'm doing this right now. I'm streaming, giving y'all some content. But I love watching football, and yeah, that Colts game was off to a pretty solid start when I was watching it. So the NFL playoff games, I'm sure they're going to be solid. I need you guys to keep me updated, though. Greens YT says you can use Amethyst Donovan. Yes, you can. He's also pretty good. Amethyst Donovan, Amethyst Jimmy Butler, Amethyst Tyler Hero. There's a lot of good Amethyst guards you can use. Do you play my career? Not very often, no. I'll play it every now and then just for fun, but I usually play my team. I stream it all the time. And usually when I'm not streaming, I'm not playing. So, yeah, usually 
I don't play my career. I don't play other stuff off stream. Unless it's like limited or something, which I did last night after I finished streaming. Also, I'm playing so bad. I gotta be better in the second quarter. At least we've only given up 11 points, but man, I'm off to a rough start in this game. We gotta shoot the ball better, and I gotta stop taking so many contested shots. I don't know what I'm doing. Ryder says, I'm gonna try to beat you to 99 stars. I mean, I'm taking a break. I'm not even doing the whole thing today, so you probably will. And I don't really care if you do. Amadeus says, I got heat check AD from Dom. He's 80k. Nice. Frank says, it probably would take 15 hours to complete. Yeah, see, 15 hours is not that bad. It's really not that bad. We finished up the first two games in a little under an hour. And these games, they're going by pretty fast. They're pretty easy to win. And the biggest thing about the domination grind is just that it's so time consuming. The games aren't hard. Every single game is so easy, but the games are just time consuming. James said, have you seen the Pacers? Eiffel Towers. Eiffel Towers? I've never heard them called the Eiffel Towers, but yeah. They got Miles Turner, they got Sabonis. That's a pretty good big man duo, but I've never heard them called the Eiffel Towers before. That is definitely a new name right there. Adam says, I wish I got the heat check Giannis. Me too, because he's going for so much on the auction house. Kevin says, who else remembers the Goat Curry stream from 2K20? Oh, I definitely remember that stream. That stream was a classic. I know there have to be some other guys in here who also remember that. Tyreek Mahomes said the bill's not good. What's the score right now? Y'all let me know how that game's going. I'm curious. Adam says, I know I got a 70 overall. Yeah, I haven't opened any of those packs yet. I opened one heat check pack yesterday from the... I think it was the season agendas, like the leveling up. I got Carl Towns, and he's going for like 17k, but yeah. I tried to put him up, and he went unsold, so that was a pretty big L. Max said 17-10 Bills, start of the fourth. Okay, so the Bills got a nice little lead. Let's see if they can hold on to it in the fourth quarter. Tony Allen says I got heat check Curry, nice. And he's probably going for a decent amount too. Probably not as much as LeBron or AD, but Heat Check Curry is a great pull. That's a really big dub of a pull. Mason said the Bills are up. Adam said MT tips, like ways to get MT. Of course, you could buy MT from my sponsor, link in the description. But I think playing Triple Threat Online is the best way to make MT. Because you guys have watched my Triple Threat Online streams. We always get like 100 tokens per stream for four or five hours and we also get like 50,000 MT in like three or four hours so I think playing triple threat online is the way to go. Mr. Raymer said how are you doing today? Mr. Raymer I'm doing great man I can't complain. I hope you're doing all right too and I'm glad you can make it to another stream. Victor says do you know what is the difficulty of heat check domination? There are three difficulties. There's pro, there's All-Star, and there is Hall of Fame. And Hall of Fame is not very hard, trust me. So if you want to get three stars on every game, you have to play on Hall of Fame. But like I said, Hall of Fame, not very hard. You definitely don't have much to worry about. Max said, what are your thoughts on the Rams? I mean, the Rams in the regular season were just so weird to watch, so inconsistent. And they had a pretty good record at the beginning of the season, but then they lost to the Jets. Then Jared Goff got hurt. And their offense is kind of shaky. I mean, we've, we know this, though. We know Jared Goff. He had that one really good year. And he's a pretty serviceable quarterback, but their offense needs to be better if they want to win a championship. Their defense has been great for years, but I don't know if that defense will be enough versus the Seahawks in the playoffs. So I got the Seahawks winning, but the Rams, I wouldn't mind seeing the Rams compete a little bit. What's good, D2K? Welcome to the stream. The Gamer Bro said, what difficulty is unlimited? Unlimited is on Superstar difficulty, and Triple Threat Offline is on All-Star difficulty. Pretty much every online game mode is Superstar, though. And of course, you can play Heat Check Domination on Hall of Fame. GTR said, Doc, you're a god. What's good, GTR? Welcome to the stream, my bro. I don't know about god, but I do play 2K a lot and I enjoy talking to the chat while I play the game. Look at Curry, man. Ah, that was a terrible shot. I need to take smarter shots, man. We're only up by 17. 
Todd Galloway said, are you playing all 33 in one go? Definitely not. Definitely not. I kind of want to, but I want to save some content for tomorrow, so we're going to play half of today and half tomorrow. We're going to split it up into two, and we're going to finish up the grind. Don't worry about that. It's just that we're not doing it all in one day. Adam said the Pink Diamond Allen Iverson hits half courts. So does Curry. So does Curry. I mean, look at him right now, hitting leaners from half court. As DBG would say, leaner. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta point this out. We are only six likes away from 169 likes on the stream. Only six likes away, so you guys hit that like button for me if you haven't already. I know a bunch of you guys have not hit it yet, so y'all come through for me and drop a like for your boy. Help the stream get out there a little bit. Saucy said, playing heat check Dom right now. Same. Same, just grinding through these games one by one. We got off to a bad start in this game, but we've been a lot better defensively this quarter, and this should be another easy win, since, I mean, pretty much every game is an easy win. Javen said, Seahawks, Rams, who you got? I got the Seahawks. I know that's the easy pick. I know that's the boring pick, but I just don't see the Rams scoring enough points, and the Seahawks defense the last few weeks has been on fire. The last couple in particular, their defense has been on fire, so the Rams, they're already not the best at scoring. I don't know if that'll change today versus one of the top-ranked defenses in the league, so I got the Seahawks. It might not be a blowout, but I can see the Seahawks winning in a relatively low-scoring game for sure. Stormy said, what's up, Doc? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Also, don't worry about being late. I'm just glad you're here. So don't worry too much about being late. I'm glad you can make it, my boy. And I'm glad you're spending time with family, too. I can't complain about you spending time with family. D2K says I'm halfway through Heat Check Domination. Made 75k so far. Very nice. Mr. Raymer says I got Bill Walton. Also nice. You got him on the level 11 ascension. That is a huge dub. And no offense to you, but that is super lucky. Insanely lucky. My goal is to get that Bill Walton eventually, because if you guys have been watching me since Season 1, y'all know I didn't get Bob Lanier, I didn't get Bob Love, and I didn't get Connie Hawkins, so my luck on the Ascension is pretty terrible. We're going to see if we can change things up this season, though, and get Bill Walton, and he's the GOAT. Bored Mo says my Saints are looking good. The Saints are looking pretty good. I got the Saints winning their first round matchup relatively easily, I'd say. I think the Saints are going to be all right. Are they going to win the Super Bowl? I don't know, but hey man, if Drew Brees is hitting, if he's hitting on all cylinders, the Saints are going to be hard, tough to stop. K Nation says, got my first ring. That's a dub. Congratulations on your first ring. Zerst says, can't get this ring. It's just sweat after sweat. Yeah, man. My Team Limited, it was advertised as a chill game mode. That is different from My Team Unlimited, but... My Team Limited, it has just become so sweaty, man, on the weekends. And getting rings, it's not easy. It's not easy. And it's not super fun either, but we've managed to get both Aaron Gordon and Jalen Brown, and I think we're also going to get Russell Westbrook this season. I'm looking forward to the limited grind, but you're 100% right. It's always sweaty, and sweat after sweat after sweat. It's not fun to play against, man. It can get kind of old after a few games. For sure. I know all about it, trust me. J2 says, I got my ring in the middle. Me too. Me too. I know I say always go left, but sometimes I get my ring in the middle. I always love getting my ring in the middle, man. It's the most, the most convenient thing ever. Ziv said, what do you think about the Wizards start to the season? I mean, offensively, they're, they're fine, but defensively, they gotta be a lot better, man. And that's the reason why they've been losing so many games. Russell's putting up some decent stats, but I don't think it's really translating to wins. Bradley Beal had that crazy 60-point game, but of course they lost that game, too. It's just a lot of inconsistency, man. They got Rui Hachimura back. Thomas Bryant's having a huge season. They gotta be better defensively, though, and they'll be all right. My boy ACOG, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you in the building. Welcome to the stream, ACOG. 
Also, what's up, Twitch Blub? Got my ring on the left. I'm telling you, Twitch. It's always on the left. Trust me. Always go left. You're gonna get your ring there. Unless you get it in the middle. Some guys say, always go right. Don't listen to those guys. You might get the ring right every now and then, but if you go left, it never fails. Trust me. Going left is the strat. Aycock says I'm 10 games away from Antoine. That's a dub. Max said 24 to 10 bills. Stefan Diggs, touchdown. Man, I think all you guys know how huge of a pickup it was getting Stefan Diggs for the Bills. It helped the Bills offense, but most importantly, it helped out Josh Allen. And man, he played like an MVP this season, leading the Bills to the second seed in a pretty tough conference. Miles Taylor says I got mine on the right. Come on, Miles. You might get your ring on the right now and then, but like I said, left is the move. K Nation said, just subscribe. Hey, thank you for subscribing, K Nation. Welcome to Doc Nation. Usually, you guys see your names show up like in the chat or above my head in the alert box. Like, usually, when I get a new subscriber, a notification shows up. But for some reason, lately, Streamlabs has been broken. And new subscribers aren't showing up for me. And they're not showing up for any of my boys who use Streamlabs. So, Streamlabs really has to fix that. So if you're a new subscriber, if you just subscribed to my channel, let me know in the chat and I will shout you out out loud. Because you should be able to see your name on the screen, but for some reason, Streamlabs has been messing up. So I really apologize about that. Ben Yesko said, what's up Doc? What's good Ben? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Nice to have you back in the stream from yesterday. Ataniel says you have 210 viewers. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And a bunch of you guys watching are new viewers, so let me know how you're doing. Talk to me in the chat, and I know I say it all the time, but subscribe if you're enjoying what you see. Ziv Penso said just subscribe too. Elijah Peters says I just did. Shout out to both of y'all, man. The channel's been growing like crazy lately. Yesterday, we hit 6,000 subs, so that's a huge milestone. We're going to see if we can keep the channel growing today because why not why not keep the channel growing what's good aztec welcome to the stream splash central said that pink diamond it is a sleeper card no pink diamond it is very good but a bit undersized even though he's not terrible defensively like stat wise and badge wise he's just so short so he can get blown by kind of easily he can get blocked kind of easily even though he has an 80 driving dunk and some pretty good finishing badges Still a tough player to use just because of his height, but he can hit contested shots, he can keep up with you on defense for a little while, and he's not a bad card overall, just kind of tough to use, especially versus point guards like Magic Johnson, Curry, Wall, D. Wade, but still a fun player for sure. ACOG says I'm 9 away from Jameson, that's a dub. Giannis said from Token Rewards that Gary Payton is cash, so Gary Payton looks really good, I agree with you Giannis. Gary Payton looks good, but like I said, I already have Curry, Wade, Baron Davis. So I might get Gary Payton eventually, but I already have so many good guards that I really didn't need Gary Payton. So that's why I picked up Bill Russell instead. Bill Russell's not too bad either. He's good defensively. Not too bad offensively either. He doesn't have any shooting badges though, which is a pretty big weakness. Even though he has a, like a 73 pointer, he doesn't have any shooting badges, so he can't shoot super consistently, even though he has a decent rating. Elijah said, thanks for the shout out. No problem, my guy. No problem at all. Ham Family said, 10k subs before 2022. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Elijah said, Bama or Ohio? Bama or Ohio? I'm from Alabama, so I gotta choose Alabama. I'm an Alabama fan, so I gotta ride with them winning on Monday. Adam said, best way to get tokens? I'd say playing Domination for sure, and also playing Triple Threat Online. Triple Threat Online, easily the best way to get tokens, consistently. I streamed Triple Threat Online a few weeks ago for three straight days, and I got 300 tokens in those three days, which is crazy. What's good, Hunt Rob? Welcome back to the stream. Victor said, is there a helpful playbook for domination like the Nets last year? I'd say the Bucks playbook and the Rockets playbooks are my two favorites to use. I wouldn't say they're as good as the Nets playbook. 
I say another very good thing is just having a good point guard who can hit shots, who can blow by your defenders and get open shooters. You know, get shooters open so you can just drive and kick, pass the ball and get good shots. I'd say having a good point guard who can, yeah, just create offense for himself and having good shooters, I think that's a, that's a lot better than having a cheesy playbook. Even though having a cheesy playbook's not too bad either. Duke AG said, just subbed. I appreciate you, Duke. You're the man for that. Greens YT said, pray for me to get heat check Giannis. Hey, good luck, man. Prayer might be a little bit excessive for this situation, but hey, fingers crossed. I hope you get that heat check Giannis. Frumpy says, I haven't gotten any token marker cards, even though I have 1,268. So it sounds like you're waiting for the token market, like the actual packs to be in the token market. I mean, token players, there are some pretty good ones, but saving up tokens and waiting on packs is also not a terrible idea. Bailey says, I hope you have a good time doing this. I appreciate that, Bailey. I had a good time yesterday playing Triple Threat offline, and so far today I'm having a pretty good time playing this. So I appreciate that, and so far it's been a pretty good time. I can't complain. Ramon says, I need help. The MJ code's not working. Is there an MJ code? I heard there was a code yesterday that wasn't working. I can't remember which code it was, though. Frank says, I liked the stream. I appreciate that, Frank. We're almost at 200 likes. Thanks to everybody who's dropped a like on the stream already. I appreciate y'all dropping likes, showing up big. Look at Bill Russell scoring his first points. The Real BN says I'm level 16. Is that good? The season just started yesterday. Adam says, for me, the AI always get charges. That is one thing about next gen that I, I kind of like, but I kind of don't like. I feel like they call way too many charges. And of course, it's a good thing that they call charges because you don't want your opponent to just run over you or try to run through you like you're not there. But at the same time, I feel like they call so many charges where it's not even a charge. The other players don't even fall. Charges, they're realistic. They happen a decent amount in the NBA. But I feel like they happen a little bit too much in Next Gen. Elijah says, how do you feel about this new year? It's off to an interesting start. Fingers crossed, that is better than 2020. Frank says, what is the best game mode to get XP? Probably Domination, because you can play so many challenges while playing Domination. You can just sub in your players like Markel Foles, LeGuentz Dort. You can sub in those guys and score a lot of points with them, get a lot of assists, get a lot of challenges done. Pretty easy, I'd say. What's up, armed Ethan God? Welcome back to the stream. Miles Taylor says, I've played 50 online games and haven't gotten Byron Beck. So yesterday, I got Byron Beck after 41 games, and then I got him again after 42. Keep on playing, and you'll get him eventually. But the vault odds are so terrible for some people. Keep on playing, don't give up. But if you give up, I wouldn't blame you. Josh Move said, I'm making moves in fantasy. Yeah, Josh, you might not win this week, but I see you making moves to see if you can win a few in a row and sneak into the playoffs. Remember, Josh, 10 teams make the playoffs. So you have a lot of time left to keep on winning games and squeeze in there. Welcome to the stream, Jay Smooth. No Limit So said, Josh Smooth, the GOAT, yes, sir. We got Josh moving here and No Limit Zo. It doesn't get much better than that. Not to mention, we have 211 other people in here. You guys are all goaded, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I hope y'all are enjoying the stream so far. This is game number three. If we win this game and get three stars, that is nine stars out of 99. So we just got started about 80 minutes ago, but I'd say we're off to a pretty good pace right now. Captain TF says, I got my first ring for Russ. Yes, sir. That's a dub. Congratulations on that first ring. One ring down, five rings to go. Minnesota says, is the XP glitch fixed? My XP never reset. I don't think it's going to reset. I think the 2K is going to make everyone start over from scratch. But to be fair, I mean, we didn't, we didn't even get that much XP yesterday. So if you lost all your XP yesterday, it's not a big deal because... You only had like 2,000 anyway. Real Blue says you're the best dude. I appreciate you, Real Blue. Not the best, but trying to be the best I can be to keep this channel growing. 
Giannis says what team is going to win the NBA in 2021. I predict the Lakers. My brother, he's a Lakers fan. And I kind of go for them in the playoffs because I know my brother wants them to do well. He's been a Lakers fan since like 2012, 2013. So I'm glad they won the championship this past year because he's been a loyal fan for a long time. Dylan says, I got Pink Diamond back first try. Good for you. Frank Faulkner says, I also got the Pink Diamond from the vault. That's a dub. How many of you guys have gotten the Pink Diamond Byron Beck from the vault? I got him three times yesterday. And yeah, I'm... See, here's the thing. I can't really do anything with those duplicates except for sell them for 3,000 MT, which sucks. But eventually, if there's a Galaxy Opal Exchange, I could possibly use them there. All right. If we win this next game, we get eight tokens, which is, hey, say what you want to. That's a dub. Getting all these tokens, it's a pretty big dub. Adam said, not me. Jamari said, not me. Duke AG said, Lakers versus Bucks NBA Finals. I think the Bucks are going to go to the Conference Finals, but I don't know if they'll be able to beat the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets at full strength, if they can build some chemistry, build some consistency, I got the Nets going to the Finals. Adam says, I'm on my ninth game. Is that good? Ninth game of what? Triple threat or domination? I guess that's all right, but some guys have already finished. Austin says, how do you change matchups? In next gen, there is no matchups menu. There is substitutions, defensive settings, coach settings, but there's no matchups when you pause, so you gotta press the, you gotta press the, what's it called? The right, the left bumper, left bumper. I almost said right, right stick. You gotta press the right bumper. And left bumper, ah, excuse me, I can't talk. And that's how you can change matchups manually, right there. Austin said, how do you change matchups in Triple Threat Online? I'm pretty sure it's the same way, but yeah, sadly on next gen, you can't really pause the game and do that. In current gen, you can, but I don't know why they took that out in next gen. Miles said, it makes me so mad when I open the vault and out pops one token. Nah, same here, man. Because opening the vault is pretty inconsistent sometimes. So whenever I open the vault and it's one token, I'm like, oh, what is it? And then it's one token. It's the biggest letdown of all time. I would love them to take the token, the one token reward out of the vault. I think it should be three tokens and five tokens. It should be three and five, not one and five. Andrew says, how far you got the Celtics going? The Celtics could potentially make it to the conference finals. They're off to a decent start this season. They gotta start winning more consistently, but they're not off to a terrible start. And of course, they're also gonna be getting Kemba Walker back pretty soon. And if Kemba Walker's playing like he did back in Charlotte, they're gonna go pretty far. He's a really good scorer one-on-one. -on -one. He's a decent playmaker too. He spaces the floor for him a lot better than guys like, you know, Marcus Smart does. Even though Marcus Smart's improved and even though I like Marcus, having him as your main ball handler, your main guy with the ball at the PG, not the greatest thing in the world. Jeff Teague's playing a lot of minutes because of Kemba Walker's absence. And when they get Kemba back, they're going to be a lot better, I think. They're already pretty fun to watch. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, they're looking pretty great. They're looking pretty great. I mean, they're playing out of their minds. Daniel Tice hasn't been bad. Marcus Smart's improved this season, and he's a pretty good defensive guy. Peyton Pritchard hit that game winner the other day. Tristan Thompson was a great pickup in free agency. I think the Celtics, I think they can make it pretty far. They can definitely make it pretty far, but I just don't see them being better than the Brooklyn Nets. Ziv says, last season I played over 100 games for Wayne Embry. Over, man, I hate that for you. Because some guys I know played like five games and they got Wayne Embry. Some guys played like one game, five games. Like some guys get so lucky opening the vault, but yeah, some guys don't. Some guys have to play 100 games, 200 games. Thankfully, I didn't have to play 100, but I still had to play a whole lot of games. Like, if I could have gotten him after one game, I would have loved that, but I didn't get lucky like that. Joshua says, I need 20 more levels for Kawhi Leonard. For Koala Leonard? You, you mean Kawhi Leonard, but Koala Leonard has a nice little ring to it. Dylan says the Nets are in trouble. Their point guard doesn't want to play ball. Yeah, I saw I sat out the other day, but the Nets, they'll be fine. 
They'll be fine. They have too much talent to possibly be bad this season. Karis LeVert went crazy yesterday. The day before that, Joe Harris went crazy. Kevin Durant, when they get him back, he's going to be a beast once again. Spencer Dinwiddie, it sucks that he's injured, but he's a beast too. They have so many talented players that it's going to work out. I promise y'all. Austin Douglas says, I'm level 16 today. Very nice. Adam says, I'm 27 levels away from Kawhi. Also nice. See, here's the thing. I haven't really started grinding XP yet, but when I do, trust me, I'm going to pass all of y'all, just, just like I did last season. Saucy said, is heat check domination dynamic? Um, I don't think so. I think none of the cards are on fire. I think you just play versus the heat check cards with their normal stats. Rise Shoddy said, biggest grinder on YouTube. Yes, sir, my boy. Yes, sir. For real though, I don't know if I'm the biggest grinder. I've been grinding a lot, but I'm not sure if I'm the biggest grinder. My boy Lino is also doing a super long domination stream today. My boy No Limit Zoe, he was doing a domination stream yesterday. Codeine was also doing a long stream. I know a lot of grinders on YouTube, man. I don't know if I'm better than them, but we all go hard. We're all trying to grow our channels and become bigger names in the YouTube 2K community. Shout out to everybody who's grinding my team right now, man. This is going to be a long stream, and my boys have been getting some long streams in too. I'm super proud of them. I don't know if I'm the best, but my goal is to be the best I can be and keep the channel growing every single day. What's good, Wavy Hoops? Welcome to the stream. Yes, sir, No Limit Zoe. Keep on grinding, my guy. And of course, I'm glad you can stop by my stream for a little while. Ben Yesko says, you play the on fire cards too? Are they are they on fire right now? I mean, I'm pretty sure that no matter when you play heat check, domination, the cards, they're just gonna be normal, right? I mean, dominate, heat check domination, it shouldn't be dynamic. And even if it was, it doesn't really matter because the badges don't change, only the attributes do. So even if they are on fire, I don't think that really matters. Leo Smith said, hello. Should I buy Jimmy? Jimmy's pretty good. He's pretty good, but I think a badged up Kobe is still better than Jimmy Butler. Frank Faulkner says, I love the stream. I appreciate you, Frank. Also, speaking of loving the stream, we just hit 200 likes on the stream. So thank y'all for 200 likes. That is big time. Thank y'all for helping the stream get up to 200 likes. We haven't even been live for two hours, so stream's off to a huge start thanks to y'all. Of course, I appreciate every single one of y'all who has dropped a like on the stream, but I mean, hey, whether you like the stream or not, I just appreciate y'all for being here. We're going to keep the stream moving forward. The grind's going to continue, and yeah, let's see if we can keep the channel growing at the same time that we win these games and get closer to Antoine Jameson. Carter said, we back. What's up, Doc? What's good, Carter? Welcome back to the stream. It's nice to have you back in the building. Shout out to everybody in the stream who showed up yesterday, but also shout out to, shout out to everybody who's new to the channel as well. Ziv says, how many, how many here playing Domination when they watch? A lot of people. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but there's got to be a lot of people in here playing Domination as they're watching. Rise Shoddy says, how many stars do you have? I only have nine. We've only been playing for 88 minutes, so we're just getting started, but we have a lot left in the tank. I got a lot of energy left in the tank. So let's play through these games. We've beaten the Knicks, we beat the Nets, we beat the Sixers. Now it's time to take down the Celtics. And we're off to a pretty good start versus the Celtics, I think. Well, not the best start. We've already given up 10 points, which isn't good, but eh, we're still winning by a decent amount. Leo said, should I get Jimmy or Zach or wait until I get Russ? Russ is going to be real good, but Zach Levine is no joke, especially if he's badged out. And Jimmy, I mean, hey, he's probably no joke either. I think Kobe's probably the best shooting guard in the game right now, but Jimmy is definitely giving him a run for his money. D. Wade, if you count him as a shooting guard, is one of the best shooting guards in the game, but... A lot of guys use him at the point guard, so some guys probably consider D-Wade a point guard instead of a shooting guard, but D-Wade is definitely up there too, even though he doesn't have the same size, the same height that Jimmy Butler and like Michael Jordan, Kobe, as they all have. 
James said, Jesus Christ. Steph's heat check is 200k. He had a huge game yesterday. He's on fire and yeah, I don't know what his hot zones are. I don't know what his badges are, but he had a big game yesterday. He's playing well and his attributes are probably looking pretty crazy because of that. Luke Paul said, sorry, my thing died. Um, it's okay. Welcome back, Luke Paul. Adam says, I wish I got the Opal D Wade last season. Definitely worth it, man. And he was super easy to get. The XP grind last season was by far the easiest XP grind so far. I mean, even though you missed D-Wade, though, there's still so many good cards this season. I mean, Russell Westbrook's the big one that a lot of you guys are talking about. Kevin McHale's pretty good. Kawhi Leonard's going to be a good shooting guard. So many good cards available. So, even though you missed D-Wade, don't worry. You're going to have more chances at some more very good cards. Splash said, yo, how far are you? We've done three games, which means we have 30 games to go. So, we got a lot of work to do, but hey. Y'all know I got patience and persistence. Saucy says I only got to level 38 last season. 38's pretty close. 38's close. But you can do better than that this season, I promise you. It's all about the grind. What's good, Charles Poland? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Gabriel Jones? Welcome to the stream as well. Josh Move says I want to grind for Kawhi, but it takes such a toll on me mentally and gives me headaches. Hey, Amen. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not hard for me either. It's not easy doing that stuff, man. It's not easy sitting down, playing the game day after day. But it gives me an incentive to give you guys content. And it also gives me an incentive to just sit here, talk to y'all while playing the game. Which is always a fun thing to do, man. Streaming the content makes it a lot easier. If I wasn't streaming this, I wouldn't be having even close to the amount of fun I'm having right now. Kersey says, I'm level 19. Is that good or not? Nah? Season just started, so I guess it's all right. Wiggy said Steph has a 99.3 on his heat check card, and that's really good. That kind of explains why his price is so high, but he doesn't have any new badges. And that's one thing I don't really like about the heat check cards. Their badges don't change. Their badges, I don't think they really go up or down. If their badges were dynamic, if the badges went up and down, those heat check cards would be insanely popular. And I mean, they're pretty popular right now, but that would make them even crazier if their badges were going up and down too. Like if he had a big game and range extender goes from gold to hall of fame, imagine how popular heat check cards would get if badges were like that. What's up Andrew McCoy? Welcome back to the stream, my boy, that rhymed. Denny's says, can you give some tips for defense? Man, defense, it's kind of weird in 2K because sometimes it feels like you're running on ice, but defense is really all about anticipation which direction they're gonna go, how you can stay in front of them. Just trying to stay in front of them and bodying them up like this. You wanna stay with them the best you can. And if you get beaten off the dribble, you wanna practice switching to other players to play help defense. If you play basketball in real life, you know all about help defense, all about team defense. And I'd say knowing when to help and just trying to stay in front of your opponent, trying to play help defense at the right times. Those are the tips I'd give you, just practicing that stuff. But you can practice in Domination. You can also practice it in Unlimited, Limited. There's a lot of game modes you can play to practice defense. I'd say Domination is probably the best one. I think playing versus the CPU and staying in front of the CPU gives you good practice for playing online and just staying in front of decent players. Dylan Clark said, how much is Giannis going for on Heat Check? I heard he's going for like 70K, but I could be wrong about that. His price might have gone down in the last few minutes or so. What's good, Chad? Welcome to the stream. Herbs said, yo, Doc, I just got a ring on the left. Herbs, I told you, going left is the key. Congratulations on your ring, my boy. Ziv Penso said, how old are you? 21. Luke said, sorry, my phone died. I had to charge it. It's all good, Luke. I'm just glad you're back in the stream. Welcome back, Luke. Nice to have you back in the building. Charles Pullen said, I got Connie Hawkins a few days ago. Nice. I never got Connie Hawkins, so I'm happy for you. Saucy says, I know this probably won't happen, but what if PG and the reward Kawhi become a dynamic duo? They probably won't, but you never know. Maybe they will. That would be interesting, man, if Kawhi and PG became a duo. That would also be really cool if, like, 
Galaxy Opal D Wade and a future Galaxy Opal LeBron become a duo. Usually, we get new dynamic duos by now, but we haven't gotten them yet. Which is kind of weird, but hey, I'm not complaining too bad about it because we got so much other new content. Duke AG says, Is Bill Walton worth it? He's literally a free Galaxy Opal, so you tell me. Darby says, Tips for the Ascension. I'm not very good at the Ascension, so I wouldn't ask myself for tips if I were you. High24 says, I got my ring yesterday. Me too. Congratulations on getting your ring, though. One ring down. Five rings to go. It's a beautiful thing to say. Kersey says, just got my ring third game. Huge dub. MS said, how many stars do you have? We have nine. We started about half an hour ago, or an hour and a half ago, so we got a lot of work to do. Anej says, what does having a dynamic duo to? It makes your attributes better. It makes the card better overall. If you have a dynamic duo, it can make some cards go up to a pink diamond from a diamond. It can make some guards go from like a ruby to an amethyst. Dynamic duos, they're pretty cool. I never really use them though. Adam said, do rings save every weekend? Yes. I mean, it's been like that the entire year. Why wouldn't rings save? You get one ring per week. Why wouldn't rings save? That would be the dumbest thing ever if rings didn't save. Thank God they do. Oh yeah, nice fake. Oh, we hit the side of the backboard. Leo says I have to go. Take it easy, Leo. I'll see you around. Luke said, how long is the stream going to be? No idea. However long it takes to finish up about half of Domination. However long it takes to do that is how long the stream is going to be. We're going to do one half today and probably one half tomorrow. Saucy said, how do you get Bill Walton? He's the Ascension reward this season. Last season it was Connie Hawkins. Season before it was, you know, Bob Love, Bob Lanier. This season the Ascension reward is... Bill Walton. High24 says I got heat check Joel Embiid from Domination. That's a dub. Jacob Hanna says I got a limited ring, but it didn't say that I got it, and then I got another one. Well, that's very weird. I mean, you get the ring by choosing it. If it says you didn't have the ring, that means you probably didn't choose the ring, so it's good that you got another one. As long as it actually shows up as a ring in your ring counter, then you should be good. What's up, CP3 the Doc? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jimmy Dickey? Welcome to the stream. Joe says, do you ever feel boring to play a domination game? I never feel bored, no. I just enjoy playing the game, and doing it on stream makes it a lot more fun. Luke said, did you get Trey Young? Yes, I did. Charles said, CP, do you know where Bill Walton is? He's on the top ascension board. He's on the very top ascension board. Jimmy says, I got a new logo by my name. Wow, I think I liked the last one better, but that is still a pretty nice new logo, I can't complain. If that's what you want to call it. Jacob said, hi, what is the best way to win Hall of Fame domination? Having a good team and hitting threes. I'd say that's the best way to do it. Creating offense, getting to the rim. I say playing defense is the most important thing in domination. Because you get a lot of MT in a row, or you get a lot of points if you want to call it that, if you get three stops in a row, if you get blocks and rebounds and steals. I'd say playing defense and domination is the most important thing. And we haven't played very good defense this game, but in the first three games, we've played some pretty good defense. YNA NBA said, what's up doc? What's good YNA NBA? It's nice to have you back in the stream. Welcome back once again. Charles said, CP, you got Bill Walton? No, I haven't gotten him. Sir Toon says, doc, you got patience. Just hearing you answering these obvious questions is annoying. Yeah, it is pretty annoying, but I'd say I have some pretty good patience. Hated on Goat says, what's good CP? Just stopping by. Hey, nice to have you back in the stream. Hated on Goat, welcome back. Adam said, did 2K change the button to run plays? In next gen they did. In next gen play calling is almost completely different and it's kind of annoying, but you get used to it after a while. Carter says, are you going to finish up the spotlights this season? Of course. Spotlights are always so easy. I might as well finish them this season. It's also easy content. Free content. When 2K gives us spotlight challenges, I'll just do the spotlight challenges. That is very easy content. 
a very easy stream to give you guys. So, of course I'm going to do spotlights, because it's a pretty fun, pretty chill thing to do. What's up? This is The Way Sports. Welcome back from earlier. Nice to have you back in the stream. Joe says, do you have Pink Diamond Thomas? Is he worth it? I don't have him, but I've seen some gameplay. Seems like a pretty fun card, but a little bit of a liability on defense, even though he has some decent defensive badges and attributes. Luke says, do you still play 2K20? I do not, but I have a lot of friends who still do, so you are not the only one. Don't worry. Zerst says, for me, Domination Hall of Fame is kind of easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So far, this game has probably been my worst game, and I think we're up by 30, so that's not too bad. Saucy said, just got Hall of Fame Green Machine from the level 8 pack. Good for you. Adam said, I wish it was the same because I keep messing up the buttons. Me too. Like, I'm so used to playing, like, on current gen for the last few years. 2K20, 2K19, 2K21. The play calling was all pretty similar, but in next gen, it is completely different. So, it takes a lot to, of getting used to, man. But I'd say I've gotten used to it pretty, pretty decently, if you ask me. Gotten used to it after a long time. Charles Poland said, CP, how do you get MT? I think the best way to get MT is playing Triple Threat online, but you could also buy MT from my sponsor for very cheap. Link is in the description. And they're not scammers, I promise. YNA said, yo, earlier when I was playing Limited, someone had Juice World on his team. That's what I'm talking about. RIP Juice. Legendary. Stormy says, Doc, rate my team. I don't play a lot. That's a long message. Just send your team in another chat, and I'll read it right there. That is a long message. And I got to play some defense if we want to win this game. Andrew said, do you think they should take contracts out? Yes. Contracts are pretty dumb. They're pretty annoying. And having to apply contracts to players is pretty annoying. So I think they should take it out. If you guys like contracts, that's okay. That's your opinion. I don't really like them, though. What's up, Elijah Joseph? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Which is your favorite card in the game? For me, it is Glitched Stockton. Hmm. My favorite card in the game is probably Pink Diamond Steph Curry. That glitched on John Stockton is a super fun card, though. I like him, but Steph Curry's been my favorite card to use for a long time now. He's just so good at shooting the ball, getting to the rim, going off the dribble, and he's actually not bad on defense, which is crazy. James the Young Kid said, replace Bob Lanier, and if you want more MT, sell Giannis. Very good tips. Solid tips. Can't complain about those. YNA says, if you like contracts, you are not a real my team player. I agree, because contracts are so annoying. I mean, I don't really have a huge problem with them, but it just sucks having to spend MT when you run out of contracts and give contracts to guys who, I mean, contracts are dumb. That's all I gotta say. Luke says, do you stream often or every day? Um, I try to stream every day, but... Some days, if we don't get new content, I won't stream. And we've gotten a lot of new content in these last couple days, so you guys are going to see a lot of streams from me in the next few weeks. I mean, I try to stream every day. Some days I don't have time, but I do my best to stream whenever I can. Andrew McCoy said contracts are stupid. They're so stupid, man. Stupid? Of course, that's such a bad word to say. Like, hopefully no one gets offended by me saying that word out loud. But yeah, contracts, they're pretty dumb. I think they're pretty pointless. I think they should take those out of the game. Adam said 2021's off to an okay start. It's off to a very okay start. I'd say it's off to a weird start. Not a bad start, but a very interesting weird start, for sure. Adam the band said read last. Man, I gotta look up really far. Let me see what you said. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. My pink diamond just got injured mid-game. That's another stupid thing. We were just talking about contracts being dumb. They need to take injuries out of my team. What's the point of injuries? Injuries are so dumb. And sometimes 2K gets weird and gives guys like 100 game injuries. That is so dumb. It makes no sense. Adam says, Doc, I recommend you turn off action replays. On next gen, you can't. Stormy said, who should I replace Bob Lanier with? You should replace Bob Lanier with a shooting center like Sabonis or Chris Bosh. Those are two very good ones I think you should use. 
Y and A said the capital thing's not a very good start. Yeah, but that's just one thing. Like I said, it's off to a weird start. Not a terrible start, but that capital thing, pretty weird. I hope the year doesn't go downhill from there. That would be pretty rough. Charles says, CP, this is my Xbox name, not Eclipse. Cool, good for you. That's a cool Xbox name. James said, actually, Chris Bosch. Yeah, like I said, Chris Bosch is a very good shooting center you can use. He's a very good shooting center. I would recommend picking him up. Quick release, and he can defend. He's athletic, he's fast. He can score in the paint a little bit. Chris Bosch is pretty good. So is Sabonis. So is David Robinson. A lot of good diamond centers in the game. Isaiah says, how can I shoot better on Hall of Fame? Turn off the shot meter. I think turning off the shot meter is the big key. I mean, shooting with the shot meter on next gen, it's so hard. I was having trouble doing it at first. So I was like, man, this sucks. I gotta turn off the shot meter in. All of a sudden, I started hitting shots. I didn't hit that shot because I shot it with Bill Russell, but yeah, turning off the shot meter, in my opinion, is the key. Andrew said Chris Bosch, IRL is an amazing center. Was an amazing center. Definitely a Hall of Famer, but it's too bad his career got cut kind of short with those blood clots. Ryder says, I'm back. How many stars do you have? We're going to have 12 stars in about three seconds. Two, one. Why did Jeff Teague shoot that? I don't know. Either way, good game, good win. That's 12 stars now, so we're off to a pretty okay start. Splash Central says, I got Pink Diamond Terry Cummings from the vault. Um, Pink Diamond Terry Cummings is not in the vault, but he is on the ball drops online, so... Eh, same thing. One more game of the Atlantic Division. We're off to a pretty good start, winning these games by some pretty good margins. If we win this game, we get 15 tokens, which is a huge dub. And this should be an easy win. This is probably the worst team in the division, so let's get this win. Mr. Trickster said, remember me, what's up? What's up, Trickster? Welcome back to the stream. Splash Central said, I meant to say ball drop. It's all good, Splash. I know exactly what you meant. Mahayiva, uh, Mahavia, excuse me, says, did you get your ring yet? Yes, I got my ring yesterday after my stream. Dom said, yo, 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 good morning. I just wanted to drop by and drop a like and say what's up. I can't stay because I got to be at church in five minutes. Hey, I appreciate you dropping by, Dom. You're a legend. Everyone knows it. I know it. You know it. Take it easy. Have a good time at church. And this is going to be a long stream, so maybe we'll see you in here later. Take it easy, Dom, and thank you for dropping by. Mongoose said, how many games left? Um, 29, if I'm doing my math correctly. We finished up four games, and there are, what, 33 games total? So, yeah, I'd say 29 games left. Human calculator, clearly. Great math. Adam says, I'm in the Central Division. I'm in the Atlantic Division. NT says, are you pay to win? Um, I'm no money spent. Pay to win? You must not watch my channel. You must have never seen me play the game before. I'm insulted by that question. Not really. But pay to win, I mean, yeah, I'm insulted by that question. Raz says, should I buy Paul George? He is a pretty good small forward. I recommend picking him up. I sold him back a little while ago, but I'd say he's pretty good. Him, Kevin Durant, Larry Bird, three of the best small forwards in the game. Going for pretty decent prices on the auction house. Mr. Trickster says, I'm in New Jersey. Where are you? I'm in Alabama. Charles says, I got Pink Diamond Durant in an idols pack. That's great. Isaiah Granville says, love your streams. I appreciate you, Isaiah. I'm glad you love the streams. Yesterday's stream was a huge one. We're trying to match that same energy from yesterday's stream today. We're off to a good start. Stream's off to a good start. We've already gained a few subscribers today, and y'all know yesterday we hit 6,000 subs, so we're trying to see if we can keep the channel growing this stream. Cordy on PS4 said, what's up, Doc? How's your day been? Pretty good day so far, man. I can't complain. It's been a nice, chill day. I haven't had to do much yet. Yesterday was such a busy day for me. I, I did so much off stream, but of course I streamed for nine hours. I also went to the gym twice. And of course, I've been spending time with family, spending time at my house in Montgomery. And I really love being here, man. 
Yesterday was a nice, busy day, and today it's been a lot more chill. Just streaming, and yeah, later, chilling. Brian says, do you have a P.O. box? Yes, I do. Brayden Stiles said, what's up, gang? What's good, Brayden? Welcome to the stream, my guy. How are you doing all right today, man? Andrew McCoy said, Domination's easy, but it takes so long. Exactly, exactly. I mean, even on Hall, even on Hall of Fame difficulty, Domination is super easy, but it's, it's time-consuming, and that's why it's called a grind. Because it's so... It, the games are easy to win, but you gotta win so many games. It is pretty tedious. What's good, Dylan Wynn? Welcome to the stream. Josh Move said, Doc, how's that Doug West? You must not have been in here yesterday. I did a gameplay of Doug West live. He's pretty good. Easily the best offline reward in Triple Threat. Not even close. K Nation Reacts says, how much MT do you have? Like 900,000, a little less than a million. We're closer to a million than we are to 800,000, so it kind of rounds up to a million, but we're not at a million just yet. Maybe one day, though, we'll get to a million. Adam says they call so many charges, it's annoying. It is pretty annoying. I've gotten used to it, but it is super annoying. Like, I feel like charges, they're a good thing to call, but I think they call charges a little bit too much on next gen. Raz says, what do you think about Rudy Hernandez? Rudy Fernandez, you mean. His diamond's pretty good. I haven't used him, but I watched a video of him. Of course, DPG loves him, and he looks pretty good. I haven't used him, so personally, I don't know how good he is, but, I mean, his badges are good. His shot form is really nice. Seems like a super fun card, but haven't used him personally yet, but he looks great, for sure. Zerk says, first game of dominating. Complete. Yes, sir. Keep on grinding, man. I just started domination less than two hours ago, and we're already making some decent progress, so keep it up, keep on grinding, and... You're going to get that Jamison before long. I believe it. Saucy says, is Doug West better than Embry? I think he is. I think he is, but that's just my opinion. He's better than Embry, better than Finley. In my opinion, the best triple threat offline reward that we've gotten so far. Amit says, how's Cousins? One of the best centers in the game. I haven't used him, though. But looking at his stats and attributes, his speed, all those things, it's hard to say that he's not one of the best centers in the game, and we're talking about the all-around game that he has. Isaiah says, should I grind for Opal Kawhi? Hmm, it's, it's your decision. I mean, he's a good shooting guard. He plays good defense. He's going to be great offensively, too. He's going to be a pretty fun player, man. I don't know if he's going to be as good as, like, D-Wade or Curry or Griffin, but, I mean, big player, six foot eight. He can play the shooting guard. He's great defensively. I'd say he's worth picking up. Amit says I just pulled him. That's a dub. Dylan Wynn said domination is too long. It is super long, but like I said earlier, that's why they call it a grind. That's why they call it a grind, man. It's a lot of games. It's time consuming. It takes time, but it's easy. So it's good practice for playing online unlimited. It's good practice using different cards. That's why I enjoy playing it. So hop on and play through these games and... Get yourself that free Antoine Jameson. Let's pull up from half court, because why not? Not a bad first quarter, for sure. Shant says I'm back. How many stars do you have? We have like 12. 12, I'm pretty sure. Little Buddy says, I grinded challenges yesterday and got to level 23. Nice. Berto says, I ended up doing four boards yesterday. I'm almost done. Also nice. Josh Move said, our levels still being reset? I don't think so. I think they fixed that. I don't think levels are getting reset anymore. At least I haven't had that problem, but are you guys still having that problem? Let me know. What's good, 2K Story? Welcome back. Nice to have you back in the stream. Syrup Assassin said, I made 77k off the Trailblazers domination game. That is very nice. A huge dub. Alexis Sanchez said, do you think selling DeMarcus Cousins for Tatum is a good idea? Tatum is one of the best small forwards in the game. Cousins isn't too bad either, though. I don't know. That's your decision. It depends on what you think of Tatum and Cousins. Little Buddy said, how's your day been? It's been a really good day so far. Hope you've had a good day so far, too. It's been a fun one for me, and I hope it's been a good one for you. 
Shanton says, I think I might get the Antoine Jameson first. Yeah, he's pretty good. I don't know if he's one of the best Opals in the game or anything, but his offensive stats look pretty good. His badges look pretty good. And keep in mind, he's 100% free. Adam says, I wish I got that Pink Diamond Curry. Hey, man. He's a, he was 100% worth it. I'd say getting Curry was the hardest grind in 2K21 for me so far. Getting Wade was insanely easy. Getting Griffin was also pretty easy. I got Griffin with like 10 days left in the season. I got Wade with like 3 weeks left in the season. It's a grind, but it was pretty fun going for Curry, and he's definitely worth it for sure. It's too bad that we might not ever get another chance at him, or too bad y'all might not get another chance at him, because he is very good. No doubt. JR says, is Antoine worth the grind? He's a free Galaxy Opal, so it's your decision. All you gotta do is play a few games on Hall of Fame difficulty, and you'll get him for free. So, yeah, free Galaxy Opal, or I don't know. I'd say it's worth it for sure. Dylan says, hi, this is the new locker code. That is not a new locker code. That is a very old locker code. That came out last night. That came out almost a full day ago. That is not a new locker code. Zerst says, this diamond Stefan Marbury is good in Hall of Fame, Dom. You like that Stefan Marbury? I'm not a big fan of him. I feel like he's a little bit out of date, but still a good player. Pretty fast. Can shoot a little bit, get to the rim. Not a bad player, but haven't used him in a long time. Codeine said five games away. Nice, Codeine. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ethan said, bruh. Snooze Fest already got Jameson. Hope you get him. I mean, we're clearly going to get him. If we're winning every game by 50, we're definitely going to get him. We won 750 games yesterday in Triple Threat. I don't think anybody else in the world did that before I did, so... Yeah, I already got Doug West. Good luck for anybody else who's going for him. Berto says, is it worth it? You get over 100k and an Opal. Yeah, I don't understand why guys ask if free grinds are worth it. It's literally a free Galaxy Opal. You get hundreds of tokens, you also get a bunch of MT. I don't know how it's not worth it. Some guys might just be lazy, I don't know. Adam said, which Marbury? The Diamond. 2K Story said, new code. Sub 2, CP the Doc now. I know there are some guys in here who are not subscribed, so you guys listen to that chat, put in the locker code, and subscribe. Syrup said, so much MT to be made from doing the domination grind, completely worth it. I agree. Even if the Opal's not that good, all the MT is 100% worth it. It's a bunch of easy MT, a bunch of easy tokens, 100% worth doing, for sure. Codeine says, I hope this card is decent. It's a Galaxy Opal with a lot of Hall of Fame badges and some pretty good stats. He looks worth it to me. But like I've said before, like I'll say again, sometimes, I mean... Sometimes Antoine Jameson's kind of bad in 2K. In 2K20, he was pretty bad. In 2K19, he was pretty good. Hopefully this year, he's good again. Codeine says, I have my AirPods in watching. That's a dub. Hey man, keep on grinding. I'm so glad that you're so close to finishing domination. Dylan said, did you enter the new locker codes yet? Yes, I did enter the new locker codes. It was off stream yesterday, but we did it for sure. Squad said, I did seven of these on Hall of Fame yesterday. Very good card. Yeah, it looks very good. Like I said, so many Hall of Fames, some pretty good stats. Even though the card has a low overall on defense, the attributes on defense still aren't terrible. I think he's going to be a pretty good Opal. He might not start for my team, but maybe he will. I don't know. Maybe he will. Tony P said, hey, Doc, do you know how much Tatum's price is? I have no idea, but maybe somebody in the chat can tell you. But I really don't know. James said, Doc, I gotta go do XP challenges. Three pointers with Dort, but they're double teaming. What do I do? I mean, if you're playing on rookie, just get up the court fast and just shoot it as fast as you can. The CPU loves to double team, but get up the court on the fast break and shoot it before they can even double team. Like this. That's Curry, and Curry's different, but still. Adam says, how do you keep them to nine points? I mean, honestly, all their buckets that they've made this game are lucky, so they should have zero points, but you just play good defense, play help, don't give them too many open looks. I mean, look at that. That's 38% contested. They should totally have zero points, but to be fair, we've made some BS shots too. 
so I'm not going to complain. I'd say I'm pretty good on defense. I've gone 12-0 a couple times. Some of you guys probably don't think I'm that good, but I'd say I'm at least decent at the game for sure. Joshua said, yo, I'm back. How many stars do you have? I have 12 stars right now. We're working on 15 as we speak. Zerst said, if he can dunk on anybody, he's on my team. Yeah, Jameson, I feel like he should be able to. I feel like Jameson's going to be one of those guys who's athletic. He can score. He can move pretty fast. He's going to have a quick jumper. That's what I've heard. Haven't seen gameplay yet, but soon we should be able to find out for ourselves. Odd Squad says that Trey level 7 card is pretty good. Oh, you're talking about Trey Burke. I've heard that he's pretty good for an Emerald card. I have him, but I haven't used him yet. So it's good to know that he's good. Charles Pullen says, CP, I hate when I miss wide open shots. Me too. Me too. When the defense breaks down and gives me an open shot, I hate when I miss it, man. You are not the only one for sure. LJ up next said, yo, what's up? I'm new. What's good, LJ? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to your first stream if you are new to the channel like you said. Hang around, enjoy it. Right now we're just going for that Galaxy Opal Antoine Jameson in domination. We just began this grind about two hours ago. So hang around, enjoy it, and let's keep on winning. What's good, Daniel Gagnon? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Bully Too Much and Crumbles? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Welcome to the stream, Crumbles and Master85 as well. I just pulled Opal Butler. That is a huge dub. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys are getting Opal Butler. I don't know if y'all are getting lucky or what, but I'm glad that y'all are getting that Opal Butler because I haven't gotten him yet. What's good, Gashi? Welcome to the stream. Brandon says, I'm finna quit this grind. Brandon, it is so easy to quit, man. It is so easy to quit. Yesterday, when I was playing Triple Threat offline and had to win 150 games in one stream, I could have definitely quit, but I had to do it for the people. I had to go for my goal. I couldn't end the stream until I did it. And I know that playing 2K can get kind of boring, but you got this, man. Go for your goal. Pull it off. You got this. I believe in you. James said, are you guys doing the return spotlights? I'll do those eventually, but I haven't done them yet. They don't give you much XP, and the prizes, eh, they're not amazing, but I'll probably do them eventually, just to get the tokens and the MT, and they're pretty easy games to win, so I'll probably do those at some point. Andrew said, grinding triple threat offline and domination. Yes, sir, Andrew. Keep me updated on your grind. Keep on going hard. Glad to see you guys are grinding out these offline game modes with me. They're not easy, man, at all, but I'm glad you guys are working. Dean Wade said I can't get sleep. Come on, Dean Wade. You gotta get sleep before your test. I'm glad you're back, but you gotta get some sleep. George Rodriguez said, what's good? What's good, George? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. Shant says I have Diamond Rudy Gay. Got a dunk and won. He's so good. Diamond Rudy Gay is good. In my opinion, one of the top five Diamond Small Forwards in the game. Rudy Gay, definitely worth the pickup, especially since he's gotten so cheap on the auction house. Fully badged up, he is a beast. PD2K said, man's gonna be more inspirational than Curry. I don't know if anybody can be more inspirational than Curry, but hey, you never know. You never know. Gotta keep an open mind. Dean Wade said, I just finished studying. That's a dub, but man, you gotta get some sleep. You said you got the biggest test of your life coming soon. I'm glad you're prepared for it, but you gotta get some sleep too, my guy. Ziv says, I just missed a wide open shot with Cam Reddish with Shark Takeover. Yeah, man, I hate when I miss wide open shots with Takeover. You would think that with Takeover, you shouldn't miss. With Takeover, you should be able to shoot better than you did without Takeover, but I feel like sometimes when I have Takeover, when I'm shooting leaders and stuff, even if I'm open, I feel like they don't go in as much as they should, which is annoying, but 2K is 2K, man. They're not going to complain too much about it. It ain't that big of a deal, but it still sucks, for sure. It's just inconvenient and it's sad, missing open shots with TakeOver. 
Roger says I picked Barry instead of Russell. I wanted a small forward. Do you think I should have grabbed Russell? So the reason why I got Russell is because I wanted a good center. I already have so many good guards, so I didn't pick up Gary Payton. And I already have so many good wing players too, so that's why I didn't choose Barry. But Barry is probably going to be the next one I get because his stats look pretty good and I want to pick him up. I wouldn't mind getting a Galaxy Opal small forward Rick Barry. He's going to be my next pickup for sure. Shant said I'm using Wayne Embry and he's so good. Yes he is, in my opinion, one of the best centers in the game and possibly the best value center in the game because he's free. All you had to do was open the vault. What's good Masai Ujiri, welcome to the stream. Roger said Barry definitely has one of the quickest jumpers, that's some good news. Having a quick jumper is always a great thing, so he's probably going to be the one I pick up next. Also, I just missed back-to-back -back free throws with Steph Curry, if you guys noticed that. That is so bad. That is so terrible. Squaw said whenever I get sharp take, I miss more shots. I don't miss more shots, but dude, sometimes I feel like I'll release the shot perfectly, but it doesn't go in. And with sharp takeover, like of course it helps you get more greens apparently, but it should also help you make some more whites, in my opinion. What's up Connor Wyant? Welcome to the stream. LJ says I like playing this mode for the tickets as well. The tickets? You mean the tokens? Because the tokens, they give you a lot of tokens. So if you mean the tokens, then I agree with you. But if you're talking about tickets, I don't know what you mean by tickets, sadly. Andrew says, I just snatch blocked 92 DC with Sapphire Gobert. Are you talking about DeMarcus Cousins? Sometimes it takes me a second to know who y'all are talking about when y'all say, like, DC. But 92 Boogie Cousins snatch block? That's what I'm talking about. Christian said the Bills won. I'm not surprised. I was watching the beginning of that game. I was watching the first couple quarters earlier. Hey, the Bills get the win. I'm not surprised. One bit. The Bills got that second seed. They took advantage of the home field too, man. Josh Allen, MVP candidate. I'm not surprised the Bills got the win. I just wonder if Phillip Rivers is going to come back next season because I heard he might be retiring. I'm not sure. That might not matter to many other people, but it's kind of important to me. Game Day says, I love your ability to play and read comments. That's a talent, bro. Respect. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's not easy reading comments while playing and trying to win and do the best I can, but I think I've gotten kind of decent at it. Welcome to the stream, Game Day. Charles Pullen says, I just pulled Jimmy Butler. That's a huge dub. LJ up next said, tokens. That's what I thought you meant. Tickets, tickets, tokens, that's what I thought you meant. But hey, I agree. Domination gives you so many tokens, which is a great thing. Joel said, let's go Bills. Hey, I'm not a Bills fan, but I definitely predicted they would win, Joel. I definitely picked them to win. The Colts, they gave them everything they got, but it wasn't enough. The Bills move on to the next round. Masai Ujiri says I might trade Pascal for Dean Wade. That's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Trading Pascal Siakam for Dean Wade. That's a pretty good move that can definitely get the Raptors back in the championship conversation. I mean, I know you saw how D. Wade played in Cleveland. Yeah. One of the best in the league for sure. PD2K said, I hope there is one very limited and rare pack that has cards with no position lock. Yeah, that's not going to happen, but that's what out of position cards are for. And eventually, we're definitely going to get some more out of position cards because that stuff happens every single year. We get those out of position players at some point. Well, we didn't get them in 2K19, but that's because we didn't have position locks. But 2K20, we got those out of position players eventually. Rise Shoddy says, what's your collector level? Um, collector level? I have like 1,200 cards, so it's not very high, sadly. Adam said, not bad, but I'll miss Pascal. Dean Wade, I mean, if you have a chance to trade for a talent like Dean Wade, you gotta take that opportunity. You gotta take that opportunity if it's offered to you. Good move by Masai Ujiri. Daniel said, what's up, just joined. What's good, Daniel Samuels? Welcome to the stream. Sife said there are heat check cards that go on fire. Why do their attributes go up? Because they're playing well in real life. 
They're on fire. They're hot, I guess you can say. So that's why their stats go up, because they're on fire, fire, heat, heat check. It only makes sense. It truly makes sense. Dean Wade said, you can beat the 96 Bulls if you get Dean Wade. Exactly. Like, if you have the chance to trade someone like Siakam for a Dean Wade type of talent, you take that opportunity 99 times out of 99. Y'all thought I was going to say 100. What's good, Deshaun Armstrong? Welcome to the stream. Andrew says, I hate when you miss off an ankle breaker. Me too. Shots off ankle breakers should have an 100% conversion rate, but nope. They have like a 12% conversion rate. Connor says, what quarter are you on? This is the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. You guys might not see that in the bottom right corner, but we're in the fourth quarter. Shant says, I have Diamond Clyde Drexler. He dunks over everybody. I've played against him. He's very good. That Diamond Clyde's a pretty good card. And he's not super expensive either. Masai Ujiri says, I'm two-sixths of the way done. You mean two-thirds? Or one-third? Same thing. I'm two-thirds of the way done. Two-sixths of the way done. Can't wait to get Antoine. Same here. I'm almost one-sixth of the way done. Which isn't a terrible thing. We still got a lot of work to do, but y'all know we're patient and pretty persistent. We should bet we should get it pretty easily. Odd Squad said someone tread someone said trade Siakam to the Warriors for Draymond and some picks. I saw that the Trailblazers and the Raptors are both really going for Draymond. Or pushing for Draymond. I don't know if they're gonna get Draymond though. Because the Warriors they've been decent with him in the lineup, even though he's not doing much scoring. Christian says, do you have Pink Diamond Bobby Jones? Yes, I do. Bertonki says, hey, Doc, just play Hall of Fame every... You really think I don't know that? You really think I don't know to play Hall of Fame every single time? You really think I'm playing pro and then all-star and then Hall of Fame? How much of a noob do you think I am? What the heck? That is the... That, might, that is a contender for worst chat that I've gotten today. You really think I don't know to play every game on Hall of Fame? You think I've been playing 2K for like two hours? I've been playing 2K for years. I literally know to do that. That is one of the worst chats I've ever gotten in my history of running this channel. Joshua says it's crazy how we're both going against the Knicks right now and dumb. I'm playing versus the Raptors. Squad said, yes, you should play 99 pro games. Yeah, that is one of the stupidest chats I've ever seen. I, that, that chat kind of made me upset. I'm in a great mood, but man, that kind of made me upset. Bertonki said, so why are you playing the Knicks? I'm literally playing versus the Raptors. I'm literally playing versus the Raptors. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm upset right now. I might end the stream early. I'm literally playing versus the Raptors. 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 I need some water. Oh, I'm so upset. Just kidding, not that upset. Kristen says if the Warriors got Pascal Siakam, their defense, their defense would change a lot. I agree. I think their defense would get worse. The creationist said, "Hi Doc, what's good, creationist? Welcome to the stream. Let's just hold the ball." I am upset. Never mind. I'm gonna shoot the three and get my own rebound. Dean Wade said he's playing versus the Raptors. What are y'all on about? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know what they're talking about. Meech said, what's up, Doc? How many rings you got now? How many rings I got right now? One. I wish I had more, but sadly only one's available. Masai Ujiri says, I'm level 69. Can I get Curry by the end of the season? Sure you can. If he's available still. Adam says, I have zero rings. Thankfully... There's a lot of time left in the season, and a lot of time left in the weekend. Alright. There we go. We have finished our first division. Let's get some dubs in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. That is one division done. Five games done in a decent amount of time. We're off to a pretty good start, I'd say. Dan says, what's up, Doc? Love to see it. Yes, sir, my boy. You love to see it. There's one division done with. And... I'd say it was pretty easy. Hopefully it doesn't get too much more difficult in this next division. Let's play versus Acumpo and the Bucks. This is actually a pretty easy division. The Pistons, the Cavs, the Bulls. This is actually a super easy division, but the Bucks are a pretty good team.
Thanks for the dubs, Dynamite, Christian, Masayu, Jiri, Joshua, Dan, James. Big dubs in the chat. I know I got kind of heated earlier, but I'm feeling pretty good now. I'm feeling a lot better. So let's get these wins. Five games down and like 28 games to go. Let's do it. YNA says, Doc, I have to choose a ring, and I know you choose left, but the last two times I chose left, it was on the right. What do I do? Go left, always. Always go left. For real though, I've heard that the ring this season has been appearing on the right for a lot of people, so maybe I'm going to start going right. I don't know though, I'm probably going to go left every time still. James says, I can't. They're literally harassing the door. Adam said the Bucks are probably the hardest in the division. The Bucks are clearly the hardest in the division. I mean, the Bulls shouldn't be hard. The Cavs shouldn't be hard. The Pistons shouldn't be hard. Maybe the Pacers are kind of tough, but every other team shouldn't be that hard. The weird one said, how many stars you got? 15. Lil Neon says, I started my domination grind. I have school in three hours. Got you. Hey, good job starting on your grind, but also make sure you don't miss out on school. Stay focused on school. Stay focused on the grind too, though. Syrup Assassin says, are you saving the packs for a video? Maybe. I wasn't planning on saving the packs for a video. It's just that I'm too lazy to open them, and I'm trying to win all these games as fast as I can. Adam said the Bulls were too easy. Yeah, the Bulls probably are a pretty easy team. I'm not really worried about playing the Bulls. They have Levine though, they got Markkanen, they got some decent talent, but I definitely, uh, it's definitely like not too hard to play the Bulls or the Cavs or the Pistons. But the Bucks, they got Acampo, so kind of a tough game because Acampo is a back-to-back -back reigning MVP, even though he can't really shoot. So I might leave him open. I mean, look at that. He's shooting leaners. Squad said... I think it's on a different side each week. Wine AMBA says it was on the right again. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I know I say always go left, but a lot of you guys are saying the ring's on the right. If the ring's on the right so often, maybe you should start going right. But for me yesterday, the ring was in the middle, so I got lucky with it. I really didn't have to worry about missing the ring because it was right there in the middle, which is always the, the best thing. Always the best thing possible. Adam said it was 62-62, and then Giannis Green for the game. What? A compo green for the game? He's out here missing wide open shots versus me, but you're telling me that he is out here raining threes, greening for the win? That is so bad. I'm sorry about that, man. Saucy says, I'm playing the Sixers, and Embiid is greening too much BS. Versus me, Embiid didn't shoot many jump shots. He was just posting up every now and then. He was posting up, and we have Bill Russell, so we were just fine defensively versus Bill Russell. Max4 said, Dubs only, Doc. Let's go. Yeah. Dubs only, indeed. Let's keep on winning. We're off to a great start. I think our smallest win was by, like, 40, so we're playing pretty well. We're doing a decent job hitting our shots, but we got to be better defensively for sure. Wavy Hoop says Doc has a lot of opals. I only have four opals, so not that many, but we, yeah, we have, we basically have four opals. Since Elgin Baylor, he's an opal. We evolved him from a pink diamond. We got D. Wade, Baron Davis, and Bill Russell, so eh, I guess four opals is decent, but there are some guys out there with a lot more opals than the ones I have. Squad said he should get Bosch. Yeah, Bosch is pretty good. I've used him before. One of the best diamond centers in the game, for sure. I mean, if you can shoot like Bosch, if you can like play defense and rebound like Bosch, and if you have speed that Bosch does, you're going to be one of the best centers in the game. And Bosch is certainly one of the best diamond centers in the game. James the Young Kid said, I'm 13 for 51 with Dort. Oh my gosh. 13 for 51. That's... It's kind of rough, but at least you're not over 51. At least you're hitting some shots, but 13 for 51, wow. That is kind of rough. Adam said, how do you get Elgin Baylor? You get Elgin Baylor by evolving every reward in current, historic, and all-time domination. 
Chance says, I'll tell you how good Antoine Jameson is because I'm going to get him first. Good for you. Joshua says, Adam, domination. Yeah, yeah, you evolve all the domination rewards, and that's how you get Elgin Baylor. And then, of course, you can evolve Elgin Baylor to a Galaxy Opal, but, spoiler, he's not very good. I mean, he's good, but, like, he only has two Hall of Fame badges. Combo says, would you rather Bosch or Rudy? Are you talking about Rudy Gay or Rudy Gobert? I'm assuming you're talking about Rudy Gobert. I'd say that Bosch is the better player, but... That's just my opinion. I've used Rudy. I like his jump shot, but I prefer Bosch's. It's so quick. And I think that's why he's the better player, in my opinion. EY Gaming says, do you remember me? Sure, I remember you. Yeah, welcome back. Berto says, Wayne Embry is so OP in domination. He is pretty good in domination. He's very good in domination. I'm not using him right now, but... Maybe I should use him because we're having a terrible first quarter. Like we might lose this game. No, nah, I'm just kidding. We're not going to lose, but we got to play better. We're off to a really rough start. They have 11 points already. I know it's five minute quarters, but that's still kind of bad compared to my last few games. So let's start scoring a little bit more efficiently, even though we're missing all these open layups. Felipe says, how do you get that ball? I can't remember, but you've got to collect a bunch of other balls to get this ball. This is the disco ball, for anybody who's wondering. So, it's pretty easy to get, because all you have to do is collect other stuff. Please make that. That would have been nice. Such a bad start. We're playing bad defense. We're also missing easy shots. Bosco says, do you remember me? I hate when people ask that. Max says, do you remember me from the stream yesterday? I hate when people ask that. YNA says, I've played like 10 games, and now my connection time's out. Yeah, 2K's gotta chill, man. The servers have been whack lately. Like, they've been terrible lately. People have been losing their rings, people have been timing out, lagging out. 2K's gotta fix their game, ASAP. Keon TV said, what's up CP? I'm about to play the new Domination, I've done like 6 games, that's pretty good. I'm actually, why is he open? I'm actually on game number 6 right now. We're not looking very good though. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this game. We won the first five games by like 50 each. We might lose this game to be honest with you. Equipped Page said, what's up, I'm back. Welcome back, Equipped Page. Adam says they hit so many whites. Nah, I'm just playing some bad defense this game. They've been hitting greens versus me. They've been making wide open layups. If we can take a double digit lead in the next couple minutes, I'll be happy, but I'm off to a terrible start in this game defensively. I'm okay with leaving Giannis open though, so I might honestly start doing that. If we just lock in on defense, we'll pull away, but we're off to such a bad start. Paulius says domination is moneymaker. I agree. Domination is moneymaker. You get a lot of tokens, you get a lot of MT, you can also do XP challenges at the same time. Domination is moneymaker, like you said. Austin said, what game are you on? Game number six. Masayu Jiri says, Ruby Markel is OP in limited, and so is Amethyst Surge. I agree. That's a pretty good combo right there. I think Amethyst Surge is definitely one of the better big men you can use. Also, Ruby Thon Maker, very good big man that you can use. Ruby Thon Maker, Ruby Bull Bull, Ruby Manute Bull is not so bad either. But yeah, Th Surge Ibaka, very solid. Patchmade YT said two games away from Antoine Jameson. Very nice. Wahil said, I was here yesterday. Yes, you were. Yo, what's up, Doc? Hey, what's good? Welcome back to the stream. Nice to have you back in here. We got 171 people in here. I hope all you guys are enjoying the stream so far. It's been a good one so far. We're going for Jameson and Domination. And if any of you guys watching the stream are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed, if you're enjoying what you're seeing. We finished up five games. We got 28 games to go. Corbin said, how close are you, Doc? Five games down, 28 games to go. Christian said, also the fact that you can get heat check cards and sell them. Yeah, man, you can make so much MT from playing the games. You can get heat check cards and sell them. You also get so many tokens, you get the free Galaxy Opal. I think that this is 100% worth it because it takes less than a day of gameplay to complete. Lil Codeen said, Tyrese Maxey is popping off for the Sixers. Is he on your fantasy team? I'm assuming he is. You sound pretty happy that he's popping off. 
Alexis said, love the stream and subbed already. I appreciate you, Alexis. I'm glad you love the stream, and I'm glad you've subscribed. Yahil said, do you remember me? I literally just responded to you. I literally just responded to you. But yeah, I appreciate you, Alexis. And I think I said this earlier. I'll say it again. For some reason, my subscriptions aren't working. Like, whenever someone subscribes, usually a message shows up on the screen. But that message has not been showing up, so... If you subscribe, let me know, and I can shout you out aloud. Corbin says, I haven't started yet, but it's gonna be a grind. Hey man, just because you haven't started yet, doesn't mean it's too late to start. Go at your own pace, get that Antoine, and nobody cares when you get him. Just go get him, and you'll have Antoine. He's covered by Curry. And I'll be pretty proud of you, too. We gotta play better defense, but we should still win this pretty easily. Lil Codeine said Tyrese got 31. That is a big dub. I didn't know he was popping off like that. I know he's been having a pretty big rookie year, but that's what I'm talking about. Tyrese Maxey popping off for Philly. Jay Drizzle said, what's up, Doc? I have 54 stars. Good for you. Syrup says, what the F? I just got a gold from the Heat Check player pack. Really, a gold player? I don't think that one's happened to me yet. But to be fair, I've only opened one Heat Check pack, so... Yeah. I haven't gotten a gold yet like you have, but maybe I will after I open some Heat Check packs. Berto said, should I buy AM? AK. AK's pretty good. One of the best power forwards in the game for sure. I mean, he's so good defensively. He's always good defensively. His jump shot is fast. He can actually dribble a little bit. Super fun card to use. I'd say he's definitely worth picking up, especially since he's not too expensive. What's up, Isaiah Tovar? Welcome back to the stream. Max said, good job, Doc. Appreciate that, Max. The genius man said, these teams are tough to beat them down. It's not tough at all. I'm just having a really bad game. We've already given up 20 points, which is so bad defensively, but we have a little bit of a lead. We're up by 17. I guess that's not terrible. Saucy said, plus domination is giving some pretty good early XP just for winning. That's true. If you win some domination games, you get some XP, which is a pretty great thing. You get XP, you get tokens, you get MT, you get a free Galaxy Opal. I'd say it's pretty worth it. Yahil said, is Denny Rookie of the Year? I don't think so, no. Adam said, Giannis is hitting shots like, what? Giannis hasn't done much against me. Giannis hasn't been killing me. It's been like Bobby Portis killing me. I'm telling y'all, I gotta start playing better defense, or this game is over. Jay Drizzle says, you inspire me to grind 2K. I'm glad I inspire you. I mean, grinding 2K is a pretty fun thing when you're in a rhythm, man. Now, it can get kind of boring sometimes. It can get kind of weird sometimes. 2K can sell you sometimes. The game can get kind of frustrating, but if you're listening to someone, like my streams, for example, if you're listening to music or talking to somebody, it makes the grind a whole lot easier. And streaming for me makes the grind a whole lot easier. Yahil says, do you like Israel? I've never been there before. Bert says, hi, I'm back. Welcome back, Bert. Yoav said, is Bob Pettit good? He's all right. I mean, I haven't used him. Squad said that Bob Pettit sucks, but I've never used him before. He's usually pretty good in 2K, but I've heard he's not very good so far this year. Berto says, do you think Galaxy Opal Clay is tied with Domination? He is not tied with Domination. He's the lock-in for the throwback moments cards. That's what it said in the dev blog, so that's what I'm going by. Okay, let's have a better second half. That first half was rough. We literally allowed 21 points, dude. So let's play some better defense this half. Yahil said, thank you for good content. I got you, Yahil. I'm glad you enjoy my content. I hope all you guys enjoy my content. If you don't, I can't really complain about that. Joshua said, Rudy Hernandez is so fast. I've heard he's one of the better shooting guards in the game. I mean, his jump shot is nice. I've seen some gameplay of him. He looks like a pretty fun card to use, but personally, I haven't used him yet. Eiffel Love says, Doc, I need you to know I've been removing ankles with Jimmy Butler. Nice. Yeah, I know Jimmy Butler's pretty good. I played against him yesterday. And a lot of you guys said that you pulled him out of packs, so I'm glad that you guys got so lucky with packs. 
because I haven't opened packs for real. Ty Hancock says Heat Jack Curry stats are godly, but he has no badges. Yeah, man, I don't like that about Heat Jack cards. Here's the thing. I mean, badges are not dynamic, but stats are. It's Yali, not Yahil. Sorry. I'll make sure to pronounce it right next time. That's Bill Russell. Oh, I didn't know that was Bill Russell. I thought that was Eddie Jones because he was wearing number six. Masayu Ujiri said Cedric Sabalos is really good if you don't have a good small forward. He's a diamond, right? I really don't know much about the new cards, but I'm pretty sure he's a diamond. I haven't seen his stats or anything, but I remember in 2K20 early in the year, Cedric Sabalos had a really good ruby card who could shoot and defend. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that his diamond's pretty good. Mike the Scrub says, I hate domination. I keep missing wide open threes on Hall of Fame. I'm going to be real. I don't think this is actually Hall of Fame. I think it says Hall of Fame, but these games are way too easy to possibly be Hall of Fame. Wine AMBA says, finally, I got the limited ring. Yes, sir. Congratulations on getting your ring. I would say it's about time, but to be fair, 2K was just screwing you over and over. You should have gotten your ring by now, but either way, I'm glad you finally got it. The limited grind is over for you, for this weekend at least. I'm proud of you, Wine A. PD2K said, just finished up the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets? I'd say they're one of the tougher teams in domination, heat check domination. Even though we still won by a lot, they can actually hit shots with Kyrie and KD and Levert. Y and A said, everyone go right, always go right. I got my ring on the middle, though, and I usually get my rings on the left. I wouldn't say always go right, but so far this season, a lot of guys are saying that the ring's on the right, and they're missing the ring when it's on the right. So maybe going right is the move this season, but yesterday I got my ring in the middle, so I really don't know. I'm really not sure. Maybe going right is the move this season. Adam says the Bucks are being annoying for me. The Bucks were being annoying for me too. The Bucks got off to such a hot start shooting versus me, man. They were hitting literally every shot. I was playing some, to be fair, I was playing some pretty bad defense. Thankfully, I've been a little bit better defensively in this half, but I got off to such a bad start. Thankfully, we're doing a little bit better now though. What's up, Hector? Welcome to the stream. I got mine on the left, but I did miss it on the right. Like I said, maybe going right is the move this season. Maybe that's what you gotta do. But I haven't I haven't had that situation happen to me just yet. Saucy said got my ring in the middle too. Yes, sir! Getting the ring in the middle is the best thing, the best scenario. But if it's not in the middle, I might start going right. I'm not sure. It's so hard to say. Shant says, I just got 27 stars. That's a dub. Wait, I thought you said you were like way ahead of me. You're only like 12 stars ahead of me. You were talking earlier as if you were about to finish, but 27 stars? Fair enough. I didn't know that. Captain TF says, I also got my ring in the middle today. That's a dub. Yali says, who's your favorite center of all time? That's a tough one. I really don't know. I like Carl Towns a lot, though, but I don't know if he's my favorite. I like Porzingis, too, but I don't know if he counts as a center. Favorite center in NBA history might be Hakeem, to be honest with you. Codeen said four to go. Yes, sir, Codeen. That's what I'm talking about. Four games to go for you. Keep on grinding and give us a fire Jameson gameplay. Berto says the only team that was annoying for me is the Rockets. I'm assuming James Harden was hitting some tough shots for the Rockets. Kappen says I also got my ring in the middle. DPDP said, yo, what's up, Doc? What's good, DP? Welcome back to the stream. Once again, nice to have you back in the building. Adam says I'm down by 15 versus the Bucks. The Bucks, I can see why they might be annoying because they got off to a very good start versus me. Thankfully, we've made a little bit of a comeback and we have a decent lead, but the Bucks got off to an annoyingly good start against me. Lil Codeen says, what diamond big man is good from Diamond Rewards? Antonio, D Antonio Davis is probably the best one available, but Al Horford isn't too bad either. Ziv says, just got 18 stars. That's a dub. PD said, when is heat check domination going to leave? 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be there the rest of the year. Is Galaxy Opal Westbrook worth it? I'm not sure. I haven't used him yet. Masayu Jiri says my favorite center is Yao Ming. I like Yao Ming a lot too, for sure. Aiden Green says, yo doc, you're doing really good on YT. You've gotten 100 subs since last stream. I wouldn't say we're doing really good, but the channel is growing. Our views are going up and the streams have been a lot of fun lately thanks to you guys. So thank you all for showing up big. I appreciate y'all being here and yeah, the grind continues from yesterday. Darby says, I missed the ring on the right again. I've missed it four times now. Like I said, maybe you should start going right. Everyone's saying that the ring's on the right, so maybe I'm going to start going right too. I know that I've been devoutly saying that I go left every time, but I might start going right instead just because of y'all. Squad says I'm confused on why people say I'm only going for Hall of Fame badges. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know you personally. DP says, when did you start playing 2K? My first 2K was 2K12. And then a few months later, 2K13 came out. And 2K13, to this day, is definitely one of my favorite 2K games ever. Because of the memories. Creating a legend. My career. First year of my team ever. Fun game. Fun times playing online. It's just, 2K was fun back then, man. I haven't had as much fun playing 2K since 2K13 and 14, to be honest with you. Mark says, got my ring on the right, fifth game. Hey, that's a grind right there. Playing five games, getting five wins. That's a dub. Congratulations on your ring, my boy, Mark. Muhammad said my ring was also on the right. That's what I'm saying. Everyone is saying their rings are on the right, so I'm probably going to start going right too every single time. Even though I used to always go left, I might start going right every time. DP says, same. I played it on the 360. Exactly. Same here, man. 2K13 on the 360 and 2K14 on the next-gen console, the Xbox One back then. Those are my two favorite 2Ks of all time, and like I said, I don't think I've had as much fun since just sitting down and playing the game. Even though this 2K has been good to me, even though my team's been fun, those were the golden days, man, for sure. Alexis says, I got my ring on the left third game. Brian Good said, 6.13, congrats, hey. That's pretty good, 6.13 thousand subs. My goal this stream was just 6.1, but I appreciate y'all for helping me get to 6.1. You guys subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see if we can keep the channel growing, man. And I know that 6.13 is a number, but man, I really do appreciate every single one of y'all for showing up and supporting me, for real. That is a lot of people subscribed. Let's see if we can keep the channel growing today since we got a lot of time left in this stream. Coulter says my ring was on the left. Barto says I missed 2K10. I would always shoot half courts with Curry. He was so cheese. In 2K10? Curry wasn't even that good back in 2K10, but hey, I guess Curry's been cheese since 2K10. I didn't even play 2K10 for real. One of my friends let me borrow it. He let me try it out on PSP. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but 2K10, interesting. Andrew McCoy says, I'm back. Welcome back, Andrew. Nice to have you back in the stream. Also, what's up, George Chavez? Carlos says, are we at 269 yet? 269 likes? We're at 249 right now, so we're getting close. It's no hurry, but we are getting pretty close. But yeah, welcome to the stream, George. Amit says, I'm done with the East. That's a dub. I'm still working on the East. This is easily the worst game we've played, in my opinion, especially defensively. Easily the worst game that we've played, but we're still doing a decent job. We're doing a lot better in the second half defensively, but first half was super rough defensively. Lord Jordy Mort says, how's the grind going? It's going pretty well so far. We're getting some pretty nice wins versus some pretty bad teams, and the biggest thing is that we're getting through the games fast, so at this pace, I'd say we're doing a pretty good job. Aiden says, how's it going? I'm doing great, Aiden. How are you doing? Hope you're doing all right. I hope everyone in the stream is doing all right. I hope everybody's enjoying the stream. It's been a good one so far. And we're going to keep the same energy. We're going to keep on moving forward for sure. Jennifer says, I'm Portland Dame, but on my aunt's phone. Welcome back, Portland Dame. 
Nice to have you back in the stream. Aiden says I've done 10 out of 33 so far. That's not too bad. Squad says I was saying why do people go for the badge and not the limited player? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, sometimes the limited player, for example, Aaron Gordon, isn't even that good. But, for example, you might get Hall of Fame clamps out of that pack. You might get Hall of Fame range extender. You might get Hall of Fame something like that. You might get some really good Hall of Fame badge. And we've seen before, if you give someone like Kobe Hall of Fame range, their price goes up big. If you give someone Hall of Fame clamps, their price might go up a lot. You really never know. Getting the Hall of Fame badge could have some really good value, but getting the player who is already definitely good is also not a bad idea. All right, pretty easy win versus the Bucks. That is 18 stars. If we win this game, we get seven tokens, so let's play versus the Cavaliers and let's get those tokens real quick. Masayu Jiri says, the Wizards are cheese. Bradley Beal doesn't miss. Man, hopefully, Bradley Beal decides to miss when I play against him because, yeah, that would be frustrating having to guard Bradley Beal if he's on fire. Beba says, do you have this week's ring? Yes, I do have this ring. I got the ring last night after I finished up the stream. Shant says, you're the reason why I'm grinding. You're my inspiration. I love to hear that, Shant. I'm glad I can inspire you. This My Team Grind's a pretty fun thing, and I'm glad that I've inspired you to grind as well. Because it's a really fun thing to do when you get in the zone. Even when you're not in the zone, it's fun to do. J2 says, this might sound dumb, but can you get two rings in one week? Um, that's not a dumb question, but no, you can only get one ring per week. One ring per week. If you miss one ring, you can't go back and get it, which is really dumb, but I guess that's what 2K decided to do this year in My Team Limited. What's up, Sammy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Tate Flynn? Welcome back to the stream. PD said, name the top four players from the Amethyst market. Top four Amethyst. I know there's some new ones, but I don't know them very well. One of my favorites is definitely World Be Free. I think he's the best one in the Amethyst token market. World Be Free. I'd say the best big man is Sam Perkins. My favorite shooter is, honestly, Sean Elliott. Who else do I like? Kelly Trupica is a good shooter. I can't think of many Amethyst token players because it's been so long since I've had to use those guys, but those four guys I named are four of my personal favorites. What's up, Bavik? Welcome to the stream. Aiden said, yo, Masai Ujiri, trade Aaron Baines. Yeah, Aaron Baines has been kind of bad this year. He's been kind of bad. I mean, last year he was pretty good with the Suns. I mean... Aaron Baines, he's a pretty good defensive center, even though he gets dunked on a lot. Offensively, he can score in the post, he can shoot very well, but he's a huge downgrade over Mark Gasol and Serge Ibaka. Aaron Baines, I think getting him out of there, even though he can be a pretty good center, they definitely need a better one. Chris Boucher has been pretty good for them, though, I gotta say. Chris Boucher has actually been pretty instrumental for the Raptors off the bench. He could be a pretty good center for their future. Bavik says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, Bavik. Happy New Year, my boy. It's been a good one so far. We've had some weird stuff go down in the U.S., but it's still been a good New Year so far. Amit says, I was taking Gasol for granted. Yeah, man, don't worry. You were not the only one. See, Gasol, he doesn't make a huge impact on the stat sheet, but his defense, his playmaking, his ability to space the floor, it's pretty slept on, man. And Gasol... I feel like he's become kind of underrated just because his stats aren't as good as they used to be. What's good, Carmine Plays? Welcome to the stream. I know you've been grinding lately. I'm surprised to see you in the stream. Surprised you're not grinding right now. Welcome to the stream, Carmine. Ahmed says, I live in the six. I have never been to Toronto. I've been to Canada, but never Toronto, like, never Toronto specifically. It is really nice, though, Canada. I want to make another stop by there sometime, but travel's kind of hard with the way the world's going right now, if y'all know what I mean. Carlos said the same thing goes for Oubre. He was only good on the Suns. Yeah, he was good on the Suns. Oubre had a breakout year, but remember, the Suns, they went 8-0 and in the bubble without Kelly Oubre. 
Kelly Oubre didn't play a single bubble game. So I think that's something you got to take into consideration. Even though Oubre had a career here, even though the Suns weren't terrible, the thing is that they didn't have to have Oubre in the bubble to win all those games, which could mean that they're better without him. I don't know, but either way. Oubre is a talented player, but he has been pretty bad so far for the Warriors. Carmine says you're going to take all the viewers. I'm joking. Keep up the grind. I appreciate you, Carmine. You do the same thing. You do the same thing. I'm proud of you, man. Keep on working hard. A lot of my boys who do YouTube, their channels have been growing lately. Their streams have been doing real well. And I'm proud of them, man. I'm happy for our community that we have, for sure. Adam says I live in Ontario. Ontario's nice. I've also been in Niagara before, and dude, beautiful, beautiful. I want to go to Toronto sometime. I want to go back to Canada, but hey, not my top priority. I just want the world to get better first before I can start traveling again. AD says, how do you get Galaxy Opal Antoine Jameson? He's the reward for finishing heat check domination. To find heat check domination, go to domination, and it's going to be all the way on the right. All you gotta do is win 33 games on Hall of Fame difficulty, and yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Bovic says, Pink Diamond Iverson, Devin Booker, Jefferson, Bob Love, and Dwight Howard. That's my lineup. Not a bad lineup. Not a bad lineup at all. Keon says, last night my Pistons beat the Suns. Yeah, I saw that. It surprised me, because the Pistons aren't very good, but I saw they got the overtime win. Jeremy Grant dropped 31 and 10. That's not bad at all. Jennifer says, I bought a diamond and it took my MT and didn't give me the card. You probably got outbid. Let's go check your auction outcomes. Because 2K never takes MT from you. Sometimes you might get scammed, but 2K is not going to scam you. That's for sure. PD2K said, Amethyst Xavier McDaniel is a good card if you're grinding limited. I agree. He's athletic. His jump shot's not terrible. He can defend. Athletic cards, they tend to be pretty good in the online game modes, especially limited this weekend where you need to have one Amethyst. McDaniel is pretty good this week. Roger says, just got Luka. Heat check. I hope I have the same luck as you guys getting heat check players because I've only opened up one heat check deluxe pack and I got Carl Towns from that pack. And he's not terrible, but some of you guys are getting Curry and Giannis, which is pretty crazy because those guys are going for crazy amounts on the auction house. Peleg says, yo, Doc, I gotta go to sleep. See you tomorrow. I'll see you, Peleg. Take it easy. Have some good sleep, and I'll see you again soon. Adam says, just one versus the Bucks. Yes, sir, my boy. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. Like I said, man, that Bucks team last game, even though we got the win, they got off to an annoyingly good start. So I know that Bucks team is no joke, even though we beat them by 50. Keep on grinding. Congratulations on that dub. Keep on moving forward. Javen Malone said Markel Fultz snipes are going crazy. Yeah, a lot of you guys are getting Markel Fultz snipes. A lot of you guys are. Markel's good, and man, his dribble moves are crazy. He's great at shooting the ball. He can defend a little bit too. Markel is definitely one of the best budget PGs in the game, no doubt about it. Markel is tough, for real. Adam says I was down by 20 at one point. Adam, nice comeback. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Down by 20, but still got the win? I gotta say it. That's what I'm talking about. Lord Jordy Mort says, did you catch the Bulls game last night? I caught the end of it. The Lakers came out clutch. They won the game despite not having Anthony Davis. LeBron put up some pretty good stats. Big team win for the Lakers, especially after their loss to the Spurs. Roger says, I've had horrible luck until I've gotten Luka. Yeah, I've had some horrible luck too. My boy Codeine got Kevin Durant last night. That was a big dub for him. I haven't had any big dubs like that just yet though. Joshua says, Heat check Steph Curry's going for 170. Yeah, you guys have been saying that. Heat check Curry's 170. That's pretty crazy. Earlier, y'all said he was going for 200. I know his stats are looking good right now, but come on, man, really? 
170 for a heat check curry. I don't know if he's worth that much. I know he's good, but the thing I don't like about the heat check players is their badges don't improve. Their badges always stay the same. Their attributes change. And of course, having a 99-3 is good, but if you don't have gold or Hall of Fame range, that kind of defeats the purpose sometimes. Adam said heat check faults. Heat check faults? Heat check faults? I don't know what you mean by that. Zerst said Hall of Fame domination translated rookie dom. I feel like this isn't Hall of Fame. Zerst, I wouldn't say this is Hall of Fame, but I mean, I wouldn't say this is rookie, but I don't think it's Hall of Fame. I feel like if it was Hall of Fame, the CPU, they'd be shooting a little bit better. I feel like they miss a lot of open shots. I feel like they're just relatively easy to guard sometimes. I feel like even if it's on Hall of Fame, maybe the sliders are a little bit lower. I don't know, but I feel like Hall of Fame would be a little bit tougher than this. Masai said, I should have traded for Vince in 2019. That would have been a class act right there, letting Vince Carter get his ring. Especially since he's such a big reason why the Raptors are still in Toronto to this day. It's crazy that they almost relocated before Vince Sanity took off. That would have been a great move by you. A class act by you. Lord Jordy Mort says, That was a good game. Sad the Bulls didn't win. The Bulls came close, man. And Levine had a huge game. Levine had a crazy game. I mean, he did most of his stuff in the first quarter. But he finished with 38. And I think he had 19 of those in the first quarter. So he had a great game. But the Bulls, they're still missing marketing. They still got some chemistry things they got to sort out. They're not a terrible team, though. The Bulls, I will say, they got off to a bad start this season. But ever since then, they've actually been okay. I think they were like 0-4, 0-5. They were 0-3 or 0-4, actually. And then they won, I think, four of their next five. So the Bulls, they've been hot and cold, man. I think they still have a lot of potential, though. A lot of talent. Levine, Patrick Williams, Markinen's going to get back. Wendell had a good game versus the Lakers. Bulls got a lot of potential. Austin said the shooting is Hall of Fame and the defense. Yeah, but like, I feel like the Hall of Fame CPU should be a little bit better at shooting. Shooting and just offensive IQ things. I don't think this is actually on Hall of Fame. Adam said Fultz, probably like Superstar. Robert said, yo, 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 what's up, my man, Doc? What's good, Robert? Welcome back to the stream. Nice to have you back in the building. Also, what's good, Endgame? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you joining the stream and getting hype in the chat. Welcome to the stream, Endgame. It's nice to have you back. Adam said, Amethyst Tyler Hero is a good budget card. Definitely recommend it. Me too. I still have Amethyst Tyler Hero, one of my favorite budget shooters in the game. Defensively, he's really not that bad. His strength isn't terrible. He's able to body you around on defense. And offensively, he can hit some super cheesy threes. He has a very quick release. He's very good at shooting leaners. And his dribble moves aren't too bad either. I recommend Tyler Hero too, Adam, for sure. Zach said, what game are you on? This is game number seven. Yeah, we've been playing for about three hours now. All those three hours. We've finished six games. This is game number seven that we're trying to finish right now. Game number two of the Central Division. I had to remember my division names. Codeine says, Endgame, teach me the auction house. The auction house, that's what Endgame is all about. If you need one person to teach you the auction house, Endgame's got you for sure. Amit says Bob Love is outdated, but still a great defender and rebounder. Yeah, he's a little bit weak offensively, is what I've heard. I don't have Bob Love. I haven't used him, but yeah, he's a pretty good player all around. Defensively, he's fast. He can rebound. The jump shot's a bit sus, though, but still a great player. Zach says, how long do you think you will take? I mean, today's stream is going to be relatively long. I'm not going to finish it up today. I'd say the domination grind takes about 16, 17 hours maybe, but we're going to do half of that today and the other half tomorrow. What's up, Senua? Welcome to the stream. Amit says he's my backup three. Zaire says how long is that donation for? 
How long is that donation, or how long is this domination? Domination's 33 games. And it takes about 16 hours, if you're wondering how long domination is. But donation, I don't think we've gotten one yet this stream. We got a bunch of them yesterday. You guys really went crazy. And I feel like we'll eventually get some today, but y'all know I don't really care about donations. I never see them coming. If they happen, I always get hyped, because I never see them coming, but... I'm just trying to give y'all content, and that's the most important thing for me. Zach said, do you like Doug West? I like him a lot. Gameplay video coming soon. He is surprisingly good. Like, it surprised me yesterday how good he was when I used him at the end of the stream. Very good. Gameplay video on the way. Robert said the NBA is going to add new NBA teams. Expansion? Yeah, I've heard Seattle's a big location for expansion teams. Berto said, should I try to get range AK for 150k or a normal one? I mean, I think AK, I don't think he needs range to be effective, but if you want that AK to be like one of the top tier power forwards in the game, getting range is definitely a good move. And range, bronze, is so expensive, so I'd say might as well go ahead and get AK without it, or with it. Endgame said, Doc, how is Bill Russell? He isn't the best shooter because he doesn't have any shooting badges, but defensively, probably the best defensive big man in the game. Offensively, he's athletic, he can score in the post, he can rebound, block shots, get steals. I mean, those 19 defensive badges are no joke. I think Bill Russell's good. I don't know if he's as good as Rick Barry, but Rick Barry is definitely going to be the next player that I get from the Opal market. Adam said, you think the Sonics are coming back? Maybe. That'd be pretty cool if they did. Lil Codine says, how do you do it in 16 hours? I mean, each game takes a little less than 30 minutes. Assuming each game takes 30 minutes, that means that 20 games would take, what, 10 hours? Yeah, because you're playing two games per hour. So that's how you do it in 20. And this is going to be our seventh game that we complete. And it hasn't even been three hours. So we're actually ahead of the pace that I was thinking about. I was thinking about two games per hour. We're doing like 2.1 something games per hour. Zerst said next gen's faster. That is also true. That's also 100% true. Next gen is way faster. The loading times are crazy. The time in between quarters is not as long. And yeah, next gen's pretty fast. Brandon Dog said, never mind, dog. I gotta grind it. Yes, sir, Brandon. Earlier, you said you were giving up. I knew you weren't actually gonna give up. I'm proud of you for saying that, Brandon. Good luck on the grind. Keep on moving forward. I'm proud of you for taking on the grind, my guy. Saucy said, yeah, this is definitely not Hall of Fame. That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. I know that I'm using, like, pink diamonds, and we're playing versus, like, 80 overalls and, like, 89 overalls, 70-somethings, but... Yeah, no, for real, I don't think this is Hall of Fame. I feel like they would be shooting better if it was on Hall of Fame. I remember when I was playing versus the CPUs from Historic Domination and All-Time Domination. That's Hall of Fame difficulty. The way they shoot, the way they defend, the way that they literally never mess up. That is Hall of Fame difficulty. But this, like, what kind of shot is that by Kevin Love? They take bad shots. They aren't very good defensively. It's, I don't think it's Hall of Fame. Adam said the loading screen is like the 2K17 loading screen, like loading in. Yeah, man, on next gen, it is insanely fast. Loading times between games, insanely fast. On current gen, can't say the same. Christy says, any news on XP disappearing? No news. Ronnie2K said in a stream yesterday they're going to try to fix it, but that's the most that we've gotten. I don't think that there's been a fix yet. And thankfully, I haven't lost my XP, but I know a lot of you guys have, so hopefully you get it back ASAP. Endgame says I think it's gone now. I'm pretty sure it is too, because it was yesterday when I heard everybody was having problems with XP, but yeah, today I haven't heard as many issues. People are still losing their rings, which is not a good thing, but hopefully, hopefully that's also resolved. Adam says, I lost my 13 XP and got it back. Thankfully, 13 is not very much. 13 is not much to lose. If I lost 13 XP, I wouldn't really care. And that's the biggest thing you got to take into consideration. Whether they fix the XP or not, 
we didn't even lose that much XP. Just because we lost XP yesterday doesn't mean the grind is over. We have to get 150,000 XP, man, to get that Kawhi Leonard. And we lost what, like 2,000 yesterday? That is absolutely nothing. Real one says playbook. I'm using the Bucks playbook right now, I'm pretty sure, but I don't really run plays. I'll snatch back, drive and kick, run the fast break, little things like that. I'm using the Bucks playbook, but I don't run plays too often. Sometimes I'll run some plays just to get motion because sitting there and calling for screens and Curry sliding back and forth and sitting in one place, running around, it's just dumb and you want to get movement. If you've played basketball in real life, you know how important movement is. And the playbooks, I use those mainly to get movement, but a lot of the times, Curry is so good I just snatch back every time and shoot, especially versus the CPU. Darby says, finally got my ring in the middle. Yes, sir. Congratulations on that middle ring. You love to see it, you love to hear it. A lot of guys have been saying they're getting their rings on the right, a few guys are getting it on the left, but getting the ring in the middle is just the best thing possible, for sure. Codeine said three more, that's a dub Codeine. What player should I buy for about 50k? Uh, depends on what position you need. What position player do you need? I can give you some recommendations for 50k. Yikes said just got Emerald tier in Unlimited, that's a dub too, everyone in the chat's catching dubs, man. Three games away for Codeine, Emerald tier for Yikes. That's big dubs for everybody. Adam says, so in a limited game, do I get the ring and one go? I get a r at my sentence. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading it. It's hurting my brain. Zer said, game three complete. Christian said, just watched Kobe versus Jameson. Now I can't wait to get him. Kobe versus Jameson, huh? Yeah, I've heard this Jameis is going to be pretty good, so I'm looking forward to getting him too. Keep in mind, he's a free Galaxy Opal, so of course that's worth it. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta point this out. We are 10 likes away, 10 likes away from 269 likes on the stream, so y'all come through for me and drop a like if you haven't already. Y'all know how important that is for the stream. Berto says, can't wait to have my team done after getting Antoine. Same here, man. I'm super excited to get him, too. We got Doug West yesterday. We're going to get Antoine probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. I don't think it's humanly possible for me to get him today, so we'll start on the grind today. This is going to be part one, and we're going to do part two tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I have some content left over for a stream tomorrow, so you guys make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss that one. Elijah says, I have a lot of VC, should I open packs? I mean, either that or you can use the VC in my career. It's your decision. I never really use VC in my team. I use all my VC in my career and of course I use my MT in my team. Real one says, what bucks play? I don't call plays, I just have a freelance on the court. I never call plays, I mean, I'm not one of those guys who needs a cheesy play over and over again to score. So I really don't know what plays are in the playbook, but there are some pretty good three-point plays I can run, some pretty good freelance stuff. Guys coming off screens, cutting to the rim, and yeah. I really don't know what plays are in the Bucks playbook, but I don't know if there is one cheesy play you can use, like that Nets play from last year. Yikes says use Hawks 2018 and pass and screen for a five out. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I've gone 12 and no twice. I still don't know how to do that. Maybe if I learned how to do that, my players would be, I don't know, maybe I'd be tougher to guard, tougher to beat if I did that. Darby says, I'm a Celtics fan. Do you think Glitch IT is good other than height? Yeah, other than height, he's very good, but his height presents a lot of weaknesses because, I mean, he's a bit of a defensive liability. Even though his stats and badges and stuff aren't terrible on defense, because he's 5'9", he doesn't cover much ground. It's hard for him to guard guys like Curry, Wade, Magic, because a lot of those guys can shoot right over him. But offensively, he's great, and other than his height, he's a very good card, for sure. I mean, the height's the biggest weakness. The height is by far his biggest weakness, so... Very good player, but yeah, the height's kind of a tough thing for IT. Gucci says, I got Wade. Nice, me too. I'm not using Wade right now, but I'm glad that you got him. 
Yikes said, did you hear about Jason Tatum being out for two weeks? Yes, I did. COVID protocols, man. It's tough that he has to miss so much time because he's having such a good season, but so many NBA players are missing time because of the virus, because of contact tracing, but hey, man, as long as too, not too many guys get the virus, I'll be happy. I've really been loving watching the NBA so far. They've been doing their best to give us a good season, and they've been doing a good job. I really hope that the players stay healthy and we can keep the season rolling, because it's been fun so far. What's good, Adam? Welcome back to the stream. Christian said the game was when Jameson was on the Warriors and him and Kobe dropped 51. Yeah, I've seen highlights from that game before. That was before I was watching basketball though. Way before I started watching. Kella Cam says I just finished up the East. That's a dub. Brandon Stiles says getting close to Doug West. You got this, Brandon. The Doug West grind is not an easy one, but it was pretty fun yesterday. We didn't lose a single game along the way. We won 150 games in less than nine hours, which I was not expecting to do, but we did it. I'm pretty proud of that. Endgame said, Jameson's going to be good besides speed and dunk. I, yeah, I agree, man. Jameson, he's always got a pretty cheesy jump shot. I remember in 2K19, he had a super cheesy jump shot. If he has that same jumper, he's going to be hard to stop this year. Because he's such a good scoring player. He might not be a top tier player in the game, but he's still going to be super fun to use. Donovan Bay said, who do you think the best card is? My favorite to use is Steph Curry. I want to say he's still the best PG in the game, but there's so many more good players in the game. Dwayne Wade, really good. Kevin Durant, really good. Larry Bird, Magic. Chris Webber. Will, there are so many good cards in the game. I want to say the best is Steph Curry, but that's just my personal opinion. Megan Hillen says I'm level 5. I'm like level 11 or 12. Like I'm not doing much leveling up because I'm not focused on XP right now. Eventually I'm going to start grinding XP, but it's no hurry. Let's just win these domination games as fast as we can and let's keep on moving forward. Adam says, do you have D-Wade? Yes. Endgame says, my favorite's D-Wade. I got mine up to Hall of Fame range. That is a dub because... D. Wade is already so good. Give him Hall of Fame range, and he's even better. Nice, easy win. Every game so far has been an easy win. Let's see if we can keep it up. Endgame says Kawhi isn't worth it. I haven't used him yet, so I really don't know. Donovan says I'm level 15. Brandon says I'm level 15. I guess we're somehow level 14. I didn't even realize we were level 14, but I guess we'll take that. I mean, I'm going to pass all y'all on level anyway, eventually. Let's keep it up. Let's play versus the Pistons and Killian Hayes. And Blake Griffin, I guess. Let's get it. Game number eight coming your way. Adam says I'm getting Kawhi for sure. I mean, Kawhi is going to be so easy to get. Dwayne Wade was insanely easy to get. Kawhi, I know it's not the season of giving anymore. I know 2K might not hand us easy XP anymore. But I think he's still going to be easy to get. Considering D. Wade was so easy to get. Christian says Tatum got the virus. Feel bad for Celtics fans. Me too, man. Because I feel like the Celtics were just starting to figure it out. I feel like they were just starting to get in the rhythm. Of course, Kemba Walker is going to be back soon, so that's very good news. But losing Tatum's, that's big. Jalen Brown's going to have to step up big time for the Celtics. Jalen Brown's going to have to be huge for them. He's already been so good this season, but... We could see some 40, 50 point games from him maybe because he's going to have a big weight on his shoulders trying to lead the Celtics to wins. Amit says, I have 60 gold contracts, 40 silver, and 40 bronze. I thought you can only have 20 at one time, so you must have all the other contracts in your auction house. Brandon says, I'm going to get this Kawhi. Yeah, me too. Shouldn't be too hard to get him. Like I said, getting D-Wade was so insanely easy. I'm assuming getting Kawhi is going to be around the same level of easy to get. Yikes says I'm a Celtics fan, and we also had three big men out last night. Yeah, big men, it's been a big deal for the Celtics this year, man. Tristan Thompson was a good pickup in free agency. Daniel Tice has been decent this season. Celtics, they're going to be all right, man. I hope Jason Tatum recovers quickly. I hate that he got the virus. It, it sucks, man. Because like I said, they were just getting everything going, and... For what it's worth, 
Even though they haven't been great this year, I've been enjoying watching them so far. Austin says, Doc, he's right. He's going to pass all of us in levels, just like last season. Just because you start off the season strong in level, it doesn't mean anything because, I mean, eventually it takes like 15,000, 16,000 XP to level up. Like, right now, you can be like level 20, but you'll only have like 5,000 XP, so... Gaining XP early is not very hard, but it gets harder as you go on, and at the same time, 2K gives you more XP as you go on, which makes it a lot easier. Jake Wright says Taco's going to drop 30 a game. I would love to see that. I would love to see Taco go off. He had a nice block last night. It was a block. It wasn't 30 points, but it was still nice. Celtics, they're going to be all right. Welcome to the stream, though, Jake. Victor said, where are you from? I'm from the U.S. I'm from Alabama, to be exact. Adam says, I also recommend Diamond, Season of Giving, John ja Morant. Yeah, John ja Morant, super underrated point guard, man. One of the best point guards in the game in terms of value because he's so good shooting the ball. He can defend a decent amount. And he's super athletic, man. Super insane dunk animations. Like, it's so hard to stop him driving to the rim. Like, you might as well not even try to stop him driving to the rim. He's that good. He is too much of a beast out here. Darby says, my Baron just dunked on Tice. And we were just talking about Daniel Tice, too. That's tough. But Baron Davis is a beast. What do you think of Denny Avdia? I think he's going to have a good career. He's a tall guy. He can play some good defense. He's a good shooter. He has good form. He just has to get used to the NBA. He has to put on some muscle. He has to. He already has some good IQ, but he's got to get adjusted to the NBA game. Hey, man, he's got a good body build for the NBA. He's going to be a good player. Rookie of the year? I don't think so, but he has a lot of potential. Amy says, what challenges should I do? Please tell me. I think you should play Domination. That's a great way to get XP challenges done, get MT, and also get yourself a free Galaxy Opal. Donovan says, if Taco can get at least double digits, he could come off the bench and help. I agree with that. I agree. The thing is, for Taco, the reason why he doesn't play is because he kind of clogs up the paint for guys like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. He's also a great rim protector, but he's also super slow on defense. And if you're slow on defense at any level, whether it's college or high school, you're going to be a liability on defense. So even though Taco is a great rim protector and a great rebounder, that's about all he can do. He can score in the post as well, but like, why go for two points in the post when Jason Tatum can give you three points more efficiently, Jalen Brown can give you three points efficiently? It's tough to say, man. Taco has talent. I think he's going to have a decent career. If he can come off the bench and score double digits or score eight points and grab five or six rebounds, that would be huge. But the thing is, he's so tall, he's kind of slow. And if he can work on that, which is kind of hard to work on if you're his height, he can be a good player for sure. Everyone loves Taco, but he has some work to do in the NBA. Donovan says he needs to try and get a shot. Exactly. Having a jumper in today's NBA is insanely important. If you're a big man who can shoot consistently like Carl Towns, yeah, everyone's going to struggle to guard you. Also, I should have said this earlier, but thank you guys for 269 likes on the stream. That's a big deal, man. Getting 269 likes is a big deal, and this stream's not even close to being over, so yeah. A lot more likes left to go. I appreciate y'all showing so much love early in the stream. RBM says I'm on 79 stars. Nice. I don't know how many stars I'm on. I wish I could tell you. I think I've played, I think there's eight games now. So I guess if we win this, that's 24 stars, right? I think. I'm not sure. Adam says I think Taco should try to work on his shooting. I agree. Berto says honestly, Tim Duncan was ahead of his time. Yeah, he didn't shoot many threes, but he was pretty good at stretching the court with his mid-range shot. Which is a lot different than a three-point shot, but it still helps being able to shoot at all. If you're able to space the floor at all, it's a big help. Being able to shoot a jumper, whether it's a mid-range or a three, it really helps you out. It's important to have that in your skill set. Super important. Even if you can't shoot, though, you can do other things to make up for it. 
For example, Ben Simmons just came into mind for me. He's so good defensively, he's such a good playmaker, but being able to shoot is so important, man. And he's an offensive liability sometimes because he's not a real shooter. He's hit 1-3 this season, but that's about it for him. I haven't seen him make many mid-range shots or threes or anything, but I don't know. Ben Simmons, interesting case. Real Blue says, what difficulty is this on? This is Hall of Fame. I played every game on Hall of Fame. Why would you play any game like not on Hall of Fame? That would be the biggest waste ever if you're playing on Pro or All-Star. Also, you're going to need to stop spamming, so don't do that again, please. Darby says, what do you think about Pritchard? He has some potential. He definitely has some potential. He had a nice game winner the other day. He was pretty fun to watch the other day. He didn't score much. He wasn't super efficient, but he hit the game winner, and that's all that matters. They won the game because of his tip-in. Chance says, how do you stop instant replays? You go to your menu and turn them off, or you go to your settings and turn them off. Not too hard, but yeah, you should be able to find that in your menu. I kind of like having them on, though, because every now and then I like to read the chat. And it's hard to read the chat while I'm playing defense. Because you gotta stay locked in if you wanna win. Donovan says he hit the game winner. Yes, he did. Jake Wright says Blake Griffin fell off because he expanded his shooting range. Now I fell off because of injuries. The reason why he's been better these last couple years is because he expanded his range. He didn't fall off because of that, he fell off because of injuries. He's always had problems with injuries. That's a big reason why the Clippers never won a championship with him on the team. It's not like he was a playoff choker or anything, he was just, he would always get injured. Same with Chris Paul while he was on the Clippers, even on the Rockets. Endgame says all-time Dom is so much harder. Yeah, all-time Dom is way harder, like it's not even close. All-time Dom is way harder than this. And those games are apparently on Superstar, while these are on Hall of Fame, so... Yeah, doesn't make much sense. Sean Howard said, Knicks Nation. Yes, sir, Sean! I'm a Knicks fan. It's always nice seeing other Knicks fans in the chat. Yeah, Knicks Nation, man. Knicks tape is what we like to say. 5-4? and four? Not a bad record, but we can definitely be better than this. Disappointing loss last night, but... I like the way the guys are looking. Mitchell Robinson, developing very well on defense. RJ having his best season. Julius playing like an MVP. I'm loving how the Knicks are playing so far. J2 said my XP just got reset again. Seriously? You're the first person who said that today. A lot of guys got their XP reset yesterday, but not today. I thought they fixed that, but I guess they didn't yet. What's good, MTV? Welcome back to the stream. Berto said Steph is the second best point guard of all time. I don't know about that, but he's definitely in the conversation. He's up there for sure. He's arguably second best. I don't know if I agree with that because there are so many good point guards in the history of the game. He's definitely in the top five in my opinion. Top three, possibly. Top two, possibly. I don't think he's better than Magic. And of course, guys like Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, they haven't won as many championships as Steph has. Of course, Steph is the greatest shooter. That is no, there's no doubt about that. As a point guard though, there are some guys out there who have done a lot, whether it's Oscar Robertson or Steve Nash or Jason Kidd. There's so many point guards you gotta include in that conversation. Steph Curry's done a lot. Number two is a pretty big statement though, behind Magic. Adam said Magic's one of the best point guards. He's the best point guard. RBM said, oh doc. How about I pulled the pink diamond in the vault after two games this morning? Nice. That's good for you. I pulled him three times yesterday, so I'm glad that my luck is transferring to some of you guys. Jake says Magic's the best point guard. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. I think Magic's definitely the best point guard. Damari Towns says, is Obi Toppin doing good? He only played one game. He played the first game of the season, hasn't played since. He was okay in that game. He hit three threes. And three-point range is a pretty important thing for him in the NBA. He's so athletic, so he's going to be able to be a Skywalker, finish around the rim, dunk on people, get to the rim and score in the post. Hitting that jump shot's important, and he's, he's been hitting the jump shot in his first game. But, yeah, he hasn't played since, so once he gets back, the Knicks are going to be even tougher to stop. Ryan says, yo, I'm back from work. How are you doing? I'm good, Ryan. I'm very good. Are you going to stream later? 
because I might actually be able to check it out today. Like I said yesterday, your numbers were looking pretty good. You gained some subs yesterday. You and Codeine have been doing some growing, which is a great thing. So, keep up your same energy, man. If you stream later, I'll try to be there. Adam said stop spamming. He's gonna see it, yeah. Spam is the worst thing ever, so please stop. See, here's the thing. Here's the problem, Real Blue. I would have seen your message eventually, but now that you got timed out, I can't see any of your messages, so that's tough. I hate that you got timed out, but you definitely deserved it. Jake says thoughts on the Orlando Magic. Thoughts on the Magic. I mean, they're so well coached. They're a great defensive team. They're lacking a superstar, though, and they have so many guys who were injured. The Magic, they got off to a decent start this year, but keep in mind, they're missing Jonathan Isaac. Markel Fultz just got injured. Vucevic kind of has to carry. Aaron Gordon's having a really, really bad year, even though I think he's had some injury problems too. Carter Williams, also injured. So many injury problems for the Magic. They're a great defensive team, and they've been a pretty good team the last couple of years. They've made the playoffs for two straight years, and they're probably going to make it this year, but injuries kind of suck for the Magic. Darby said, did Toby get injured, or is he getting sat because he isn't ready? He got injured. I mean, he was a top 10 draft pick. If you're a top 10 draft pick, you're going to get some minutes. You're not going to warm the bench, especially if you're Obi Toppin, who shouldn't have fallen down to 8. He is certainly ready, but, I mean, yeah. There would be some real problems if Obi Toppin was sitting down because he wasn't ready. Ryan said, what game are we on? I'm pretty sure this is game number 8, but I could be wrong. I know we're early in the stream, but I've already kind of lost count. I think this is game number eight. So I think we've passed the 20 star mark, but we still have a lot of time to go. Lyrical Ice, look at you. Look at Lyrical Ice. Welcome to the Doc Nation Member Society. Now that notification, it should show up on the screen. I don't know why subscriber notifications have not been showing up, but that should show up right above my head. Welcome to the Doc Nation Member Society, Lyrical Ice. Amen. $2 a month well spent. $2 well spent, Lyrical Ice. You've been subscribed for a while. You've been tuned in for a while. Thank you for becoming a member. If I'm not mistaken, we are getting super close to 40 members, and if we get to 40 members, then you guys get some new emojis, so... That would be a pretty big deal if we can get to 40 pretty soon, but y'all know it's no big rush. Let's just keep on keeping on. Let me keep on playing and giving y'all content and all those good things. Adam said Streamlabs is broken. Yeah, Streamlabs has been broken for a while now. For some reason, the most recent subscriber, it doesn't show up. And whenever someone subscribes, it doesn't show up. So whenever someone subscribes, whenever any of you guys subscribe, let me know. Let me know so I can shout you out live. Because a message should be showing up above my head, but yeah, like everyone's saying, Streamlabs equals broken. Berto says, got AK for 74k, with a three-point shoe for kind of cheap. How good he is, still have 65k MT. That's a lot of MT you still have. And that's also a pretty good amount to spend on AK with a three-point shoe. That looks like a dub to me, because AK is one of the top tier power forwards in the game. John Cena says, love you, and just subbed. I thought you subbed yesterday, but hey, thank you for subbing today, John Cena. And William, thank you for subbing, and welcome to Doc Nation, gentlemen. Yeah, the channel's been growing well lately, man. We gained a couple hundred subs yesterday, and we've gained a few today, too. We hit 6.1 thousand earlier, which is pretty good. Can't complain about that. Let's see if we can keep the channel growing as the stream goes on. Austin says, Thrill felt like a beast during challenges. Might keep him over Pippin, but you don't know yet. That's fair. That's fair. Pippin, he's good, but you said that you've been loving Thrill lately, so I wouldn't blame you if you kept him, especially since he's been playing so well for you in these challenges. Christian says, do you have Kobe? No, I don't. Donovan says, I just subbed too. Shout out to you, Donovan. James Chris says, man, I picked left. The ring's on the right, I pick right, and the ring is on the left. I know I used to say always go left, James, but lately, everyone's been saying the ring is on the right, so I'd say going right might be the new move, even though I always say left and left only. 
I might start going left every time, or right every time, because that's what everyone's getting their rings at. William says, I went middle. RVE says, just sub. Thank you, RVE. Welcome to Doc Nation. What's good, Splash Inc.? Welcome back to the stream. Adam says, I'm getting my ring later this weekend. I know a lot of guys who are waiting until, like, Sunday to get their ring, because... Of course, since the weekend just started, since Limited just started, there are a lot of guys on Limited, a lot of guys sweating, going for those rings. Waiting till the end of the weekend is definitely not a bad idea. A Bay said, how many games do you have to win? We have to win 33 total. We've already won seven. And this is looking like it should be win number eight if we can keep up this, keep up this defense and scoring, even though the scoring could be better. We've done a pretty good job so far, I'd say. Splash said, how far are you in? Wow, that's a great that's a great chat right there. Um, yeah, eight games if we win this one. Endgame says, I've got settings for you if you want me to. Or if you want me to tell you, yeah. I don't know if you're talking to me. I don't know who you're talking to, but I know you're the king of the auction house. So, settings, I don't think anybody would mind if you dropped those settings or filters or whatever you want to call them. Gianluca says, I'm playing Denver right now, and they're so good. I heard that Denver's not very good in domination. But to be fair, I feel like everybody has problems with different teams. Some guys said they've had problems with the Rockets. Some guys said they've had problems with, like, the Bucks. Some guys have had problems with teams like the, the Nets or the Sixers. I feel like everybody has their own problems with different teams. We haven't had a big problem with any team so far, but we might later as the stream goes on. You never know. Keep on grinding, Gian. Kristop says, what is the best playbook? Um, I don't know what the best playbook is, but I use the Bucks playbook, and it's a pretty good playbook. It has a lot of three-point plays, post plays, pick and rolls, and I mean, I never run plays per se. I never call plays. I have the play calling set up automatically so that I can just get some motion going because unless you call plays, you have no motion and sitting there and curry sliding behind screens is not very fun for me. Pluto says, are you streaming at all? I'm not finishing it today, but yes, I am going to stream every single game. Going to stream half of it today, half of it tomorrow. So I have it all planned out already, which is a great thing. Zach said, the Wizards are the hardest team. I won by four. Yeah, you said that it was super hard to guard Bradley Beal. See, the Wizards, you would think they aren't a very good team, but some of you guys have been saying that y'all have had problems with the Wizards. Splash Inc. says, is Antoine going to start? I have no idea, because I haven't used him yet. I've looked at his badges and stats a little bit, but I'm going to have to use him to find out whether or not he's good enough to start on my team. We have a pretty good team. We have some pretty good players, some pretty good shooters, some pretty good scorers. We have some pretty good big men. We picked up Bill Russell yesterday. We have a good team. I don't know if he's going to start, but he's an Opal. He has some pretty good stats and badges, and I wouldn't be surprised if he starts on my team. Adam says, Doc, you already know I had a problem with the Bucks. Yeah, man. Shout out to my boy Adam. He was down by 20 versus the Bucks, but he came back and won. Got three stars, which is a huge dub for him. So congratulations to him for pulling that comeback win. That epic comeback win. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. John Cena says on level 17. Nice. Pluto has three games left. Berto has four games left. So it looks like Pluto's going to get him first. Good for Pluto, right? Look at A. Jones fading away. Patchmade says I finally got Antoine Jameson. That's a dub. I've been saying that a lot, man. But you guys have been catching dubs the entire stream, so keep on moving, keep on grinding. I'm proud of y'all. Endgame says we just got Opal Jimmy Butler. Press R1 to flip the page for Xbox. Oh, you're talking about settings. Got you, got you. Mike the Scrub says I just finished the 76ers game. I just need to finish the Celtics game now. Got you. The Celtics was a pretty easy game. The, the toughest game for me so far has definitely been the Bucks. I think that was our smallest win. I think we won that game by, like, almost 50. So we haven't had any big problems yet, but you guys are talking about the Nuggets being hard and the Wizards being hard, the Rockets. I haven't played any of those teams yet, so when I play those teams, I'm probably going to find out how hard 
those are, but yeah, none of the games so far have been that bad. Carter says, I'm about to eat. I'll be back, Doc. Keep it up. I got you, man. I got you. The grind don't stop. So I'm going to keep it up, and we're going to keep on winning these games. No doubt about it. Ooh, Bill Russell. Javen Malone says, Seattle just threw a pick six. How's that game going? You guys told me earlier about the, the Bills game. Y'all keep me updated on the Seahawks game, too. I picked the Seahawks to win, but pick six? That's not very good. That's not winning football right there. Carter says, I'm about to eat. I'll be back. I already read that. I'm so dumb. Jake Wright said, did you get Pink Diamond Aaron Gordon? Yes, I did. I haven't used him very much, but his jump shot's pretty quick. His jump shot's nice. I kind of like it. He's not terrible defensively. He's athletic, of course. I haven't used him much, but he's on my team. Not starting, though. Chris Stops says, I enjoy your stream. I appreciate you, Chris Stops. And hey, man, I enjoy the streams because I get to talk to y'all. I also enjoy the streams because every now and then, you guys come through and drop a dono. Look at the lyrical ice dropping $2 in the chat. A $2 nuke. It doesn't get much better than that. First, Lyrical Ice became a channel member, which only cost $2, and then Lyrical Ice dropped a dono. First dono of the stream coming from my boy, Lyrical Ice. Endgame says, Doc streams are lit. Yes, they are. I couldn't agree more. And it's all thanks to you guys helping set the tone. I appreciate y'all. Yikes says, do you think my unlimited can get reset? Someone in the chat yesterday, they joined the stream and said, their unlimited got reset. So, I think unlimited could get reset. Which is dumb, but like I said, 2K's got a lot to fix this season. They gotta fix their stuff. Limited, unlimited, challenges, they gotta fix everything. Jonathan says, subscribe to the GOAT doc. I appreciate you, Jonathan. Everybody in the stream, make sure you've listened to Jonathan if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying what you see. It's been a good grind so far, and it's nowhere near over, so y'all hang around. I appreciate y'all being here. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, because I would love it if y'all were a part of the channel growing. The channel's been going crazy lately because of y'all subscribing and tuning in. Yesterday we hit 6,000 subs and we're already on the road to 7,000. Let's see if we can get there ASAP. Ziv says, wow, you're still alive. Of course we're still alive. We're not even close to finishing this grind. Not even close. But hey, this is eight games, eight wins in the books. I could get a bucket right here to win by 50, but why score again and stop the clock when we can just hold the ball and get through the rest of this game? Eric says 2K ruined Unlimited, 60 plus games for an Opal that's going to be outdated in a month. No, I agree, Eric. I think the 12 and 0 was fine. I mean, honestly, people were like, oh yes, 2K did it, no more 12 and 0. They didn't, they didn't take away 12 and 0. They just made 12 and 0 so much harder because you have to go 11 and 0, 10 and 0. You got to go so much and 0 before you go 12 and 0, which is dumb. And to be fair, if you make it to the very top tier, then you only have to win seven games to stay. But like, no, you're 100% correct. 12 and 0 was bad. 12 and 0 was really bad because it was just the matchmaking was terrible in 2K. The matchmaking this year I feel is a little bit better, but like, I don't know, man. Having to go all the way up to the Opal tier to get an Opal that is gonna be outdated soon, just like you said. It's dumb. I do it for content. I do it to like get the card and give some gameplay with it, but yeah, I agree. It's kind of not worth it, but I do it anyway just because sometimes got to give you guys some content. Shahir said, what's up, CP? You remember me from the Doug West grind? Sure I do. Welcome back. Welcome back, Shahir. Also, look at Lyrical Ice flexing that GG emoji. Shout out to Lyrical Ice. My brand new channel member. Saucy said, did you see that someone already has Mikhail? Yes, Oko Dre. He got Igadala last season on the first day. He also got Mikhail yesterday. Oko Dre gets glitchy with it. Shout out to him, man. Awesome content. William says, wait, how many wins do you need to get Jameson? 
To get Jameson, you gotta win 33 games of historic, not historic, of heat check domination. You also gotta get three stars in every game, which isn't that hard, especially if you have a good team. You gotta win 33 games, William. Austin said, my question for you is, who should I get on the diamond token market? I have 79 tokens. Okay, so the best two diamond players, in my opinion, are if you need a guard, Lou Hudson or Hal Greer. If you need a big man, actually, here's the problem, Austin. I heard there are some new diamond players in the token market, but I'm not sure who all of them are. I think one of them is Cedric Sabalos. I've heard that he's pretty good to pick up. I'd say that he's worth it if you need a forward. I don't know if there's any new big men, but I'd say that Hal Greer and... Who's the other one? I just said Hal Greer and Lou Hudson are very good guards. I don't know about any of the new players, though. So y'all in the chat also feel free to give advice on diamond token market players because I don't know them very well. I know the pink diamond players, I know the galaxy opals, but I don't really know the diamonds and the amethysts. Splash Inc. said Jim Jackson's insane. Ben Yesko says I went to go take a nap, but I'm back. Welcome back, Ben. Darby says I love the addition of limited. I like the addition of limited. It's a pretty good game mode, but yeah, unlimited, like I said, could definitely use some tweaking for next year. But limited, I'm liking it so far. Austin says, I switched Jefferson for Thurl, so now everyone on my team has at least gold clamps or higher. Austin, that's a dub. If everyone in your starting lineup has at least gold clamps, that's going to be a pretty tough team to score on, for sure. Teddy said, what's up, Doc? How are you doing? I'm doing great, Teddy. How are you doing? Javen says, DK just got a touchdown. It's now 13 to 10. Rams. The Rams are off to a decent start in that game, man. I didn't think the Rams were going to pull it off. Seahawks, I don't think they're like going to win the Super Bowl, but I picked them to win today. And I'm surprised the Rams are off to such a good start. I'm not surprised about the Bills game. The Bills, I had a feeling they'd win in a low-scoring game, but the Seahawks, that'd be pretty tough if they lost this game. Ziv says, Doc, are you watching the Wizards game? Can't really watch any games while I'm playing right now, but once I finish up this stream, I'm definitely going to catch some games later. Kristop says, what is the best way to get level 40? Doing XP challenges, as many as you can. Save up MT, buy players to do their challenges and sell them back, and you'll make a lot of XP doing that. Dylan says I'm 500 tokens away from Gary Payton. Hey man, I've heard Gary Payton's really good. I mean, we all know how good Gary Payton is defensively. They call him the glove for a reason because he's a lockdown defender. You can't shake him, he's stuck to you like a glove. But I already have Curry, I already have D Wade, I have Baron Davis. So many good guards. I'm probably going to wait until I get, I'm probably going to wait on Gary Payton, and I'll probably get Rick Barry next. Ziv says Tyrese Maxey scored 39. That is crazy, bro. Tyrese Maxey's had a great rookie year so far, and a lot of rookies, including Tyrese Maxey, have surprisingly stepped up for teams like the 76ers. For example, Peyton Pritchard's another rookie who has stepped up out of nowhere and become a huge part of the Celtics rotation. Like, he's become kind of vital for the Celtics. For the Raptors, I mean, Chris Boucher's been big. I know he's not a rookie, but he's been big kind of out of nowhere, too. And it's cool seeing guys step up who are young, who didn't have big roles the year before. And another guy I think of is Taylor Horton Tucker for the Lakers. He has stepped into their rotation and been big, been big for them, too. So it's cool seeing guys, especially rookies, play such big roles in rotations. LaMelo Ball's been good. He outplayed Lonzo last night. James Wiseman's been huge. So many good rookies and young players have stepped up this year. And it's been fun to watch. Ziv says, I already read that. Dog, I need to stop. I keep on reading chats I've already read. Shant says, oh my god, we make so much em empty playing. Empty playing? You mean MT playing. But yeah, you're right. We do make a lot of MT playing this. Austin says, I think level 18's a good stopping point for today. That's certainly not bad, level 18. Off to a decent start this season. Roblox said, what game is he on? This is game number nine. Adam said, Doc, any power forward recommendations? I'd say Karolinko is a very good diamond one. I'd say Zion's pretty good, if you can afford him. If you want a cheap one, Boris Diaw's really good. And of course, who was I about to say? Serge Ibaka, also pretty good. 
Thon Maker, he's a center, but he's pretty good at the power forward. Davis Bertans can shoot it very well at the power forward. There's so many more, but those are the ones who come to mind at first. Berto says, if you want to save time, you can turn off replays. Nah, I mean, I don't really care about saving time. I like doing this fast, but saving time is, eh, I don't really care about it. What's good, Ray93? Welcome to the stream. Adam says the chat above you hasn't moved. I'll try to fix that in a second. The same thing happened yesterday, so I'll fix that in a second. It shouldn't be a hard fix, but I'll do that at the end of this quarter. This is a pretty good defensive quarter. Not a bad defensive quarter. We only gave up two points, and let me see if I can fix up the chat real quick. Darby says, when will we get moments cards? We should be getting moments cards pretty soon. We should be getting those pretty soon because I've heard that Clay Thompson's the reward for throwback moments. Okay, the chat, there we go. There we go. Now the chat is fixed. Charles Young says your stream just started. No, it started about three hours ago. Christian said, do you think the NBA needs to go back to a bubble? I mean, right now the NBA, I know there have been a few COVID tests. I know there's been contact tracing. I know things seem kind of bad right now, but I'm not sure if a bubble is necessary just yet. And here's the thing. If the NBA really did another bubble, they would have to be in that bubble for so long. And the players in the bubble back in the summer, they had to be in there for a few months and they hated the bubble. Imagine if they had to be in a bubble for the rest of this season. I don't think they would really like that. So if they can just be a bit safer, if players can be safer, and if we can get not as many COVID tests, that would be great. I would love that. What's good, Splash Central? Welcome back to the stream. Charles Young says, wow, I'm late, sorry. No, you're good, Charles. Even though you're late, I still have a lot of games left to win. So don't worry about being late. I just appreciate you stopping by. That's really all that matters, man. So thank you for dropping by. Still a lot of time left in the stream because we still got a lot of dubs left to get. Adam said the magic are kind of hard. Ray93 says, when I see a custom jersey arena, I bet it'll look fire. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, Ray. I would love to do that, but I've been kind of lazy. I haven't really uploaded my logo. All I really do is just play through the games. That's all I really do. A custom arena and custom logo for my team is gonna happen eventually, but hey, no matter what, I appreciate the support, my guy. Finn Star says, is Jamison even good? I don't know, haven't used him yet. Williams says, how long do you plan on playing? I plan on finishing half of Domination, or half of Heat Check Domination. 33 games, I'm probably gonna play like 16 or 17 today, and the other 16 or so tomorrow. Darby said, what do you think the next limited theme is gonna be? I have no idea. And I'm gonna be real, I really don't care what it is. Whatever the limited theme is, I'll just put in the players, I'll play the game, I'll get the ring, and it will be over with. Limited gets too sweaty, too toxic. Man, even though it's pretty easy to get the rings, sometimes I'm like, at what cost did I just do this? For real though, I wonder what it's gonna be. I think eventually there's gonna be a theme for like, like former all-stars and stuff, a theme for like dunk contest champions and skills challenge champions. And D. Wade, he's won the skills challenge before, so I think eventually I can use him. Aaron Gordon, he's been in the dunk contest, but he hasn't won it, but I feel like I'll be able to use him. Zach Levine, guys like that. I think eventually we're going to see guys like those be available in Limited. But then again, haven't seen the future, so I don't know. Zerst says the Bucks are so hard. The Bucks. I beat them pretty easily earlier, but they got off to a very good start against me because I wasn't playing good defense. Roblox said, why you mads doing the same thing? He's playing Domination right now. A lot of guys are playing Domination right now. My boy Codeine's playing Domination right now. Also, the incredible Lino is playing Domination right now. I would have stopped by his stream, but he started his stream right before I started mine, so couldn't stop by his, but hey. I'll definitely rewatch the replay. That man Lino is a legendary grinder. I know y'all call me the ultimate grinder, but he's pretty good too. Berto says Jameson at three and AK at the four. Is that good? I mean, I'd say that AK is pretty good at the four. Jameson at the three though? I don't know, because like I've been saying to everybody who's asking about Jameson, haven't used him yet. 
I've yet to use him, but he looks pretty good for sure. Carlos said, how close are we, Doc? Not even close. Not even close, but we're making progress, man. Trust me. We're making progress. That's what these streams are all about. So many times, it seems like we're not even close to something. But after a few hours of grinding, what do you know? We get there. After a few hours of grinding. Yesterday, when I said we have to win 150 games for Doug West, that probably sounded so crazy, but next thing you know, we only had 10 games left, 5 games left, and we got him. Easily. Adam says I'm putting Jameson at the 2. Can Jameson play the 2? Seriously? I thought Jameson was a 3 and 4, but that's pretty crazy if he can play the 2 because Jameson's pretty tall. Jameson's pretty tall, so if you can put him at the 2, that's kind of a cheat code. Ray said, what are you going to do with the good heat check cards you pull? Would you sell it? Most likely, yes. Most likely, I would. I mean, Steph Curry's going for like over 100k right now, so I'm definitely going to sell him. Brandon said Jameson's a small forward, power forward. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, but Adam said I'm putting him at the 2. Adam says I thought he was a 2 and a 3. Adam, Kawhi is a 2 and a 3. So you might have been thinking about Kawhi. Ben says Heat Check Curry's a 96 overall. That's crazy. He's on fire. He has a 99 three-pointer right now. William says the Rams are up 20 to 10. Seriously? That's crazy, man. I picked the Seahawks. I think they're still going to be fine, but... Man, good start for the Rams, for L.A. Victor says, is this domination limited? No, no. No domination is limited. All dominations are going to be there for the entire year. For example, current domination, historic domination, and all-time domination, they've been there since the very first day of my team. You do not have to worry about those disappearing at all. Zerst says, I lost to the Bucks by four. This game, down by 30? My gosh. Have you had a hard time stopping Giannis or something? That is tough that you're down 30 to the Bucks. Like I said earlier, they gave me a tough time at the beginning of the game, but I didn't think that you'd be down 30 to the Bucks. Lil Poo said, what's up, Doc? You should be able to trade cards with other players. That would be cool, but knowing 2K, it would probably be broken anyway. The big thing about trading cards is that you gotta keep in mind, you don't want to be able to trade a really bad card for a really good card. The trading system would have to be even, it would have to be balanced. And that, that would probably be the hardest thing for 2K to get right. Pure Grind says Heat Check Curry's like 250K. That is so crazy. I can't believe he's 250K. Heat Check cards, of course their attributes are great, but the badges, they don't improve. They don't move. Even though the attributes are dynamic, the badges are static, which I don't like. Zerst says Giannis is just hitting threes. Really? Giannis is raining down threes? I'm sorry to hear that because versus me, he couldn't buy a shot. He was bricking all his threes versus me. I hate that you're having problems guarding Giannis. Rossi says I beat the Bucks by 48. Codine says I hate 2K. I'm so bad and mad. What happened, Codeine? I lost to the final team, and I had to win it or end the stream. No! No! So you ended the stream, and you have to do the final three in another stream later? That is very sad. That is very sad. I don't blame you for being sad and mad, and you said you were bad. That's tough, Codeine, but thankfully, it's the last three games, which isn't too bad. That's not too bad. I'm not going to complain about that too much. That's good for you for grinding, but it's tough that you lost those last games, man. Christian said, how are the Rams winning by 10? No idea. I haven't been watching the game. I picked the Seahawks to win. I'm surprised they're not winning, but is there still some time left in the game? What quarter is it? Codeine says, and now my stream isn't working, and I can't hear what Doc's saying because I got garbage internet. Is it just Codeine's stream not working, or is everyone else's stream still working? Y'all let me know. Darby says, I live in Australia, and when LaMelo played here, I saw him on the bench, he was injured, and he didn't respond when I called to him. That's tough. He's killing it in the NBA, though, man. He's killing it in the NBA, though, and he killed it last night versus his brother, versus Lonzo. 
he completely outplayed Lonzo. It was kind of tough for me to see, but I'm glad he's off to a good start in his rookie year. Christian says 140 left in the second quarter. Okay, that's not terrible. But the Seahawks have really already given up 20. That's kind of crazy because I was, earlier I was talking about how good their defense has been the last few weeks. Rossi says mine is good. Adam says I can hear. Just making sure. Lil Codine says my internet sucks. Doc's end is fine. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure with everybody else that they can hear me just fine. Because if one person can't hear me, that sucks. But... If it's everybody who can't hear me, that sucks even more. But everything should be looking good, sounding good. And of course, I haven't said this in a few hours, but you could turn your video quality up to 1080p. It's going to look great. And if you guys enjoy watching the games, watching the game play, I think you'll like that. Adam said Lamelo was averaging 16 water cups. Come on, Adam. He's actually having a good rookie year. If you're talking about when he played in, like, Vitalitas or whatever, he was averaging 16 water cups over there. But he was good in Australia, and he's been good in the NBA so far. That's funny, though. 16 water cups and four towels. That is funny. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty funny. George says, are you going for Westbrook? Yes, George. Yes. I already have one ring. We're going to go for our next ring next week. It's really no hurry, man. I already have Curry. I already have D. Wade. I already have such good guards, but... We're still going to go for Westbrook because he seems like a pretty high player to pick up. Seems like he's going to be a pretty big player to get. So we'll pick him up. I don't know if he's going to make my team because, like I said, so many good guards. But, hey, there's no harm in picking them up and trying. Darby says I got a heat check Carson Edwards and Aaron Baines from my first two packs. That's not really a dub, is it? That kind of sucks. But it's better than nothing. The fun thing about heat check packs, like someone said earlier, you never know what you're going to get. You might get a 94 overall player. You might get a 96 overall Curry. You might get a 70 overall. You might get a 75. Like, you never know what you're going to get, which is kind of cool. Adam says, I'm going for Westbrook. I don't blame you, man. Like I said, he looks like he's going to be a pretty fun player to try and go for. Miles Taylor says, I still can't get Byron Beck. Miles... 2K is screwing you, man. All I can say is keep on going and don't give up on it. That's the most generic thing that someone could say, but that's all I can say because you're going to get him if you keep on playing. If you don't, 2K is bogus, but then again, 2K is already kind of bogus, as is. Fix my team. LOL said, who's on Xbox Next Gen and West servers? Man, I'm on, I'm on Xbox East servers Next Gen. Man, I would love to do the glitch with him. But sadly, I'm on the East. I'm a beast in the East. Welcome to the stream, though, LOL. Berto says, got heat check, Dame, Joel, and Chris Paul. Those are dubs. I'm glad you didn't ask if those are dubs, Berto. You already knew those were big-time dubs. You didn't even have to ask. Brandon says, I got the Kevin Durant heat check card when I beat the Nets. My boy Codine also got Kevin Durant. That heat check Kevin Durant's going for a lot, so you guys make sure to sell him and make some MT doing that. Darby says, what's the song right now in the background? I'm not sure what the name of the song is, but this music is by Lakey Inspired. Great music. And this is a his top 20 playlist, so you can also find this same thing on YouTube. Brandon B says, I'm also on the East servers. Also, I don't really know the Kevin Durant, not the Kevin Durant glitch. I don't know the... A kale glitch, the unlimited glitch. Never tried it before, but I know a lot of people who do it. Adam says, I'm eat service too. Please respond to this. If I win, do I pick a slot for a chance at a ring? Well, that's what you do in limited. Yeah, you pick a slot and the ring might be there. That's how it's been the entire year. Dynamite said, why are the Grizzlies in the West? I have no idea, man. Conferences, they're kind of weird. The Grizzlies should totally be in the East. I guess they had to make the conferences even, but yeah, the Grizzlies, I mean, they might as well be in the East. Saucy said, I beat the Raptors by 60 and made 1.67k MT. That is a big dub, Saucy. James says, they don't even upgrade the speed on the heat check cards. Curry still has 82 speed, seriously? 82 speed, that is so bad. Speed should also go up and down, man. It shouldn't just be the ratings. 
It shouldn't just be the ratings and stuff. The speed should go up, the badges should be dynamic, but nope, only ratings go up. Saucy said I beat the- I already read that. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. There's so many chats you guys want me to read. I can't believe I read them over again sometimes. Mason says, I think the Grizzlies are the West because they were in Vancouver. That's very true. That's a very good thing to take into consideration. But looking at the U.S. map, people wonder probably why the Grizzlies are in the West. And I don't blame them. Adam said, the Magic are hard. I'm down by four. I'm going to be playing the Magic pretty soon. I have two more games left in the Central Division. And just for you, I'll play versus the Magic first game. Or the Wizards, since you also said the Wizards are kind of tough. Joshua said at least you're reading them. That's true. That's true. I try to read as many chats as I can. If I miss one, I really do apologize. The chat's been super, super active this stream. It was also super active earlier, yesterday. Yesterday and today, the chat's been crazy. I really appreciate y'all showing up so big in these streams. Y'all are the reason why the channel's been growing so well. Of course, I'm the one giving y'all the content, but if it wasn't for y'all watching it and subscribing and dropping likes, then the channel wouldn't be growing. And speaking of dropping likes, we are six likes away from 300 for the second straight stream. That would be pretty crazy if we could hit that. Adam says, now I'm tied. Okay, I see you, Adam. He may have been down early, but just like that, the game is tied. You're the comeback king, apparently. You came back down 20 versus the Bucks, and what do you know? Now you're back even with the magic. That is a dub indeed. Amit says, I just liked. I appreciate you, Amit. Adam said earlier this stream you had like 300-something viewers. It was 200-something. It was low 200s. The stream was going crazy. And it's still going crazy. We still have over 100 in here. Whenever you have over 100 in a stream, that's really good because you gotta take into consideration, man. If you have 10 viewers, if you have double digit viewers, you are in the top 1% of YouTube streamers. I mean, think about that. If you go and look up NBA 2K streams and scroll down, you're gonna see so many streams that have one viewer, two viewers, no viewers, five viewers, so many streams on YouTube. It's not easy to get started, but yeah, man, if you have 10 viewers, believe it or not, you're in the top 1%. That's a stat my friend Trey told me a while ago. Nico said, I'm here, let's go. What's good, Nico? Welcome back to the stream. Jake Wright says, watching the stream and grinding, domination vibes. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, man. Keep on grinding, keep on going hard. But not for real, like I was saying, when you pull up 2K streams lately, my streams have been near the top, and that's all thanks to you guys showing up consistently. If you type in NBA 2K21 Live, these streams have been near the top, thanks to y'all showing up big. Adam says, I try to find people with low views so I can support them. That's a very good thing to do. And if they're interactive with the chat, that is a great thing. Whenever people ask me for tips on streaming, I'd say one of the biggest things to do is just stay interactive with the chat. Because the guys who support you, you gotta show them that you notice them. You gotta show them that, like, you appreciate their support. That's a very big thing, a very important thing. You don't want to ignore the people who support you. That would be a pretty, pretty crappy thing to do. George says, thoughts on next-gen layups? They're a lot better than they used to be. I remember in my first next-gen stream, I was missing so many open layups because layup timing was just broken, but it's fixed, and layups, they don't miss as bad. They used to miss so bad, and they still miss every now and then, which is silly, but... I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be. Adam says, I met this 2K, and I can't stop watching them. T. Harris said, yo, Doc, what's good, T. Harris? Welcome to the stream, my brother. It's been a minute, but it's nice to have you in here. And you know what else is nice? We just hit 300 likes on the stream. That is big time. That is big time. 300 for the second straight day. It's been months since I've hit 300 likes on back-to-back -back streams. I can't remember the last time that happened, but you guys have shown up big this stream, and I can't thank y'all enough for that. We've gained a lot of subs this stream, we've gotten a lot of wins this stream, and we're not even close to being done, so y'all hang around, stay tuned in, and we're gonna keep on winning. 
Welcome to the stream, though, T. Harris. And thank y'all for the three hundo. For anybody who's joining, this is game number nine of the stream. And we got to win 33 games. We still have a lot of work left to do. This is a 16-hour grind. I think we're going to do half of Domination today. We'll do the other half tomorrow. Because I don't want to do the entire stream in one day and then have nothing to stream tomorrow. So we're going to stream the first half of Domination today. We're going to do the second half tomorrow. Both streams are going to be about eight hours long, which is... That's a lot of time. Eight hours is a lot. Let's hold the ball. We're already up by 53. We've won pretty much every game by 50 so far. Let's dribble it out with Curry. I guess I'll shoot one more for fun. And hey, whether I made that shot or missed that shot, doesn't matter to me. 76-23, nine games down. And if we win this next game, we get 15 tokens, which is a big dub if you ask me. There's one token. There's our packs. Our statement packs, our heat check packs, and eight tokens. We'll take those. We've beaten the Bucks, the Bulls, the Pistons, and the Cavs. Last, but most certainly least, we got the Pacers. Let's get it! Mike the Scrub said the Celtics game is easy. It's 48-21. Adam said, how many subs are you at? I haven't checked. Let me see right now. 6.14. Not too bad. I can't complain about 6.14. Ray said... Does it matter if you open the heat check packs after each game, or is it better to save after you have a bunch? I mean, Ray, it really depends. It really depends. I mean, of course, I could open up the Nets pack, and I could get Kevin Durant right now. But like, I mean, Ray, I don't want to take too much time in between games. I just want to play through each game, go ahead and get the wins out of the way. Win these games as fast as possible so we can move on to the next one. Darby says I have two diamond contracts. That's a dub. Raz said, hi, man, I came back. That is also a dub. Adam says, no, I'm saving them. Yeah, I'm saving mine, too. I'll open them eventually, but now today is not the day. George says, why aren't you using your bench? I mean, I pretty much have five really good players and then a bronze bench. It saves a lot of MT, so that's why I'm not using my bench very much. Welcome back to the stream, though, Raz. Joshua said 6.14. Yeah, man, my goal this stream was 6.1, but we hit 6.14, so thank you guys for helping me exceed that goal. Maybe we can even hit 6.2 by the end of the stream, but nah, I'm not thinking that far ahead. Yesterday, we gained 200 subs, which was insane, and today, we've already gained like 70. I can't complain about that. Thank you guys for showing up big, and shout out to everybody who's a new subscriber to the channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all. What's up, Goonie? Welcome back. Goonie, Raz, everybody who's rejoining the stream. It's good to have y'all back. Great to have y'all back. Here's an update for anybody who's wondering. This is game number 10. If we win this game, we have 30 stars, which is a lot of stars. T. Harris says that is great growth. Great growth indeed, T. Harris. And you've been subscribed since before 1,000, before like 800, so... You're a pioneer of Doc Nation. Brandon Shellman said, what's up, Doc? What's good, Brandon? Nice to have you back. Darby said, should I give Baron Davis a diamond contract? He's my only Opal. So I know Baron Davis is your only Opal, but you should definitely reserve diamond contracts for your favorite cards, the cards you use the most. So if Baron Davis is one of your favorite cards, you should give him a diamond contract. If there are some other cards you prefer, whether they're Opals or not, Give the cards that you use the most, the cards that you use the most contracts on, the most MT on, those are the cards you should give Diamond the unlimited contracts. And y'all know I used Curry literally every single game yesterday. I used Curry yesterday in all 150 triple threat games of offline, and I'm using Curry today. So, yeah. Curry has the Diamond contracts because he deserves it. Uh, Max, my Instagram is CP the Doc. Bertonki says, yo, Doc, I'm back. I'm grinding with you. It's good to have you back, Bertonki. And I apologize for earlier. I was kind of kidding, but I was also kind of upset. So if I sounded like a dick, I'm very sorry, but it's good to have you back. You know that you're one of the goats around here. Adam says, the Magic doesn't have very good defense. Really? 
Are you talking about the magic that you lock in or the Orlando magic? Because I know earlier I was talking about how the Orlando magic are pretty good defensively in real life. In the game, I don't know if they're as good though, in heat check. Max says, is Doc your actual name? No, but CP, those are my actual initials. Elijah says, how far are you? This is game number 10. If we win, we have 30 stars, which isn't amazing. I know some of you guys are, wait, what the heck? Hey, I think the subscribers is finally fixed. These are a bunch of guys who said they subscribed earlier. I guess the subscribers are finally fixed and the chat is going completely crazy. So if you subscribed earlier and you're still in here, finally Streamlabs is maybe fixed, possibly. Maybe the new subscriber thing at the bottom of the screen is fixed. If anybody's wondering, those guys did not all subscribe at one time. Those are a bunch of guys who subscribed earlier and the notifications are finally showing up. It's about time. I'm sorry if those guys or those notifications are annoying you guys in the chat, but at least they're finally showing up. Chris Guzman says, I love the stream. I appreciate you, Chris. I'm glad you love the stream. And of course, you know I appreciate you for loving the stream. What's up, Tate Flynn? Welcome back. Dynamite said, hey, yo, what? I'm telling you, Streamlabs has been broken. I'm glad that subscribers are showing up again in the chat. And I'm glad they're showing on the screen. But it's so annoying that they just don't show one at a time. George said, yo again, Dom. Dom said, I have returned. Welcome back, Dom, my boy. Nice to have you back in the stream, of course. You were in here for a little while earlier. I'm glad you could stop by. And Dom, here's a quick update. We're on game number 10. Making some decent progress. Zachariah says, my favorite team is the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah, Zach, they've been fun to watch this year. They've been fun to watch, and I'm proud of the 76ers, man. I'm a big fan of Ben Simmons and Embiid. They're both playing great. Tobias Harris, Seth Curry are also chipping in. Tyrese Maxey had a huge game today. Did the Sixers win? Y'all let me know because I haven't been able, able to like watch the games like I normally do because I've been screaming, playing this, going for Antoine Jameson, all those good things. Dominic says, yo, I'm here. I just won my games. Yes, sir, Dominic. Congratulations of, on the dubs. Bertanke said, what quarter are you in right now, Doc? This is the first quarter that we just finished. Curry's going crazy, shimmying, making it look easy. May 4th said, go Knicks. Yes, sir, May 4th. Yes. I'm, I love that we're getting a lot of Knicks fans in the chat. I love it. I've been a Knicks fan for years. In the years that I've been a Knicks fan, they've made the playoffs once. So I would love to see them back in the playoffs this year. They're off to a solid start. Let's see if they can keep it up, man, because I'm loving how they're playing so far. T. Harris said Curry's making it look too easy. Facts. And we have shooters everywhere. Chris Mullen is also lights out. Elena White says, I just got Balasiopal. Bill Walton from the Ascension. That is a huge dub. Bill Walton's the GOAT, so congratulations on picking up the GOAT to play for your team. Goonie says, Rams, Seahawks, 2010. Rams have the ball. That is a surprising game, man. I picked the Seahawks to win, but looks like the Rams are out here making the first move, making it look easy, like Curry is right now. Daniel says, I'm a New Orleans Pelicans fan. Got you. I like Lonzo, man. I like Ingram, Zion, a bunch of players on the Pelicans. Kira Lewis from Alabama. Like, Pelicans have a lot of players I like, but y'all know the Knicks are my favorite team. Burke says, I'm back. Welcome back, Burke. Nice to have you back. Dom said, Bill, Bill, Bill Walton is the GOAT. Classic song, Dom. The OGs know all about it. Just Wonder said, hey, what's up? I haven't been here in forever. Just Wonder, you always say that, but it really hasn't been that long. I low-key feel like you show up every stream because you always show up and say, I'm sorry it's been a while, but not for real. It's always great when you're in here, Just Wonder, and it's good to have you back in the stream once again. Welcome back, Bert K. Welcome back, Just Wonder. 2K Story says, can't wait to be up all night grinding Dom. Yeah, man. This Dom has been fun so far. I'm not going to lie. 
Last night, Triple Threat was a lot of fun. We won all 150 games in one stream. We reached 750 wins, and we finished that up. And we got to start on domination. We got to. We got to start on domination. We have no choice. Well, we totally have a choice, but domination's pretty fun. And it's a pretty good grind. And I think you guys enjoy watching it. Austin said CP equals Chris Pratt. There's a very small percentage of people who know my actual name who watch the channel. But CP and Doc, that's fine. Y'all can call me CP and Doc. My boy Codeine calls me CP the Vampire because he thinks I don't sleep. He's pretty, that's pretty true. That's pretty accurate. May 4th said, Knicks are one player away from being a true contender. I don't know about that, May 4th. I think the Knicks are a little more than one player away, but they're playing so well this season. They're playing well together. They're locked in on defense. Randall's playing like an MVP. Alfred Payton, RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, other guys are stepping in. The Knicks have so much talent, I think they just needed the right coach and good leadership. And as a Knicks fan, I'm so happy with how they've played so far this season. Ben Yesko says, I live in Washington. Julian says, are you friends with Lil Codeine? I'd say we are some pretty good friends. I'd say me and Codeine are pretty good friends. Yes, Julian. Codeine's pretty chill. I like his content. And he's getting pretty close to 1,000 subs. So let's see if he can get there soon. I believe he can. That's my boy, Lil Codeine. Shout out to him. Max says, what is your score prediction for your game right now? For this game? Um... Uh, that's a tough one. I say we will win this game. I feel like my defense in the second half is going to get a lot worse. So I predict 95 to 30. I think we're going to give up twice as many points in the second half. Burke says, I think your name is Carlos. Wow, that is so far from what my name is. My name is certainly not Carlos. Damari Town said, just got Byron back from the vault. That is a huge dub. Hey. Byron Beck, I haven't tried him out, but he's a free pink diamond, a good value card. Let me know what you think of him. Dynamite said, not even close, Julian. I might look like a Carlos. To be fair, I'm not full white. I'm half white, half Malaysian, but yeah, not even close. Splash said, who's your favorite rapper? Favorite rapper is J. Cole, but I got to put Kanye West in the conversation too, but I consider Kanye more of an artist all around. Even though he's probably my favorite artist, and that would make him my favorite rapper. I like J. Cole a lot, too. Dom said my internet once again cut out. Man, it did the same thing yesterday. I'm sorry about your internet cutting out, bro. That freaking sucks, but I'm glad you're back. T. Harris said Carlos the Doc. Yeah, that is so far from what it actually is. T. Harris knows my actual name. People really close to me know my actual name, and T. Harris is a as OG as it gets, pretty much. Dom said, Doc looks nothing like a Carlos. I mean, maybe with the facial hair. Maybe I need to shave. And maybe then I won't look as much like a Carlos, because some people tell me it's the facial hair for them. Dynamite said, he said three games away from the Opal. Are you talking about Codeine, or who are you talking about? But yeah. Also, in terms of going for the Opal, not even close. You're 100% correct about that. Not even close. We are about 24 games away from the Opal total. If we win this game, we are 23 away. But, I mean, even if you're 23 away, 24 away, still not even close. Jake says you look like your name is Christian. Eh, that's closer than Carlos, but still pretty far off. Ray said Charles Perkins. Nah, nah, Charles Perkins, come on. That's not very good either. Julian says, I'm against the Golden State. And I'm against the Pacers right now. Steph Curry has 42. They have 14. Splash Inc. says, Doc, I want to get top hours. Hey, you can do it. Well, you have a chance of doing it if you show up to every stream. Dynamite says, Julian said you're three games away from the Opal. Yep, like I said, not even close. Not even close. 3 and 24, pretty big difference. Ornick says Tyrese Maxey went crazy versus the Nuggets. Yes, he did. 39 points is no joke. 39 is crazy, man, especially for a rookie. Shout out to Tyrese Maxey. Chris said Doc looks like a Chandler. Okay, you guys are so far off. You guys aren't even close. 
low-key the closest guest might have been Carlos. And that's not, that's not even close. No, no, no. Splash Inc. says, that's why I'm always in your streams. And I appreciate you being here, Splash Inc. I appreciate you supporting me. And you're also always in Zoe's streams when I'm not live. What's up, Masayu Jiri? Welcome back. Rossi says, I played 10 domination games, got to level 18. It's a good start. Now I gotta go back to the grind tomorrow. Hey, that is a pretty good start, Rossi. That's a very good start. Keep on grinding, get back to it tomorrow, and yeah, good work. I'm proud of you. Jake Wright said, bruh, he checked Steph Curry's going for 200k. I know, it's crazy. Someone earlier said he was going for 250. At one point, he was going for like 275. And I guess he's back down to 200, which is a good thing, but... Dude, 200 is crazy for a heat check card. Corbin says, low key, I'm feeling Creed Parker. Not even close, but Creed is a very cool name. Cameron or Caleb? Nah. Nah. You got. Caleb's not a bad guess. Creed's a pretty cool name, but nah. Rossi said, be safe and keep up the good work. I got you, Rossi. You do the same thing. Take it easy, and I'll see you later. What's up, Elena White? Welcome back to the stream. Darby Scales said, Chris Paul. Not a bad guess. Chris Paul's not a bad guess. Like I said, my initials are CP. In my senior year of high school, I actually wore the number three. So, CP3 was a thing, believe it or not. But I was not a very good... I mean, I wasn't a point guard. I'd say I was a good player, but I wasn't a point guard. So, I'd say CP the Doc and CP3. Not a big comparison there. Chris Paul played at Wake Forest, and I got offered by a D3. So, like, yeah. Very different dynamics there. Chris Paul, yeah. I'm not Chris Paul. Certainly not. But good guess. Zach said your name is Cameron. It is certainly not. Your name is Caleb. Nah. Dom said your guys' guesses are so off. Exact. You're not going to guess it. So stop spamming in the chat. Kidding. But yeah, CP and Doc. Masai said it really sucks being in Tampa. What's going on with Tampa? What's going on in Tampa? I'm sorry you aren't liking it there. Jake Wright says, I'm on the ascension board. Give me a number to pick. People always say 8 and 24 are pretty good numbers to pick. And I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. Also, good luck getting Bill Walton, man. You're going to need it. That Bill Walton, not easy to get. You got to get mad lucky if you want to get that Bill Walton. Ray says, what happens if there's an XP challenge for some of the good heat check cards in the future? <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to be screwed, man, because those heat check cards are super expensive. I don't know if there's actually going to be challenges for the heat check cards specifically, but that's a very good point, Ray. That is a really good point. If the heat check players like Steph Curry have a challenge that you gotta complete, he's going for 200 right now. He's gonna go for like 400 in the future. Masai says, we're the Toronto Raps and not Tampa. I think that's why we're underperforming. That's fair. The Tampa Raptors, not a huge fan of that. I feel like they could still be playing in Toronto, but at the same time, travel in and out of the country over the border, that would be a pretty, that would be a lot, a lot to process. That would be just a lot of hassle moving in and out of the country, especially with guys who might have the virus or might have been in contact with someone with it. It's so tough to say. It's tough to say, but yeah, Tampa Raptors, it just isn't right. William Bird said, what's up, Doc? What's good, William? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. Jake Wright says, I got a double take pack. Dub. That is a dub. And yesterday, I actually got a bunch of double take packs from the vault, so eventually I'm going to have to open those up, but it is no hurry at all. Y'all know I'm not worried about that one bit. Ornix said this Galaxy Oval Jameson's a dub. That's good news because a lot of guys have been joining the stream asking if he's worth it, asking if it's worth the grind. And he looks pretty good, man. His attributes and badges look pretty good, but I haven't used him yet, so I wouldn't know personally. Fortnite Killer said Carl. Not Carl, for sure. Berto said, imagine only heat check for limited. That would be tough. I don't think that's going to be the case, because only heat check was the requirement this week. 
but you could also use like a ruby, sapphires, amethysts, which was a good thing because not everybody has a lot of heat check cards. Darby said Richard Jefferson is an L. You think so? I don't think he's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. His jump shot's kind of weird, but very athletic. Very athletic and not terrible defensively. Good jump shot ratings. Pretty good overall. Jake Wright said definitely Chris. Chris is not a bad guess, but nah, not Chris. Kersey said, does the cam redis glitch still work? Yes, it does. It still works, and I recommend doing it because it's not really a tough glitch. It's more just an exploit. If it was really a glitch, 2K would have banned us by now, but so many guys do that, and it's not a bad thing to do. Dom says, guys, you should stop guessing his name. You're never going to guess it. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I'm not just going to reveal it right here. I think someone told me to do a name reveal at 10,000 subs, but that's going to be a super long time in the future, so I might do it sooner than that, because 10,000, for all we know, that might not happen until 2023 or something. That might not happen for a long time. Maybe I'll reveal it one day. It's not that big of a deal to keep it secret, but it's just funny to me that it's been a secret for so many people for so long. What's good, Noah Fenton? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. Ziv says, I did the cam right as glitch. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, man, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. It's so easy to do, you might as well do it. Look at Bill Russell, man. Going coast to coast. T. Harris said, I say mid-2021. Not a bad guess. We hit 5,000 in December. We hit like 4,000 in early November. The channel's been growing, hitting new milestones every month. Mid-2021 is not a bad guess, but like I said, you never know when it's going to happen. And I'm definitely not going to think too far ahead, because if you think too far ahead, if you expect something big to happen that doesn't have a big chance of happening, you're just going to get disappointed. So for me, my goal is not to get 10,000 by the end of the year or anything. My goal is not to get 100,000. My goal is just to be the best I can be and keep the channel growing and keep giving you guys good content. Darby said, what's the Cam Reddish glitch? So if you have all the evolution players for Cam Reddish, if you have all the fully evolved players, you can lock in, but then you can buy Emerald players and switch those players out for the ones in your collection, and you can sell the players who you evolved and make your MT back. So you're going to have Cam Reddish, but you can sell back all the players you evolved from your collection. And you can make your MT back, which is super convenient. Goonie said 6.15. Congrats, bro. Hey, I appreciate that. And I appreciate everyone who subbed. 6.15 is pretty good. That means we're already on the way to 6.2. Noah says, I have another five teams till I get Jameson. It's not bad at all. I have another 24, so you're way closer than I am. But at the same time, I also won 150 games for Doug West yesterday. And not sure if many of you guys have done that. I decided to do that first. My goal was to be the first person in the world to get Doug West. And we did it. We pulled it off. Your boy was first. But at the expense of that, a bunch of you guys are going to beat me to Jameson, which is not really a big deal. It's not really a race to me in domination. It's just that yesterday I felt like going for Doug West first because I got Oladipo first pretty much in Season 2. And last season, I wanted to get Finley, but I was out of town, so I couldn't really stream 2K for a week. So I wasn't able to get him first, so yesterday, I just felt like going all out and being the first person to get Doug West. And I know so many guys have already gotten Finley, and I'm proud of you guys who've gotten Finley. Is Doug West good? Just wonder? Doug West is surprisingly good. Like, you'll be surprised by how good he is. I'm going to post a gameplay video possibly tomorrow. Masai says I'm going to beat Dr. Jameson. Well, you also had like a 30-game head start, so I don't see what the bragging stuff is. Berto says, you know, I have three games left, but I'm going to give up. Not worth it. Yeah, yeah, three games left. Why even get the reward? Why even get the reward? There's no point if you have three games left. Ornix said this Ruby Dort is a very good budget card. A lot of guys are saying that. Good threes, good dunking, good defense. I agree with that, but I haven't used him yet. But that's what everyone's saying. 
Just Wonder said everyone liked the stream. Hey, y'all listen to Just Wonder. Drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. We're at 313 right now, which is crazy. That is pretty crazy. I appreciate y'all dropping all those likes and showing so much love. Let's see if we can get up to 400 by the end of this stream, because keep in mind, this stream is nowhere near over. Dynamite said, read last in the Kareem challenge. Is it a 55 of the team or 55 with one player? I have no idea. Haven't played it yet. Ray says, I'm on the first game of Dumb and looking forward to a break. I don't blame you. I mean, I'm already looking forward to a break too, but at the same time, I'm not very tired. So we're going to be fine. This game versus the Pacers was probably the easiest game we've played so far, which is surprising because we've played so many worse teams than the Pacers. I feel like the Cavaliers are worse than the Pacers. I feel like the Bulls are worse than the Pacers. I feel like the Pistons are worse than the Pacers. And I feel like the Knicks are worse than the Pacers. But this has probably been our best game. Or one of them at least. Maybe. I really don't know. I haven't really kept track. Ziv says 314. Just got mine. Very nice. Medtap says I'm from Goonie936. I appreciate you, Goonie. VDK says 55 with one player. Got you. Got you. I'm glad you guys in the chat could answer the question because I haven't tried that challenge yet. So I'm glad you guys could come through for Dynamite. What's good, Adam? Welcome back to the stream. We got 121 people in here. 121, excuse me. Yeah, that's a lot of people in here, man. That's a very good crowd. I appreciate you guys showing up. And for everybody who's joining, everybody who's in here, we are... 12 seconds away from our 10th win. Yeah. Let's just let the clock run out. I could score 100 points, 100 to 22 win, but we'll take a 97 22 win instead. Can't really complain about that. 10 games in the books, two divisions done, 15 more tokens in the bank. Let's get some dubs in the chat, man. Don't spam too hard, but let's get some dubs in the chat. 15 tokens is pretty good, and two divisions finished is also pretty good. That is 10 games done in less than five hours. 10 games done in, we can actually get 11 games done in less than five hours if this game goes well. I think I began this stream about four and a half hours ago, so 10 games done in the time that I was expecting to finish up like nine games. We're actually ahead of pace, which is pretty good. Thanks for the dubs, Austin, Goonie, Zunko. Y'all are some beasts for real. And I gotta play versus the Hornets, man. Y'all know me. A lot of you guys call me the Hornet Killer, so let's play versus the Hornets in our first game of this division. The first game of the Southeast Division. We're also going to have to play versus the Heat, the Hawks, and all those teams. I say starting off versus the Hornets is a pretty good warm-up game. Also, the Hornets have a really nice home court. I gotta give them credit for that. Lil Codeen says, how the hell do you do it so fast? That's a great question. I mean, I'd say one thing is clock management. I try not to foul too much, and I make sure it's a blowout every time, so... None of the games go to overtime, I never call timeouts, and right after the game ends, I quit, so that saves a lot of time. The loading time between quarters on next gen is pretty good. And yeah, we've been getting through these games fast. I think we could get 11 games done in less than 5 hours, which is pretty crazy. Really crazy, actually. Dom says, is Byron Beck any good? Dom says, Doc, everyone abuses the Hornets when they do their challenges. That's true, Dom. But some people abuse the Knicks instead. Y'all know that my go-to is the Hornets, but some guys go to the Knicks. Just Wonder says, I got Diamond Jim Jackson. He's actually pretty solid. You're not the only person who said that. Someone earlier also said that Jim Jackson's pretty good. I haven't tried him out, haven't used him, but I'm going to take your word for it that he's pretty good. Adam said the Wizards are going to go crazy. I guess I'll play versus the Wizards after this game because you've been talking about how good the Wizards are. Let's see if the Wizards can give me a good game. Let's see if the Wizards next game can compete against me. We just beat the Pacers by like 100. It was actually 70, but still. And yeah, let's see if we can keep on winning these games by as much as we can. Let's demoralize these teams. 
Let's abuse these teams. Jake Wright says, is Pink Diamond Issel a dub? I've actually heard he is. Everyone is saying that Pink Diamond Dan Issel is like Kevin Love, except he can play defense and is faster. Of course, we all know Dan Issel's a great shooter, so if he's able to play defense, then that's a huge dub for Dan Issel. I remember his Galaxy Opal last year wasn't bad. I remember he had a Pink Diamond 12-0 card in NBA 2K19. Issel, not a bad card. And I've heard he's like a pretty good version of Diamond Kevin Love. The only thing about Issel is that his card picture is terrible. Like, where are his teeth? He, like, what does he floss his teeth with? A mattress? Like, sheesh. Luna said you actually followed my idea. Yeah, see, Luna, I told you. I was 100% open to taking your idea. I was like, let me try this out. And then what do you know, Luna? It actually turned out pretty dope. So shout out to Luna for recommending me change the background of my logo or my profile picture from gray to black and white. It turned out pretty well. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. And Luna, the reason why I followed it is because, like I said, it actually turned out pretty dope. And it wasn't very hard to do. Just PNGs, removing backgrounds, little things like that. It was pretty easy. Adam says you have to watch out for Beal and Westbrook. That's probably what other teams say about the Wizards in real life, but they're off to a terrible start. Eric says just got a bronze for 100k, making moves. Yes sir, Eric. Was it Dean Wade? Because if it was, that's 100% worth it. Ray Money says, don't leave for three days ever again. I was bored. Ray, I'm going to be here for a while because 2K gave us so much new content to start this season, so my goal is to stream pretty much every day that I can. My goal is to just give y'all content every single day that there's content to be given. So if there's no content, if 2K doesn't give us any content, I might not stream that day, but my goal is to stream pretty much every day. Yesterday we streamed Triple Threat, we got all those wins, and today we're going to start on Domination, tomorrow we're going to finish Domination, and Monday we'll probably do some XP grinding stuff, Tuesday maybe we'll get some new spotlights. Like every day that there's new content, I want to stream the new content, and that's my biggest thing. Adam says, I don't know, his teeth are messed up. Yeah, I don't know what happened to his teeth, Austin, that's a very, very good question, so yeah. I really don't know what happened to Dan Issel's teeth, but he was still a big baller, so can't complain about his teeth when he was getting buckets, you know? Luna says, honestly, the gray background was a little bit plain. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. No, I agree with you. Like, it didn't look terrible, but the black and the white in the background, I think, looks a lot better. Dom says, 300 pink diamonds. Oh, no, three original owner pink diamonds. I thought you meant 300 pink diamonds. I was like, what? Thankfully, I have all those Richard Jeffersons. I have all those um, Larry Nances. So I can get rid of some of those guys, and I can use those to get Dan Issel. Goonie said, Doc Nation, stand up. Yes, sir. Also, Goonie, not Goonie, MC Duncan, welcome back from hunting. Nice to have you back in the stream. Christian said the Raptors aren't hosting fans anymore in Tampa. That's understandable, man. I mean, having fans at all is kind of unsafe because you don't know where they've been. You don't know where they've been around or who they've been around. Having fans at games in the first place is kind of unsafe, especially when it's in a closed arena like the one that they have in Tampa. See, for football, I feel like it's kind of different, but for basketball, I feel like that's kind of dangerous having that many fans, even though it's not that many, in a small concentrated space. Also, we gotta play better defense. We've already given up 10 points. Last game we gave up like 20. So, I gotta play better defense in the second quarter. Berto says, I feel so relieved being almost done with the grind. Hey, job's not finished, Berto. Finish strong and feel free to let us know in the chat when you're finished. Keep on grinding, you're doing an awesome job, man. Adam says, in football it's an open place. Exactly, exactly, just like that. Darby says Maxi needs a moments card. Yes, he does. I mean, dropping nearly 40 on the Nuggets as a rookie? You deserve a moments card, Tyrese Maxi. Shout out to him. Christian says NASCAR is way different because it's more spaced out. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. It's different for basketball and football. 
and like for like NASCAR. You're 100% right about that. It's different for every sport. Having fans is a dangerous game, like no matter what, but in basketball, in the NBA, I feel like it's different and it's more risky. Yeah, I think you guys get where I'm coming from. I've done a good amount of talking about it. I think you boys get it. Eric says that's more if they bring in fans. I don't know if they should. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. It's a hard decision, man, because the fans, they help these teams make revenue. They help the league make revenue. And money is super important. I mean, that's why the NBA was so set on starting the league in December, because Christmas is a huge day for the NBA. The games were terrible, but they were actually kind of fun to watch a little bit. I don't know, but... Yeah, money's big for the NBA. Money is big for football teams and basketball teams. Money is huge to keep these organizations and these sports leagues running. Money is huge, so getting fans in there is important, but doing it safely is not easy right now with the way the world's going. Ziv says, just got my 27th star. Nice. So Ziv, you're a little bit behind me. I got 30. But we should be getting that Jameson at the same time. You might get him first if you don't take a break because y'all know I'm going to take a break at the halfway point and we're going to come back again tomorrow. We're going to get Jameson tomorrow night. It's going to be epic. Just Wonder says, I heard that Opal Dame is good. I haven't seen gameplay and I don't have him yet, but I have heard he's really good too. Adam says, I'm not taking a break. I'm finishing today. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. See, I would take, I would totally finish a day, but there's other things I want to do. I got to go to the gym later. I kind of slept in today, so I wasn't able to go to the gym this morning. So once I'm done with this stream, I got to make sure I go. Ziv says I'm definitely taking a break. Oh yeah, me too. I mean, I need some breaks. We went crazy yesterday getting 150 wins. And once we get to the halfway point of this, we're going to take another break. Much needed for sure. Adam said which dame? The Galaxy Opal Dame Lillard, of course. Do you think we're talking about the diamond? And that's if there even is a diamond. I'm pretty sure the new one's a diamond, but we're talking about the opal. Christian said Aaron Donald left the game. Really? What's the score looking like now? Is it still 2010? Because I think you guys said that was the last score update earlier. Is it still 2010? Y'all let me know. Eric says the Knicks were an easy win because Obi Toppin at the center was easy, especially with my diamond Sabonis. That's true. That's true. That's a huge mismatch. Ziv says I'm a try to, but I've got to see the Wizards game. So who do the Wizards play today? Christian said 2013. Goonie 2013. Mike also said 2013. I appreciate all you guys letting me know the score. So the Seahawks, they could be in position to come back. Aaron Donald leaving the game, though, is a big deal, so... Let's see if the Seahawks can make something happen now. Let's see if they can make something happen without one of the best defenders in the league in the building. Amadeus says, I'm at 57 stars. Kuda says the Wizards play the Heat. Got you, got you. Speaking of the Heat, man, Tyler, Tyler Hero, he's on one of my fantasy teams. I need him to have a big game. Guarding Westbrook and Wall might not be, not Westbrook and Wall, Westbrook and Beal might not be easy, but I'm going to need Tyler Hero to have a big game. On my other fantasy team, I have Bam Adebayo, so I would love him to have a good game too, but Tyler Hero, that's in the league that I'm the commissioner of, so I would love him to have a great game. What's good, Hyper Shot? Welcome to the stream. Josh Smoove said, hey Doc, how's the progress going? So we haven't even been live for five hours yet, Smoove, and we've already finished about four and a half games. If we get this game done in the next about 23 minutes, that means we've finished 11 games in less than five hours, which is ahead of the pace that I was talking about, saying that it's gonna take 17 hours. Because if we can finish 11 games in less than five hours, that means we can finish this entire grind in less than 15, which is pretty crazy, right? 11 games in less than five hours and there's 33 games total, that's a very good pace. We can definitely do it in less than 15. What's up, PD2K? Welcome back to the stream. Christian says, what's your goal? My goal is to get to the halfway point today. So we're probably going to get 50-something stars today. And then we'll do the rest of it tomorrow. And I'll also play some games with Jameson Live afterwards. So I want this stream to be about 8 or 9 hours, and I want tomorrow's stream to be about the same length. 
Josh Smooth said, did you see my trade in Fantasy? If it's a new trade, I probably didn't see it because I haven't really been on Fantasy today. I changed my lineup earlier because I have a huge opportunity today. If I, if I can win today, if I can take the lead versus Lino, I'll be in a very good position because I think I'm down by 100 versus Lino, which sounds like a lot in Fantasy, but being down by 100 in my league, you can be down by 100. And if you have one good day, you'll be up by 100 at the end of the day. So I'm really trying to come in big versus Lino today and get the win versus him so I can stay undefeated. But even if, I'm, even if I don't win this week, the big reason why I lose this week in fantasy is because of injuries. I mean, Isaac Acaro was injured. De'Aaron Fox was injured. Alec Burks is still injured. So many of my players got injured this week. So if my players can get healthy, we're going to have a great chance to win the league. Goonie says I changed my profile picture. That's a dub. PD2K said Kawhi is better than D-Wade at shooting guard. Changed my mind. PD, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. I think Kawhi is going to be really good. D-Wade is great, but I think Kawhi is going to be pretty good too. He's six foot eight. He can play the shooting guard. He's great defensively. And if you put Kawhi at the shooting guard, he's going to play great defense on Kobe, Michael Jordan, D-Wade, guys like that. Uh, ASG, we are in the third quarter. Third quarter. Halftime just finished. But yeah, welcome to the stream, ASG. Nice to have you in the building as well. Ray Money says, I had to sit there and watch Carlos Story pay to win. See, we are not pay to win. We are grinders. We're grinders, baby. We grind through these games. We play that defense. We go on these huge winning streaks like we did yesterday in Triple Threat. And we grind out these players, we grind out MT and tokens, and that's how we win our games, by collecting players like that, who can do those things. Ornick says, just got heat check Giannis. Really? That is a dub, man. Go sell him on the auction, make some MT. That is a huge dub, Ornix. Endgame said, 2,000 cards collected, Dame Dalla. That's a huge dub as well. Everybody's catching dubs in the chat. Man, we're on fire from three. And we're playing some good defense. In the first quarter, I think we allowed 10 points. So, we've been great defensively ever since. In the first quarter, though, we were pretty bad. I think we were up like 15 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. So, we're on a pretty good run ever since. Mike the Scrub says, I'm up by 10 versus the Bucks at halftime. Nice. Hey, carry through in the second half and get that dub, my boy. Eric Dorgan said, who's better, Diamond Sabonis or Diamond Kareem? It's really all about personal preference. I think I would take Sabonis, but Kareem is definitely the best non-shooting center in the game. But Sabonis, he's able to shoot, and for so many players, being able to shoot is such a big deal. So if you like shooting centers, I say get Sabonis. If you're cool with really good non-shooting centers, though, I'd say that a really good pickup would be Kareem, for sure. Probably the best non-shooting center in the game aside from, I mean, one of the best diamond non-shooting centers in the game. Because, of course, I'd take Wilt and Bill Russell over. What's his name again? Crap. Kareem. Gosh, I lost my train of thought completely. PD says invest in Mikhail Bridges and Jordan Poole and even DeAndre Ayton heat check. I'd say the most important thing is to invest in a lot of guys who can have big performances in the NBA, which of course will result in their prices going up. Andrew Bates says, if anyone needs MT, use the link, it works. Thank you, Andrew, thank you. So many guys ask, is this a scam, is this a scam? Am I gonna get scammed? It's not a scam. I would not promote it if it was a scam. I promise y'all, man. I'm not here to screw y'all over because if I screw y'all over, if I scam y'all, y'all are gonna get mad at me. And that's not very good for my reputation in these streams, so it is not a scam, it works, and the MT is super cheap, especially if you're on PlayStation. And if you use my code CPTHEDOC, you can get 5% off any order, which is a pretty big deal. And I'd say buying $100 of MT is a lot better than buying VC, because you can buy $100 of VC, open a pack, get absolutely nothing. You can open a 20 bucks and get nothing, but 
If you buy a hundred dollars worth of MT on PlayStation, I mean, you get a million MC which you can use on anybody in the auction house, and you will definitely get them. You won't get banned, just wonder, but you want to make sure to use a card that's not going to make it super obvious you're buying MT. What's up, Leftover Dead? Hello to you too. Welcome to the stream. Austin says Carlos might have Hall of Fame credit card. He does get help. It does help him with content for sure. Hall of Fame credit card's a pretty big deal. Paying for players and opening packs is a pretty big deal. And hey, his content's pretty good. I know a lot of guys like Carlos Story. I like his content too. One of the best my team creators out there. Adam says one million MT is a thousand dollars. Nope, that's not true. One million MT is a hundred dollars. That's not true at all. He must not have visited the website. Oh man, yeah. I wouldn't listen to Adam on that one. A thousand MT? Or a thousand dollars? Nah, that's too much for a million MT. Way too much. What's good, Jermaine? Welcome to the stream, my boy. Also, what's up, Mr. V? Mr. V said, what's up, Doc? What did I miss? You missed the first ten games of the stream, but hey, I'm glad you can make it. This stream's gonna be a good eight or nine hours long, so you came at a pretty good time. This is our 11th game, and we're about to finish it in less than five hours, which is a pretty big dub, if you ask me. Eric said, 100k VC and my team is meh, but 100k VC in my career is richer than Westbrook and John Wall. 100k VC in my career is a big deal, but yeah, in my team it is very meh. What's good, Blitz? Welcome to the stream. Goonie said this community is great. I completely agree. I love this community. Not only my channel's community, but the my team community as a whole, man. But nah, this channel's community is top tier. You guys are freaking awesome, every single one of you. And if you're subscribed, man, and you're doing the right thing, you are in on this community. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe ASAP if you haven't already. Join in on Doc Nation and turn on notifications so you don't miss a stream. Drearious Dog says, are you going to stream until you get Jameson? No. Well, kind of. We're going to finish about half of it today. We're going to finish the other half tomorrow. But yeah, Drearious, Drearious Dog, we're going to finish like probably 20 games today, 13 games tomorrow, maybe 18 games today and 15 tomorrow. I don't know, but... We're going to split it up so we have two super long streams instead of just one super long stream so I can give y'all some content tomorrow. Adam says it showed 1k for 1 mil. That's very weird. I don't know why I did that. I have no idea why I did that. What's good, Jordan Bryant? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Dom said, yes, sir, Doc, I'm with you. Or yes, sir, Eric, I'm with you. I totally thought that said Doc. Eric said, shout out to the people watching but not commenting. You know, seriously, shout out to all y'all. I won't mention this enough. Of course, I appreciate everyone who's being active in the chat, but I really do appreciate every single person watching. So if you're watching but not commenting, I hope you're enjoying the gameplay. I hope that you are enjoying the vibes. If you're grinding 2K, I hope you're doing a good job at that. I really do appreciate everyone who's watching but not commenting just as much as the people who are commenting. I appreciate y'all a lot. Javen Malone says, I hate playing versus Giannis in Domination. Thankfully, Giannis wasn't very good today versus me in Domination, so I got kind of bailed out because he wasn't very good when I played against him. Darby says, just got Ben Simmons. Sell now or wait until he's on fire? You could sell him now. You never know when he's going to be on fire because Ben Simmons is actually missing a bunch of games. He's missing a bunch of games, so... Yeah, if I were you, I'd go ahead and sell him because if you want to get that MT soon, if you want that MT now, you're, that's probably the best amount of MT you're going to get for a while because Ben is going to miss a few games. Adam says, I would buy the MT, but I'm broke. You don't have to buy the MT if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you to do that, so don't worry about being broke, man. Don't worry about having money or not having money. I just appreciate you being here and supporting. Carter says, back, what's your record? Um, 10 and, oh, this is game number 11. What's your record? That's a weird question, because y'all know we don't lose offline games. Earlier, someone joined the stream, and they said, man, 150 triple threat wins. That is such a grind. Man, you probably had to play so many more games than that because of your losses. 
Dude, losing in triple threat offline. You have to try to lose in triple threat offline. I was so offended. Christian says, if you have a chance, are you going to watch the Washington-Tampa game? Yes, I might not be able to catch the whole thing, but I want to watch as much as I can. Also, what's up, Rafi? Or Rafi, excuse me. Welcome to the stream. Rafi, Rafi, Rafi. I think it's Rafi, but welcome to the stream. I hope I pronounced it right at least one of those times. I really hope so. Eric says, is that how heat check cards work? If they're doing good in real life, their heat check lights up. Yeah, that's the point of heat check cards. If they're doing well in real life, their card gets better. Their card heats up if they're on fire in person, which is pretty cool. But the concept has been a little bit off for the last couple years. And the concept is also a little bit off this year because y'all know how important badges are in 2K. But literally, the badges don't change on heat check cards. So if the player is playing well in real life, yeah, their three-pointer might go up from like an 85 to a 95 or whatever, but if your range extender doesn't go up and you have silver badges, that doesn't mean anything. Terrell says, do the heat check cards go back down if they play bad? Yes. Thankfully, they don't go below their base rating, so if Curry is a 90 overall, his card never goes below a 90, but yeah. If he's playing bad, his card will go from a 93 down to a 90. Francisco Navarro, welcome to the stream. Yo, my domination is glitched. My Ray Allen with a 96-3 was bricking wide open threes. I think you just need to time your threes better. Because there are a lot of glitches that happen in my team. But missing wide open shots is not a glitch. You just gotta time your threes better. I mean, not every single shot's gonna go in. In basketball, people miss shots, fun fact. So just because you're missing shots doesn't mean the game is glitched. It just means you gotta time your shots better. Kobe said, yo, that's crazy. I just joined, and I'm in the middle of Hornets domination as well. Nice. So we're both on the Hornets. For me, this is game number 11. So for you, I'm not sure if it's game number 11 as well, but that would be pretty crazy if we were both on the exact same game. Finest Gaming says, I joined the My Team community because of you. I make locker code My Team videos, glitches, and news on My Team. That's pretty dope. I'm glad that I can inspire you to join the community, Finest Gaming. A lot of people tell me I inspire them, but nah, for real. It really means a lot when they say that live on stream, man. And this community is a lot of fun, this game is a lot of fun, and what you're doing is good work. Making videos about news and locker codes and players, it's really good work and someone's gotta do it, and if, as long as you enjoy doing it, hey, I'm very happy I can inspire you, man. Very happy I can inspire you, Finest. Phillips says, it's either timing or internet or both. It's probably timing because you're not going to miss wide open shots offline because of lag. Offline, the game should never lag. It might be timing. I mean, what else could it be? It's definitely not lag. Great defense. Adam says, I just broke Bradley Beal. And speaking of Bradley Beal, you wanted me to play against him next game. You said that I was going to have a hard time stopping Bradley Beal and Westbrook. Let's see if that theory holds up. And let's see if the Wizards can stop us. We've been winning every game pretty easily by pretty much an average of 50. And in back-to-back -back games, we've given up less than 25 points. In the first quarter, the Hornets scored 10. But I told y'all we were going to eventually play better on defense. So there we go. Another game in the books. Another pretty big win. That's 11 games down, 33 stars, 66 stars to go. We are officially a third of the way done. And we have finished up 11 games in less than five hours. We're on a really good pace. Can't complain about that. And there we get 20 tokens. That is a big dub. 20 tokens is a monumental dub. Up next, we got the Washington Wizards. Let's see how good these Wizards really are. Yikes says, Doc's going to get a locker code one day. I would love that. I would love to get a locker code one day. But I got to grow my channel first. I got to improve my content. And I got to gain more subscribers. I got to be a bigger name in the community. I got to keep my channel growing. And thanks to all you guys subscribing. Thanks to all you guys tuning in and dropping likes. The channel's been growing like crazy lately. All because of y'all. Game number 12 versus the Washington Wizards. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be an interesting one. 
Curry just missed a wide open layup. I guess you guys were right about how insane Russell Westbrook is. Jonathan said, what time are you streaming tomorrow? Probably the same time as today, maybe a little bit earlier. So today my stream began at like one o'clock. Yesterday it began at I think 11.45, so almost noon. So we're probably gonna begin around noon tomorrow to probably, nah, probably one o'clock, probably the same time as today because gotta watch church, gotta eat food with family, gotta eat my meal with them, of course, and then I'll probably stream the second half of this domination. And then we'll be good going from there. We'll go from there. And we will get Jameson tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. And no, I'm not lying. I promise y'all, it's going to be awesome. Adam says, didn't you get a locker code in 20? Because I swear you had one. In 2K20, I think I finished the game with like 3,000 subs. So my channel wasn't big just yet. The streams were doing well. But my content back then was monumentally crappier than it is now. First of all, you can watch my streams right now in 1080p. Back then, the quality was so bad. The stream of quality was pretty bad. But now the quality is much better, the setup is a lot better, and I just generally have more fun doing it. We have a bigger audience, and I just really love doing this. Endgame says the game has started. Endgame, keep me updated. Give me score updates. I need those. Y'all know I need those score updates, since I'm not watching the game right now. Francisco says, who do you think is going to win the championship? In the NBA, I got my money on the Lakers, man. We talk about this a lot. I think the Lakers are going to win the West. I think the Lakers are going to... I think the Nets are going to win the East, and the Lakers are going to win the West. And I think the Lakers are going to win the Finals. Nice. KT says, do you think Julius Randle will be an All-Star? Yes. I think he will be if he keeps up the way he's playing. The Knicks, they're in the playoffs as of today. Or they're in the top eight in the East. They're not in the playoffs yet, but they're playing great. And Julius Randle's leading the charge. I think he will be an all-star. Mr. Shat said 6.15. Congrats, bro. Hey, I appreciate you, Mr. Shat. And welcome to the stream. How am I doing? I'm doing great, Mr. Shat. I'm doing great. Yesterday's stream was awesome. But the worst thing about yesterday's stream was that I couldn't make it to yours because of yesterday's stream. I wish I could have made it to yours, man, but my stream was super long, and yours, I think it was around three hours long, a little bit less, so I wish I could have been there, but hey, if you stream tonight when I'm awake, I'll be there, man. I hope you've been doing all right, and I'm glad you can make it today. Chance says, I haven't been talking much because I've been grinding. Same here, same here. Mongoose said, how many games left? Um... This is game number 12, so we have exactly 22 games left, not including this game. We've won 11 out of 33 in less than 5 hours, which is pretty crazy. Mr. Shat says, I just finished my stream. No! That is not what I'm talking about. I'll have to rewatch it later as a video, but I hope it was a good stream, my guy. Eric said, Julius Randle is better than MJ but not quite better than Taco. That sounds right to me. Bet not. He's better than MJ, but he's not on Taco's level. I mean, we all know that he's not on Taco's level. Everyone knows that. Mr. Chat says, I'm gonna start streaming late again so you can make it. How far through Dom are you? So I'm one third of the way finished, 33%. We finished up the first 10 games versus the first two divisions, the first two pages. Then we beat the Hornets last game, so we're making some pretty good progress. I would definitely be finished by now if I started Domination yesterday, though, but yesterday, of course, we played Triple Threat offline, and your boy was the first in the world to get Doug West, who is surprisingly good, by the way. Gotta make that. Berto says, taking a little break, decided to eat and shower and rest my eyes. Berto, I respect that, man. I, I respect that. I mean, you got to. You got to take a break at some point. Got to take a shower at some point. Got to rest at some point and get some food. You guys keep in mind, haven't eaten this entire stream. Haven't used the bathroom. How do I do it? I don't know. That's a great question. I wish I could answer it. 
Adam says, I started yesterday and finished only two. Two pages of domination? That's still not too bad. I mean, keep in mind, Adam, it's really not a race. Nobody's trying to compete with you to get Jameson first. So go at your own pace, get the three stars at whatever pace you want to. And hey, all that matters is that you get that Galaxy Opal. I'll be proud of, I'll be proud of you when you do. What to grind after domination? Well, Gian, there is so much I can grind after domination. First of all, I gotta grind XP. I literally haven't even started grinding XP challenges. I've done some of the daily challenges, and that's about it. I've done like some of the other things like um, the domination XP challenges that you get for winning games. I'm, I can also do the spotlight challenges. There's just so much for me to do. I haven't thought very far ahead on what I'm gonna do yet, but after domination, we're gonna get some spotlights, I think. I'm gonna grind XP on my own. There's so much stuff to do and a lot of time left in the season. Dom said XP is really easy so far. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I haven't been grinding it though, but we're gonna start grinding it eventually. Mr. V says, can I get a... Nice. Of course you can. There you go. A three. Nice. Adam said I'm gonna grind limited. So I did limited last night after I went to the gym. And it was pretty tough. Well, not really. It only took me a few games. I went ahead and did some of those limited challenges too, like score 10 points with a center and score, I think, five threes with a shooting guard. I did some of those challenges. Get a double-double. Little things like that. I went ahead and did those. So the rest of those win the weekend challenges. I'll probably do those tonight as well. Jake says, I wish 2K content wasn't a grind. Yeah, it would be nice if not everything was a grind, but... Whenever there's a grind, y'all know I get hyped because I love streaming that stuff. What's up, Ryder? Welcome back to the stream. Minnesota says I'm not playing my team until they fix the XP glitch. I know what you mean, but at the same time, there's so much you can do that has nothing to do with XP. For example, you can play Domination, and of course there's some XP connected to Domination, but like, you can still play Domination without going for XP. You can also play Triple Threat offline. Triple Threat Online, I heard, might be the source of the XP glitch, but I guess you can try some online too. There's so much you can do. You can also do spotlight challenges, you can do the moments challenges, you can do signature challenges. There's so much stuff to do. Goonie says, come on guys, only one more like for 330. We are getting very close to 330 likes. That means we're also getting very close to 333 likes. Triple threes. 333. Three, three. That's also pretty cool. Let's see if we can get there. Thanks to Goonie for pointing that out. Gabriel says, is grinding heat check domination worth it? Free Galaxy Opal. A lot of MT. Hundreds of tokens. I'd say it's worth it, but hey. That's just me. If you don't want a free Opal, if you don't want all those tokens, if you don't want that MT, I guess you don't have to grind it along with a bunch of free cards that you can sell potentially for tens of thousands of MT. I'd say it's worth it, but that's just my opinion. Cameron says, I was 330th like. Goonie said, congratulations for 330. I appreciate you, Goonie, for pointing that out, and I appreciate you, Andrew. I appreciate you for dropping a like. I appreciate everyone who's dropped a like so far. Of course, the likes aren't the most important thing in the world, but they help the stream get out there. They help the stream in YouTube's algorithm. Dropping a like, it just it takes one second, pretty easy, and I'd appreciate it whenever y'all do it. Funky Lion says, how many games are you done with? I'm done with 12 games once this game's over with. Right now, we've done 11, so this is going to be number 12 after we finish it. Congratulations on getting your ring, though. And like I've said hundreds, hundreds of times, Getting the ring in the middle, there is no better feeling. No better feeling than a hundred. Not a hundred. What was I about to say? Getting the ring in the middle, there's no better feeling. Jurius says, make sure you get five assists with Fultz and play Big Baby 15 minutes in domination so then you won't have to do it again. Not a bad idea. I should probably do that sometime soon. But I don't have those cards. That's the one problem, Jurius. I don't have those cards, so... I might get those cards once this stream is over, and I'll do those challenges tomorrow. Because I'm using only five guys the entire game, I can definitely bring in Fultz for one game and Big Baby for one game, and we can get those challenges done. That's a very smart idea. 
for six from the floor. Mr. Shatz says, I've done half of what you've done, Doc. I got six teams finished. That's still pretty good. Speaking of teams that you finished, speaking of you, I'm sorry I gotta do this to your favorite team, Mr. Shat. I'm very sorry that I gotta do this to your favorite team. I know you love the Wizards, but they can't get anything versus this defense. Okay, maybe they can. That was great defense, though. That totally should have been blocked, but you get the picture. I'm sorry I gotta do this versus your favorite team, the Wiz. Board Mo says I'm about to have 70 stars. That's a pretty big dub right there. Chiefy Chief says, when do you think the glitch will be patched? Are you talking about the XP glitch? The one that's making you lose all your XP? I have no idea when it's going to be patched. All I can say is that I hope it's going to be patched as soon as possible, but 2K has not said a word about it. Ronnie said in his stream he's going to try to work on that, but y'all know how Ronnie is, so we'll see if 2K actually fixes the XP problems. Minnesota says, I spent 150k MT on badging up Wayne Embry. Yeah, I like Wayne Embry, but not that much. I never badged him up, even though he's a very good card with the badges. Especially if you can give him range extender. He's going to be a real beast. Mr. Shat says, it's all good. I'm used to being down by 30 plus. Well, hey man, they're down by 33 in the first half. And I doubt they're going to score much more this half as Westbrook bricks a three. We're about to put up 50 and a half. Maybe. I don't know. Unless they get a huge stop on defense. We're going to put up 50 and a half. Never mind. That was good defense. Actually, nice rebound. There we go. 50 and a half. Golden Guy says, imagine if you could lose stars. That would be so sad. That would be so sad. Apparently, people are losing their rings in limited. They're losing their stuff in unlimited. They're losing XP. Thankfully, we haven't been losing our stars in domination. And thankfully, we haven't been losing our triple threat offline wins. Joshua said 2K sucks. It can be like that sometimes, Joshua. I agree with you. Sometimes 2K can be kind of bogus, but for what it's worth, I enjoy playing it. I enjoy streaming it, talking to y'all while playing it. And I think y'all enjoy watching it. But I could be wrong. Mr. Shat said Beal and Westbrook aren't playing tonight. We're going to lose by 50 to Miami. I'm glad that Westbrook and Beal aren't playing because, I, like I said earlier, I got Tyler Hero on my fantasy team. I got Boy Wonder on my fantasy team. So I'm hoping that he has a big game. Thankfully, he doesn't have to guard Westbrook or Beal. Thankfully. But his work habits, his desire to excel and improve... Have Tommy said, just hit the like button for you. I'll be back later. Hey, I appreciate you, Tommy. You're the man for hitting that like button. And I'll see you again later, like you said. Adam said, Doc, I don't like the limitations in Limited. This week, neither do I. I really don't like them this week. I'm going to be real. The limitations this week are... I don't like them, man. I'm not a fan. I don't like that you can only use one Amethyst and one Ruby. I mean, of course I got my ring, and I can't complain about, about it because I got my ring, but like, it really sucks that you got to use such bad players, Sapphires and low-rated heat checks. It, it's really not fun. It's not fun at all. Combined with the fact that guys are still sweating with such bad cards, not the most fun week of Limited, but we got it done, and that's all that matters. E. Pisher said, I saw people reset the level. How is this possible? Because 2K is broken. So, that's why it's possible. Because 2K is a bad game sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time, but pretty often. Something's always not working. Kobe says, hopefully, Denny drops 50. I'm a Denny fan, but it's pretty hard to be a Wizards fan. Yeah, being a Wizards fan is not the easiest thing in the world, man. Their team has gone through a lot of change in the 2010s. In the early 2010s, they weren't very good. John Wall had a lot of talent and a lot of promise. They drafted Brad Beal in 2013, I think. He was a great draft pick for them, but he was injury prone, man. He was so injury prone up until like the 2016, 17s. And believe it or not, the Wizards, one year, I think it was 2016, they were one game away, one win away from making it to the conference finals. Actually, that was 2017. They were one win away from the conference finals, and in 2015, the Wizards had Paul Pierce, and they almost made it to the conference finals again. They lost to the Hawks in six. 
Paul Pierce had a huge game tying shot in game six, but it got waved off. So sadly, the Hawks won that series in six. Well, not sadly, because I'm a Hawks fan, but that was another year where the Wizards could have made it to the conference finals. And yeah, sadly, they haven't been as good since. They made the playoffs one time, I think it was 2018, but they lost in the first round in six to the Raptors. And they haven't made the playoffs since. They made it to the bubble last year, but the Wizards, they've just never been the same ever since that one year they made it to the conference finals. Pretty sure it was 2017. Actually, they never made it to the conference finals. I meant the one year they almost made it to the conference finals. They were a game seven away, and John Wall was terrible in the second half that game. Mr. Chat says, I'm going to start my Road to McHale series. I plan to record it later, edit tonight, and tomorrow morning and then release it tomorrow night. Hey, Mr. Shat, I'm tuned in, man. I think that series is a great idea because the unlimited grind, it's just a good idea. The unlimited grind is always fun to keep up with, so good luck with that series. I'm looking forward to seeing it live, and looking forward to seeing you post it. Jake Wright said, Sapphire Jordan Clarkson helped so much in limited. Dude, Sapphire Jordan Clarkson has a great jump shot. He's lights out. He's so hard to stop in limited. Sapphire Clarkson is just a beast. Versus some guys that I was playing against, they would play his own defense and they would always leave Clarkson open. Not a good idea, trust me. Minnesota says, how do you get Kevin McHale? You go 12 and 0 in the top tier of my team unlimited. Cameron says, I think limited will extend the game's enjoyment for me since you won't always have to run against teams of GOAT cards in the last few months. That is very true, Cameron. That's 100% true. Because other than my team Unlimited last year, there was no other 5v5 game mode where you could go and play versus teams that weren't just completely stacked. So in my team Limited at the end of the year, we're gonna still be playing with like Sapphire sometimes, Ruby sometimes, which is a pretty cool thing, man. It's not gonna be all GOAT, Galaxy Opals, or Dark Matter cards. So you make a great point. I 100% agree with that. Adam says I'm using Rudy Trey, or Ruby Trey. Not a bad player to use. I used Ruby Thon Maker yesterday as my Ruby. Kobe said when LeBron was in the Eastern Conference, he would always stop the Wizards and the Raptors. I felt bad for those two teams watching the playoffs. He would always stop the Pacers too. He eliminated the Pacers in 2012, 2013, 2014. I think they, they were actually, I think it was 2016 or 17, the Cavaliers in game three in Indiana. They were down by 26 at halftime, but they came back and won. So yeah, I think it was 2017. The Cavaliers destroyed the Pacers that year in the first round, easy sweep. And yeah. Paul George has never beaten LeBron in the first round. Dom said, this is my limited lineup. Amethyst D'Lo, one second. Amethyst D'Lo, Clarkson, Matt Barnes, Al Harrington, and Thon Maker. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Of course, I played versus D'Angelo Russell a couple times yesterday, and he's pretty hard to stop, man, if you don't have a good defensive PG. So using him is pretty good. I'd say that De'Aaron Fox and, of course, D'Angelo Russell, who you're using, probably two of the best players you can use in limited, for sure. Jake Wright says, I miss Kobe, man. Meet Sue. I can't believe it's almost been a year since he's passed. Adam says, this guy I'm playing has a whole Miami Heat court and jersey. That's pretty cool. Good for them. I mean, I have Knicks jersey sometimes, and the Knicks logo. And the next court is where I play my home game. So I respect that. Dom says, Shat, just believe, play your best, and you will get Mikhail. No cap, Dom said. I agree. I agree, just play your best. You've said it before, Shat, and I agree. You can hang with these guys. You can hang with these dudes online. You got some skills, I've seen you, and you know you're a beast too. You got this, Mr. Shat. I believe in you, 100%. And you know I'll be tuned into every video. No cap. Eric says, sorry, but y'all missed out. On what? Funky says, bro, do I stop grinding XP because of the glitch? Because it's resetting? Yeah, I mean, if I were you, I would just play other game modes. There's so much you can play that has nothing to do with XP. I mean, right now we're playing Domination, and of course XP is kind of tied in, but... Yeah, we're not really worrying about losing XP. 
We're just worrying about winning these games. What's up, Regard? Welcome back to the stream. Also, thank you guys. We just hit 340 likes on the stream. It doesn't get much better than that. So, thanks to everybody who's dropped a like. And once again, thanks to everybody who's a new subscriber. I appreciate everyone who's new to my channel and subscribed this stream. Mr. Shat says, facts, I'm going to go all out. I'm not sure how often I'm going to upload, but I'm thinking of recording four games, then condensing it into highlights and commentating over the top. Mr. Shat, I love your dulcet tones, as you would say. I love your commentary, so you know I wouldn't mind that one bit. Your commentary is freaking great, so whatever it is, whatever you do, I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Gabriel? Welcome to the stream. Eric says, I meant to say, if you didn't get Diamond Jaw, then you missed out. Very true, because Diamond Jaw is very good. And of course, if you didn't get Diamond Jaw, that probably means you also didn't get Baron Davis, which is a very sad thing, because Baron Davis is pretty good. No cap. He's very good. Great defense. Terrible shot. 2K Story said, I need a mental break from domination. Finna go get some Taco Bell. 2K Story, I know I just drank some water, but I'm not gonna lie. When I saw Taco Bell right there, my mouth started watering. I haven't had Taco Bell in so long. I always try to eat healthy stuff, man. So Taco Bell, I wouldn't say it's up there very high on the ladder of health, but Taco Bell is so good. My favorite thing is certainly the quesarito. I also love the crunch wraps, man. That's... The one dollar, the, the Chipotle chicken melt is amazing. The Cinnabon Delights, amazing. I know a lot of you guys probably love Baja Blast, Chicken Chalupas. They got so much good stuff, man. I saw Taco Bell and made my mouth water, man. Just because of you, I might have to go get some after my stream, but now once this stream's over, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and run because I try to work out twice a day and believe it or not, yesterday, I worked out twice. I worked out once in the morning, then I streamed, and then after my stream, I ran. And I'm gonna run after this stream, too, because y'all know I don't want to put on too much of a belly. I can't stream for 10 hours a day and stay skinny if I'm, you know, eating terribly and not going to the gym. So, we'll go to the gym after the stream's over, and I'll be back again tomorrow for more. Cam Scott said, I think the XP glitch is only on next gen, so if you want to grind XP, play on current gen. Are you sure about that, Cameron? Because there have been so many guys losing XP. I feel like it's got to be on current gen, too. You guys let me know in the chat, have you lost XP on current gen, or is it just a next gen thing? Y'all let me know. Terrell said, Jalupas are the best. Facts. Christian said, the Rams are up 23-13 in the fourth quarter. I picked the Seahawks to win, man. I'm surprised. And of course, y'all said Aaron Donald's not playing right now. That's crazy. That is crazy if the Rams come out on top. Darby says, is YouTube your full-time job? No, no, YouTube's not my job. I'm still in school. For anybody wondering, I'm 21 years old. I'm not like 30 or anything. I'm still in school, for anybody who's wondering. What's good? I'm Glitchy. Welcome to the stream. Miles Taylor said you should do a No Money Spent series. You're watching the No Money Spent series. I haven't spent a cent on 2K this year. I haven't spent a penny on my team. I just grind all the time, and even though I have an MT sponsor, I never use it. I never buy VC or anything. You're watching the No Money Spent series right now. Here's Curry. From deep. Golden Guy Games says I think it's only next gen. Interesting. Interesting. Philip says, I lost all my MT on current gen 2 though, so I really don't know. Mark said, so far, no XP lost on current gen. I mean, if you guys have not lost XP, I'm happy for you because the fact that people are even losing XP is so dumb. 2K's got to fix that, but if you haven't lost XP, I'm happy for you, whether it's on current gen or next gen. Because keep in mind, I'm also on next gen and I haven't lost any MT yet, or any XP, excuse me. Jordan said, how many games have you played? Jordan, this is officially 12 games down and 21 games to go. 12 games done in less than five hours or less than six hours, excuse me. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Another game, another win, more tokens too. 
We are now up to 619 tokens, getting pretty close to our second Galaxy Opal reward. Up next, let's play versus the defending Eastern Conference champions, the Miami Heat. Bam Adebayo, Duncan Robinson, Goran Dragic, this should be fun. Gooney says Miami 44, Washington 40, nice. Just Wonder says I'm back. I went to go eat. Welcome back, Just Wonder. Nice to have you back in the stream. Mr. Shat says, oh, shut it. There is one on Collins Street. Hey, man. Go try out Taco Bell, Mr. Shat. Go try one out. You are not gonna be... You're not gonna regret it. That's all I gotta say. I'm glad you have Taco Bell over there in Australia. Fat Boy said, pulled Boogie. That is a huge dub. Congratulations on pulling Boogie. That's a big time pull, my guy. Welcome back to the stream as well, Fat Boy. Gabriel says, how do you have so much time to grind 2K while you're still in school? I'm not in school right now, actually. So I'm still in school, but my break is still going on right now. So Gabriel, I won't start school again until the 19th. But also, I'm so close to being done with school, so... I don't have as many classes to take, which does give me more free time. Kobe says, who's your team's coach? Steve Kerr, I'm pretty sure. That rhymed. I'm 99% sure my coach is Steve Kerr, who's not a bad Ruby coach. He's pretty cheap on the auction house too compared to, you know, Dan Tony and those guys like Nick Nurse. Pretty cheap in comparison. Mr. Shatz says, I had no idea they had them in Australia. Like I said, I'm glad they do. I'm happy for you because you were talking about how there's no Taco Bell in Australia. Mr. Shatz, you're not going to be disappointed. Fat Boy says, I was trying to pull a card for the original owner's challenge and got him instead. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations on getting him. You can make some pretty good MT if you sell him, but if you keep him, he's a pretty good player to use online as well. Nathan says, I'm watching you grinding while I'm grinding spotlights. Hey, have fun grinding those spotlights, man. I think I'm going to do those probably Monday on stream. Because we're doing domination right now, of course. We did triple threat yesterday. We're going to do some more domination tomorrow. And yeah, might as well get those spotlights done once I'm done with all this stuff. Because that's easy MT and easy XP. What's up, Fendi Zens? Welcome to the stream. Fatboy said, how good is Bill Russell? In my opinion, the best defensive big man in the game. I mean, I haven't used him online, but I mean, the badges are great. The attributes are great. And he's clearly one of the best defenders in the game. He's so fast. He has really good speed. He can also speed boost with the ball. His biggest weakness is that he can't really shoot. He has a 73 pointer, which could go up if you give him a three point shoe, if you have a good coach, and if you have a point guard who has floor general. That three ball is going to be decent, but he also has no shooting badges. So even if you give him all those things, like a shoe, like a good coach, he's still not going to hit the three consistently. Nathan said, bro, Chris Webber's a glitch. Facts, he is. But that card picture is terrible. Adam says the delay online messes it up for me. Man, my Wi-Fi at my new house is so good. I'm so blessed to have good Wi-Fi because playing online with bad Wi-Fi really does kind of suck. And it completely takes away from the experience. Just Wonder says, hopefully they add the new City Edition uniforms for the next domination. I think they will. I think they will. But also, they gave us a Bulls jersey that was a City uniform. So, I feel like they might not give us City uniforms, but maybe they'll give us the Earned Edition uniforms in a shorter domination or something. I don't know, but we'll have to see. Either way, there are so many jerseys that still aren't in the game. And those jerseys, they're going to count as cards towards our collection. So those are pretty important, getting those jerseys in my team. Darby says, I love Jimmy Butler's card art. It is pretty nice, but I think I would have preferred a Galaxy Opal Miami Heat Jimmy Butler. But the Bulls art is still not too bad. Funny says, what kind of CPU and GPU do you have? That's a great question, man. I'm pretty sure I have an 8 core core processing unit. I'm pretty sure. GPU, I'm not 100% sure. GPU, I could be wrong, but eh, I don't want to answer the question because I really don't know. But I know my CPU has either 8 cores or I'm pretty sure it's 8. 
Goonie says Hawks 45, Hornets 44. Thanks for the score update, Goonie. E. Fisher says, do you think they'll fix the XP problem tomorrow? I thought they would fix it yesterday. I thought they would fix it today. I have no idea when they're going to fix it, so hopefully they fix it soon, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't fix it. Mr. Shat says, Dom, I'll be laying in bed, bro. Fresh Day said, are you close to Jameson? Nah, not even close. 12 games down, and we have 21 games to go, so really, we aren't even close, but hey, we are almost halfway there. And by the end of this stream, we're going to be halfway there. This is game number 13, and it hasn't even been six hours, so we're going at a pretty good pace. Papa Money said, where do you go to college? I go to UAB in Alabama. Best school in the state, by the way. Bertonki says, we need new XP challenges. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. The daily challenges and stuff is not enough. We need some more. I'm pulling up from half court. Ah, that should have gone in. That was such a good release. But yeah, we do need new XP challenges. Darby says, for some reason, I love the screaming card arts when they're all hype. I like that too, Darby. I like it too. You're not the only one. Adam says, tied up the game. That's a dub. Keep on grinding, Adam. It seems like in every game you're down, but you come back. So I give you big props for coming back in every game, for not giving up, for not quitting. Thankfully, we haven't had to come back in a single game. We've been going crazy. There's nothing the CPU can do. They just can't stop the dock. Oh! They just can't stop the dock is all I got to say. Ah, Mr. Shat says, but I do need to head out and get to the gym, so I'll catch y'all later. Have a good stream, Doc, and if you're still streaming, I'll be here. Mr. Shat, I'll see you later, because I'll definitely still be live. Have a good time at the gym, and get a good workout in. Adam says I'm playing limited. Hey, I didn't know you were playing limited. I thought you were still on domination, but I'm still glad you came back. Nice pass. Bad shot. E. Pisher says, I think they're going to drop TTO or unlimited challenges tomorrow. They usually do that on Mondays. And today is Saturday for me. They usually do that on Mondays. They're going to do triple threat challenges eventually because they always do the 100 games of triple threat thing where if you win 100 games, you get the, the diamond player. If you win 50 games, you get the, the amethyst player. And if you win like 25 games, you get the ruby player. They might do that this year to where, or this season to where, if you win 100 games, you get a pink diamond, but eh, probably not. We'll see. We'll have to see about that. Adam says, I'm a grind challenges. That's a dub. Let me know how those challenges go, man. I'm glad that you're out here grinding. Domination and challenges. Goonie says that half-court shot killed me. It was a very nice shot. It was a very nice shot. So I'm not surprised that it killed you, because it was really nice that was a shot to the heart if you're a heat fan that shot took all the breath out of the arena man we made it look easy in that first quarter we were up 25 to 5 let's see if we can win this quarter by even more carter says i'd like it more if i could gotta jump back into domination hey let me know how those domination games go you guys feel free to let me know your progress too if you get Jameson today, that is a huge dub because y'all know your boy hasn't gotten him yet. But to be fair, we just started about five and a half hours ago. Miles Taylor says, I can't get Byron back. No. For real though, he is super rare. So yesterday, I got Byron Beck after 41 wins, but then I got him after 42. So literally, I got him back to back. Then I got him eight more games later. But then I didn't even see him for the rest of the stream, so even though I got Byron back three times, I went a hundred more games after that without even seeing him, so he is super rare. It's super hard to get him. Y'all keep on grinding, though. Carter said, oh, I already read that. Ugh, how many times have I done that this stream? I see a chat that I think I haven't read yet, and I read it. Adam says I won. Let's go, Adam! That is a big time dub, my guy. Congratulations on the win. Terrell says, is Terry Cummings worth the sweat in triple... Is he worth the sweat? I mean, whenever I play a triple threat online, 
I usually don't go for the the player. I usually just do it for MT and tokens because, in my opinion, playing triple threat online for hours is the best way to get tokens and MT. But if you're playing triple threat online just for Terry Cummings, I've heard that he is not worth it at all. If you're playing it just for Terry Cummings, not worth it one bit. Bad stats, bad attributes, and no hot zones, not very cool, if you ask me. Having no hot zones is a noob move. RJL says, I played 150 plus games for Embry, and I never got him, so I deserve it. Oh, there's no question about it, you definitely deserve it, because 2K's odds in opening the vault and getting the big reward are so terrible. The odds are so bad. Viz says back from yesterday. Welcome back from yesterday, Viz. Nice to have you back in the stream. Yesterday when you were in here, I was playing triple threat. Today is the domination grind. That's what we're all about. We're all about the domination grind today. Oh my gosh, what a snatch block. But yeah, we're making some good progress for winning these games. And we're not going at the fastest pace in the world, but we're still going at a pretty good pace. Gooney says the Rams scored 30-13. That is tough. I'm not a Seahawks fan, but I picked the Seahawks to win. And it looks like I'm about to be wrong. That is crazy. The Bills game was close earlier, closer than I expected, but I was correct about that game. I was correct about the Bills winning, but man, I thought the Seahawks would win in a low-scoring game, but it looks like, I don't know, it looks like the Seahawks are going to pull it out. Endgame says always go left for the ring. I don't know about that endgame because lately guys have been telling me to go right because the ring's always on the right. So I might have to change my ways endgame. What's good Jacob Frederick? Jacob, welcome back to the stream my boy. Nice to have you back in the building. Also, welcome back Mark S. Mark S, Jacob, everybody in the stream. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you all are enjoying the stream. Make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already and subscribe if you're enjoying what you see. Mark says, how hard is it to hit season level? Um, I'd say in season three it was super easy. I feel like in seasons, like it varies. In season one, getting Curry was pretty hard. In season two, getting Griffin was actually a lot easier. And then in season three, getting Wade was insanely easy. So I think that this season is not gonna be too hard. I got D Wade with three weeks left in the season pretty much. I got Griffin with two weeks left. I got Curry with only a couple days left though. So grinding XP is not easy, man, but it's definitely gotten easier as time has gone on. MK Doki said, what's up doc? I just woke up, hey. Welcome back, MK Doki. Nice to have you back in the stream. Mike the Scrub says, are you kidding me? My 2K crashed, and I got the ring. Really? Wait, no, Endgame said that. I combined the chats right there. I read two chats at one time. Mike says, are you kidding me? 2K crashed, and I was in a game. Yeah, that's been a problem all year, man. It's also been a problem if you're on Xbox Series X. When you play online games, the Xbox weirdly powers off out of nowhere. Which is pretty bad, but I feel terrible for you that your 2K crashed. I'm sorry about that, my brother. That sucks. Goonie says, I got my ring yesterday on the left because Doc said, pick left. See, usually going left is a pretty good strategy. I think going left is the way to go. It always works for me, but everyone is saying, go right, go right. Everyone is saying, I'm missing the ring on the right, so... I might have to start going right and seeing if that works for me. Yesterday, I got lucky. I saw the ring, it was in the middle, and I got it easily from the middle, but maybe next time I won't get so lucky, so next time, maybe I gotta go right. Beva said, did the Bills win? Yes, the Bills won. Versus the Colts. Versus Phillip Rivers. I wonder if he's gonna come back next season. Darby says, how much should I sell Heat Check Simmons for? There's none up. If you wanted to, you could totally put him up for 100k. I say that like 75 or 80 is a good price because I'm hearing a lot of cards like Giannis, they're going for like 80k. Curry's going for like 200 though, which is crazy. I don't know. If I were you, I would wait for one card to go up and then put a lower price up. But if there's no cards up, that is so tough to pick. 
Polya says, Domination is an ATM for MT right now. Hey, you are not lying. Domination, you can get so much MT, so many tokens, and of course you get a free Galaxy Opal if you finish it. Adam said, Doc, I'm doing Dom again. Got you, Adam. Good luck winning your games. Burke says, I'm from Germany, and I go to sleep in a few minutes. Hey, man. I appreciate you dropping by. Have a good sleep when you do go to sleep in Germany. How do you say good night in German? I know Guten Morgen's good, good, good morning. I know Guten Tag is a good day. Is it Guten Nachten, good night? It might be. I'm pretty sure it is. But hey, I know Alphawita Sand is goodbye. So take it easy. What's up, Mango Ninja? Welcome back to the stream. Baba said, do you think the Buccaneers will win? I'm pretty sure they will. I think Washington, their defense could give the Buccaneers a bit of a hard time. But the Buccaneers, they're too loaded to possibly lose. I don't think the Buccaneers lose. The, Se the Seahawks, they surprised me, but I'm not expecting the Buccaneers to surprise me like the Seahawks did by losing. Mango said the Hornets are getting better, thankfully. Yeah, the Hornets have been fun to watch, man. A lot of the Eastern Conference teams, they've been up and down, but the Hornets, they're looking like they're on the upswing, man. That was a good win last night versus the Pels, right? And LaMelo played pretty well, outplayed Lonzo, which was very fun to watch. What's up, Adam? Berto says I'm almost back to 100k. Domination was for sure a dub. Hey, I'm glad Domination was such a big dub for you. Gabriel says, I'm watching the stream while grinding for Kevin McHale. Yes, sir, my boy. Yes, sir. Keep on grinding for McHale. Keep on making progress. I'm proud of you. Isaiah says, I got 30 stars in Domination. Is that good? I mean, the season just started yesterday, and Domination just came out yesterday. So it's not too bad. It's nothing amazing. I mean, some guys have already finished. I haven't. But 30 stars, I'd say it's pretty good. It's a good start. You're about one third of the way done, which is pretty good, I'd say. Doc Adams says, I need players about to do limited. D'Angelo Russell and De'Aaron Fox. It's important to have good ball handlers. I'd say that Tyler Hero is also pretty good. Um, yeah, I think those are the top three Amethyst guards that I would recommend. Of course, you could also use Clay Thompson. You could go crazy and use an Amethyst big man like Serge Ibaka or Boris Diaw. But if I were you, I'd use like Ruby Thon Maker and someone like Amethyst, yeah, Amethyst Trey Young, for example, Amethyst De'Aaron Fox, for example, guys like that. But you guys feel free to also let me know your recommendations in the chat. Darby said Thomas Bryant got injured. Oh gosh. Hopefully it wasn't too serious because there have been so many players in the NBA getting hurt. So many guys have torn ACLs and everything, like Markel Fultz. I think Dinwiddie did the same thing. Carl Towns is hurt. Curry got hurt, but thankfully he was okay yesterday. So many players have been getting injured in the NBA, man. It has really sucked to watch so many guys go down with injuries. Gabriel said, who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? I'm not a Chiefs fan, bro, but it is hard for me to bet against the Chiefs. I can definitely see the Chiefs taking it home for the second straight year. Kobe said, who are good cards to use in domination for 30k? Hmm. There are some very good diamond cards out there who are cheaper than 30k. If you need a small forward, Glenn Robinson, Carmelo, Rudy Gay, Brandon Ingram. If you need a power forward, of course there's Karolinko. He's not 30k though, he's like, like 60k or 70k, but he's still pretty good. I'd say the deer and fox is very good, way less than 30k. Tyler Hero, Clay Thompson. So many good players out there, it's so hard for me to name just one or two. For centers, David Robinson, you got Sabonis too, Chris Bosh, and yeah, the list goes on and on, for sure. Adam says, Doc, play the Hawks next, they're very bad. All these teams are bad, to be fair. I thought the Heat were going to give me a challenge. I thought the Wizards would give me a challenge too, but I've been wrong in every game and our smallest wins by like 50. What's good, Hoop Like Q? Welcome to the stream. Masai Ujiri says Tony Parker isn't that good. If you're talking about Diamond Tony Parker, I kind of agree. I'm not a big fan of him. I usually love Tony Parker cards, but yeah. Diamond Tony Parker, not a big fan. 
Carter says the possessed card art was unreal. I agree, dude. The possessed card art was really, really nice. For every single card, man. Even for guys like Jared Jeffries, it was nice. T Mac, Jared Jeffries, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy Butler. The list goes on and on. Dino Raja. Those are some good cards and some good card art. Beba says Pete Maravich is only about 18,000 MC. That's not too bad. And Pete Maravich, he can shoot, but he's a bit of a defensive liability. So if I were you, even though Pete Maravich is really good, even though he can shoot pretty well, there are so many cards you can pick up who can do the exact same thing. My favorite diamond shooting guard in the game is this man right here, Eddie Jones. I know that was a terrible shot I took with him, but he's much better than Pete defensively. And of course he can't curry slide and go back and forth and move as fast as Pete, but he does it, he just plays so well. And he does everything I need him to do at the shooting guard position, especially since I have Curry at the point guard. What's up, Jay Greens? Welcome to the stream. Jay Greens, Hoop Like Q, everybody in here. Hope you're doing all right, and I'm glad you can make it to another stream. Steph's winning MVP. Malik, I would love that, but I don't know if he will because the Warriors, for Steph to win MVP, they have to finish with a good record, and I don't know if they're going to finish with a good record. I think they're five and four right now, and I feel like a better team would have to win MVP. Like for example, if the 76ers finish number one in the East and Joel Embiid's averaging like 26 and 15, I think he might win MVP. I wouldn't be surprised. If the Mavericks finish top three, if Porzingis comes back and the Mavericks start winning games, maybe Luka wins MVP. It's so hard to predict. Maybe LeBron or AD wins it, maybe Durant or Kyrie. It's so tough to predict. I have no idea who's going to win MVP. Cookie says, damn, you got 346 likes. That is pretty good. I'm glad you guys have been dropping likes. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the stream so far because it's been a really fun one so far. What's up, PTP? Welcome back to the stream. Goonie says the Seahawks scored 30-20 Rams. The Rams are looking like they're about to take it home unless they have some absolute collapse. That's crazy. I did not predict that. Cameron says, I have Dame for MVP. That is also a possibility. But like I said earlier, you got to make sure your team continues to win games. The Trailblazers, their record isn't terrible, but they're going to have to win more games if Dame's going to win MVP. Kobe said, like the stream so Doc can get 330 likes. We already have 330, but we're about to hit 350, which is pretty good, if you ask me. Cookie said, are you on Xbox? Yes. Yes, I'm on Xbox. Malik said, it's sad because Steph is putting up huge numbers. No, I agree, Malik. Like, I would love to see Steph win MVP, but dude, he's surrounded by some guys who, to say the least, they just aren't very great NBA players, man. Oubre had a great season last year, but, I mean, he's just not playing very well. His three-point shot's not falling for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins hasn't been terrible, but he's definitely got to be better if they're going to win some games. James Wiseman's been good. Draymond's been okay, even though he hasn't been scoring much. They need some more contributions from guys like Kevon Looney and Bazemore. Warriors, they lack depth. And if they're going to win a championship again, they need some depth. And Clay Thompson. Lil B Pack said, Are you playing on Hall of Fame? Yes, every single game so far has been on Hall of Fame. Why would I waste my time playing on Pro or All Star? That would be the stupidest possible thing I could do. Adam says, I forgot D Lo was even in the league. Yeah, you probably forgot because he's on the Timberwolves. D Lo is so talented, but it's just that he's surrounded by such bad players, and Carl Towns is out for a little while with an injury. What's good, chaps? Welcome to the stream. Dom said, read last. What do you say, Dom? You're going to have to send it again. Or I can scroll up. Dom says, I got to go now. Okay, got you. That's why you said read last. Hey, man. Go spend time with your family. I'm glad you've been here for five hours. Much love and peace to you, too. I'm sorry I didn't read your message, Dom. I appreciate you resending it. Man, the chat's been going crazy, so I'm sorry I missed it. But take it easy, my brother, and I'll see you around. Crazy Vids says I'm on the Bucks for Domation. Nice. I'm on the Heat for Domation. Actually, I have 51 seconds left versus the Heat in Domation. Or Domination, as some may call it. 
Berto says, I'm about to play versus Team LeBron. Let's see how this goes. Good luck, Berto. Even though you probably don't need it, go get that win and win that game of Dalmatian. Dom said, all good, brother. Take it easy. You too, Dom. I will see you around. Maybe next stream? Just kidding. Definitely next stream. What's good, the boy David? Welcome to the stream. Shant says, I've been grinding so much. Same here. Same here. I've been grinding triple threat yesterday, nine hour stream, and today's stream is gonna be around the same length. We've been going for five hours now, almost six. Almost six. This is our 14th game that we're about to complete in less than six hours, which is a crazy pace. Because my goal was to finish up 14 games in, I think, seven hours, but it hasn't even been six, and there we go. Another 50 point win, and yeah, 14 games done in less than seven hours. Less than six hours, excuse me. Less than six hours. That's pretty crazy. Adam says, feels like you played that game for one hour. Well, we've been speeding through these games in all reality. Oh wait, actually, we've only played 13 games. So excuse my math, we've only played 13. Well, hey, for anybody who's wondering, 13 games out of 33 done. So we still only have 20 games left. Well, hey, 13 games down, 20 to go. I miscounted. I did the math wrong on my head. Adam said, how many stars? 39 stars out of 99. So we are two wins away from 45 stars. Hall of Fame versus the Magic. Let's get right to it. What's up, Lyrical Ice? Took a nap, I am back. Hey, nice to have you back, Lyrical Ice. Glad to have you back in the building. Goonie says, congrats on 350 likes. I thank you for that, Goonie. Also, we have gained almost 100 subscribers this stream, which is pretty crazy. We gained 200 yesterday, so I'm not surprised that we've been gaining a lot lately. But yeah, welcome back, Lyrical Ice. Nice to have you back. Shout out to you because you are our newest channel member. Amit says, I'm going to go do my own stream for Jameson. Hey, have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Go do your own stream and enjoy it. The grind never stops. Dylan says, I am finding sweats in Unlimited. Oh, that sucks. Dude had Blake, D-Wade, Baron, PG, and Zion, and I made him rage quit when it was 10-0. Dylan, that's a big dub. Congratulations. But I got to say, man, I don't know why people quit when they're only down by like 10. If you're down like 20, sure. If you're down 15 and you're just clearly not going to come back, sure. But I've come back down by 10 or 11 all the time. You can definitely do that. But hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. You're running into sweats, but you are getting dubs. And I'm freaking proud of you for getting all those dubs, my guy. Congratulations. Goonie said, Doc Nation, stand up. Wasib said, yo. What's up, Doc? What's good, Wasib? Welcome back to the stream. Nice to have you in the building, my guy. Goonie says, tomorrow we're going to hit 6.4. No way. Nah, it's not going to happen. I mean, yesterday we got lucky hitting 6,000. I didn't think we were going to. But keep in mind, guys, of course, gaining subs is cool, but it's not my biggest priority. My biggest priority is just giving y'all this content and giving y'all something to watch, giving y'all someone to talk to, listen to, and just be entertained by. That's my biggest priority. But gaining subs is pretty great, and I appreciate everyone who subscribed. That's how you grow on YouTube, by gaining subs. Dylan says I had his whole team ice cold. Yeah, Dylan. That Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, or even Gold Heart Crusher, is an OP badge if any of your guys have it. That's probably how that man's entire team was cold. Adam said, honestly, limited is fun. It's not boring or anything, but it gets so sweaty, and that's what makes it unfun for a lot of people. Wasib says, I'm going to play one game of Domination a day and get it done in 33 days. That's not a bad idea, Wasib, but... Why play one game a day when you can get it all done at one time? Or you could play two games a day. That's another solution to playing one game a day. Plus, the games are super easy, man. I think our closest game was like a 48-point win. You guys can go fact-check me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was like no lower than 40. Damari says, who do you think is better? Antoine Jameson or Karolinko? 
I think Jamison's going to be better as a player, but Karolinko is so good because he's so good defensively, not to mention he's great on offense too. His shot is so quick. He is missing a badge or two, but he's still so good despite the missing badges that he may have. Wasib says might play too. There we go. Two games a day. That's a lot better right there. Crazy Vid says I've been subbed since 3K. Hey, so you've been subbed for a while now. I think I hit 3,000 over summer. So it's been awesome seeing the channel grow since then. Has some good water. Lil B Pack said my lineup is AI, Fultz, Beck, Nance, and Embry. How's the starting lineup? That's not too bad, but kind of small at the one and the two. If I were you, I'd get a better shooting guard in there, but Fultz is really good, so he's very good to have in there. AI is also good, but if I were you, I would choose between AI and Fultz. Lil Pooh said, listen to Eye of the Tiger. While playing Unlimited, you will win every game. Is that what you do, Lil Poo? Is that how you win every game? Because I'm going to be honest. That's a pretty cool strat. I would do that in this stream, but first of all, we're already winning by 50 every game. Second of all, I don't want this stream getting copyrighted. Getting copyrighted equals not cool. So we're not going to do that, but that does sound like a pretty good strat. Fire Guy said, yo, what's up, Doc? What's good, Fire Guy? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. RBM says 80 stars. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Golden Guy says I haven't lost yet in Dom. I haven't lost yet in all of Season 4. Yesterday we went 150-0 in Triple Threat Offline. We went 3-0 in Triple Threat Online, and of course we haven't lost in Domination, but that is nothing to brag about because these games are way too easy. Way too easy. Molly Mall says, you still going on, Doc? How many stars you got now? We got 13 stars right now. No, 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 39 stars. But we finished up 13 games. So, yeah, that's the reason why I messed up my math. 39 stars. Nothing special, but... We're making progress. Javen Malone says, just beat the Bucks, and it kicks me out, and it didn't count. What the heck, 2K? So you're telling me even Domination's having problems. XP grinding, Domination, Limited, and Unlimited. Why are all these game modes having problems, 2K? That freaking sucks. I'm sorry about that, Javen. That is freaking garbage. Carter said, Miami up three. Adam says, I also have 39 stars. But yeah, 39 stars isn't too bad. We still have a lot of work left to do, though. So let's get that work done. D2K says, how's Bill Russell? I'm thinking about locking him in. Bill Russell's pretty good, I'd say. I'd say he's pretty good. I haven't used Rick Barry. I haven't seen gameplay. He's going to be the next guy I get. But Bill Russell, defensively, is the real deal. Probably the best defensive center in the game, in my opinion. And... I know he's a bit undersized for the center. He's like six foot ten, but like, it's not even that bad. Wayne Embry's six foot eight, and you guys love him, so yeah, y'all are gonna be fine. Goonie said, "50 Hawks, 59 Hornets." Really? So the Hornets are looking pretty good versus the Hawks. The Hawks might not be as good as we thought they were after like six or seven games, but the Hawks are still very good. I'm surprised the Hornets are winning. MK says I just got to level 21. Nice. D2K says I got 46 stars. Also nice. McCoy Boy says I'm back from my tour. Also nice. Welcome back though, McCoy Boy. Lil B says I could move Harden to the shooting guard and Fultz to the point guard. Not a bad idea. Cam Scott says in a limited game, guy quit at 9-8. Basically a tie game. That's what I'm saying. I don't get why guys quit when the score is like... 9 to 8. If you're down by double digits, I also don't understand why you quit because there's so much time left in the game. So much time left to come back. So much time left for momentum to start going away. That was a terrible play by me. And now we're only up by 10. We're going to be fine though. 
Lil Pooh said Pink Diamond Bobby Jones is good on defense. I heard that Pink Diamond Bobby Jones is great on defense. So I might try him out later this stream because we have him, but I still haven't used him. Derek 2K says, yo, remember when I told you I was level 18? Now I'm level 22. Good for you. Eric said, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I got Diamond KD from the Domination Nets player pack. Nice, nice. I haven't opened any of those packs yet, so when I do, hopefully I have your same luck. Fingers crossed. YBZ said, what's up, man? What's good, YBZ? Welcome to the stream. Earlier, someone asked if you were in here, and I was like, hey, he may not be in here right now, but I know he's going to be in here later. And what do you know? There you are. Welcome back to another stream, my boy, YBZ. Nice to have you back in the building. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're having a good day. If you're a little bit late, but better late than never. Lyrical Ice said, just got Jimmy for 200k. That's a dub. Splash Inc. says, I effing lost to your message got deleted. Okay. Damn. I was getting ready to read that too, but it got deleted. That's tough. Feel free to send it again. YBZ said, wait, who asked? I was asleep. I can't remember who asked, but it was pretty close to the beginning. So I was like, hey, they're going to be here eventually. I said, YBZ is going to be in the building. Trust me. I don't know if they believe me, but, ha, huh, they should see you now. Yikes says, I got a 27 game streak going. Nice. Terrell says, Diamond KD and Kyrie are nice. Are you talking about the current KD and Kyrie? Are you talking about the ones that you get from the current packs? Or are you talking about Flash KD? Because Flash KD, now that's a pretty good Diamond player too. Not as good as it used to be though. I'd say Rudy Gay is better. I'd say that Carmelo's better. A lot of small forwards out there are better than Diamond KD, Flash. Fire Guy said Dom is really easy. It just takes so long. Exactly, exactly. Like, Dom is easy. Like, our smallest wins by, like, 50. But, I mean, it's just time-consuming. The games are long. Five-minute quarters is super long. Even in the limited, the quarters are only four minutes now, which is a great thing. But in Domination, five-minute quarters, it gets a little bit tiring, man. A little bit's an understatement, actually. Chant says, what Amethyst should I get from the token market? I'd say my favorite one is probably World Be Free. Another good one is Sam Perkins, if I remember correctly. Sean Elliott's not too bad. Kelly Trupica can shoot, too. There are some new ones in there, but I can't remember who they are. Isn't Kenny Anderson a pretty good one? I think he is. There's another good one, too. I think it's Hershey Hawkins is solid on next gen. On current gen, he kind of sucks. But on next gen, Hershey Hawkins is pretty good. Carlton says, how long does it take you to get Antoine Jameson? About 16 hours, I'd say. Earlier, I was thinking 17, but I think it can take you 15 or 16. Aiden says, yo, I'm back. How far are you? Aiden, we are on game number 14 out of 33. So... 13 games done, and 14 once this game's over. We're about to have less than 20 games left if we get this win and three stars. Adam says, I got all the draft players. Should I upgrade them for Pink Diamond Cam Reddish? You might as well, because the more you upgrade them, the more you can sell them back for later. And of course, if you do decide to lock in for Cam Reddish, he's a pretty good card, pretty good player. Gaston says, are you gonna open your domination packs on stream? Maybe, maybe not. I really haven't thought that far ahead. My goal right now is just to win. Win. That's the big goal. Just win these games as fast as I can. Get this grind done. Give you guys as much gameplay content as possible. Because giving y'all gameplay is pretty important. Berto says Team LeBron is sweating. I'm not surprised. I mean, I wish Team LeBron does sweat because they're a pretty good team. They should be a challenge. I wish these teams would sweat, because they are no challenge. Shouldn't have shot that, shouldn't have shot that. But we're still up by 22, so who cares. TKA says, how many games have you done? We've finished 13 games in just over 5 hours. Not too bad. 13 games in less than 6 hours, and we're at halftime of our 14th game. That's a pretty good pace. 
Not a super fast pace, but still a pretty good pace. Adam said too easy, facts. YBZ says Team LeBron will probably actually be competition. You know what, YBZ? I'm looking forward to finding out if they're actually competition. You know what else I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to 369. Likes on the stream. We're only eight likes away, so let's see if we can get to the big 369. Because why not? If you guys have not dropped a like on the stream yet, I would love it if you hit that like button for me. And he has been a grind of a stream. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And dropping a like is a good way to show me you've enjoyed it. Darby says, Baron Davis catches every oop. Yeah, man. Baron Davis is a super athlete. Super athletic. Keep on throwing him out of the oops. You will not be disappointed. What's up, Lil Ray's Gaming? Welcome back to the stream. Everybody who's coming back. This is game number 14. Just saying. Adam says, I love the Baron Davis. Me too. Not as much as Steph Curry, but I do like him a lot. Adam says, Andy was free. Exactly. He was 100% free. 110% free. You didn't have to pay anything for him. Just go pick him up, go get him, and you will be all right. You'll be set. A completely free Galaxy Opal. All it takes is time to grind. What's up, Ziv? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. Nice to have you back in the building for game number 14. Half number two of game number 14. Adam says, love the mustache. I was thinking about shaving it soon, but I'm glad you love it. I appreciate that. I'm glad that at least someone likes it. Aiden says, people who dislike Doc are clowns. I mean, to be fair... You're, you're entitled to dislike and like whoever you want. Maybe they, don't, maybe they don't like me. Maybe they don't like my voice. Maybe they don't like my gameplay. I don't know why they don't like me, but hey. I can't really get upset because for every single person who doesn't like me, we have a bunch of people who do. So I appreciate everyone who supports the channel at the end of the day. M. Sib says, who do you think is the best Pink Diamond reward in the token market? My favorite is probably Maurice Lucas. He's so good defensively and can actually shoot a little bit too. He's pretty good in the paint. He's my favorite one that I've used, but I've heard that Bobby Jones might be the new best one. Bobby Jones is good. David Thompson's good. Jojo White's pretty good. Other than that, they're all kind of meh. Nathan says, every time you hit a three, yell three to the dome. Nah, I'm not really big on yelling. D said, Westbrook looks beastly. Yeah, he does. He'll be a nice replacement for Baron. I agree. I like Baron, but he's probably going to be replaced by Westbrook. Aiden said the new Bobby Jones is very good. Yeah, that's what the word on the street is. That's what I've been hearing. Very good Bobby Jones, especially defensively. Edgar says, hey, what's up, Doc? How's your day going? What level are you on? I think we're on level 13. Actually, I think we're on level 14. I could be wrong. I seriously have no idea. All I know is that we're on 14 domination wins if we close out this game. So let's be clutch and let's not choke because this is a pretty important game. Not your average Joe says, I thought the quality was bad, but it was on 144p. What the heck? What's your stream doing on 144p? You should be able to turn the quality up to 1080. Should be able to. Let me know if you can't, but you should be able to. 144p, that is abysmal. This isn't 1922. This is 2021, baby. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Endgame says the Heat not looking good as usual. What's the Heat score? Weren't they just in the lead? To be fair, the Wizards are playing without Wall or without Beal and Westbrook, but... Man, have the Heat really been looking that bad this game? I thought they were just in the lead. Ah, uh, here we go. My boy YBZ is back, telling people to join the discard. Yeah, for, if anybody has discard, there's the link right there. My boy YBZ is pretty prominent in running and advertising the discord, so... Yeah, if you guys are interested in joining the discord, there's the link right there. I need to start putting that link in the chat. I need a bot to send that in the chat. I need my cloud bot to start sending that. And one. 
Mario said, so sad that Tatum got COVID. Hey, man, that freaking sucks that he got the virus. Because, first of all, if you have Tatum in fantasy, he scores a lot of points. Second of all, if you're a Celtics fan, he's one of your best players. Third of all, and I mean, that's really about it. But it still sucks that he got, he, that he got COVID. Even if you're not a fan of the Celtics, he is still a beast. And he's so fun to watch. Adam said, pin YBZ's comment. He sends it so often, I don't think I have to spend it. He's like a own, he's like my own chat bot too. He sends it so often, I don't know if I need to pin that in the chat. Not your average Joe says Curry got the virus. Yes, yeah, Seth Curry got the virus. Thankfully, Steph is safe. What's good, Ben Yusko? Welcome back to the stream. Codeen said, how many more are you doing? I really don't know. Probably five or six more. I really don't know, but... We're on a pretty good pace, we're winning a lot, and we're almost halfway done. If we win this, that is 14 games down, and I wouldn't mind finishing with 16 out of 33, or 17, but we'll probably go all the way to 18, just for fun, and we'll do the final 15 tomorrow. Lil Codine says, depression caused no Tatum. Yeah man, no Tatum, that sucks for the Celtics, but... They still have a lot of talent. They still got Jalen Brown. I'm sure he'll step up. They'll be all right. Crazy said the 76ers only have seven players. Really? Well, they better call some guys up from the G League. No wonder Tyrese Maxey dropped, what, 40 points today? 39? No wonder he did. Extra Spaceship said still alive. Of course. Of course we're still alive. Shouldn't be surprised. We went for almost 10 hours yesterday. And we've gone for almost seven today so far, and that is considering that we still have, like, so many games left to play. For anybody who's joining and doesn't know what I'm doing, we're going to win half a domination today and the other half tomorrow. And then tomorrow we're going to do some live gameplay with Antoine Jameson too, to extend that stream's length a little bit. Brian Good said, how do you get Chris Mullen? You get Chris Mullen, he was a reward back in season two or three i think it was season two if you won 20 games of unlimited chris mullen was your reward adam said what's your division we are in the the southeast division right now we've already played versus the heat we've already played versus the hornets the magic right now and i think once this game's over our final game to win is the hawks and the hawks are my second favorite team so that's going to be a tough game for me because I don't like when the Hawks lose, and we're going to destroy them. Ben said, ben said the stream yesterday was hella long, but really fun to watch. I'm glad you enjoyed watching it, man. It was a really, really fun stream. I'm glad it was fun for y'all, but it was also really fun for me, man. It was just really cool seeing you guys get hyped. It was cool racing to be the first person in the world to get Doug West. And we got him, which is a great thing. We got Doug West yesterday. And today, we're going for Antoine Jameson, going for all these free cards who are looking pretty good, statistically. Adam said my last game is the Hornets. The Hornets were pretty easy, so don't worry about the Hornets one bit. Max4 says, I just hit 100 triple threat wins. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. 100 wins? That's a pretty big feat right there, man. Of course, if you want to get the Doug West, you got about 600 to go, but that's not too bad at all. Jacob Payne says, do you have to get Mike in? No, you don't. In fact, you don't have to do a single game of regular domination, historic, or all-time domination to get your boy Antoine Jameson, which is a great thing. That means literally anybody can get him, no matter how much you've played 2K up to this point, which is a great thing. A really great thing. So yeah, Jacob, there's the answer to your question. 2K Instinct says, what level are you? I think 14, maybe, possibly 15. I haven't kept track. I haven't grinded XP yet. Lyrical Ice says, I got Doug. Good for you. Adam says, I'm still at 25 triple threat wins. I mean, hey man, it's a choice grinding triple threat. Just because you haven't decided to, doesn't mean you're not capable. Charles Young said, hi, I'm back. I went to watch the Seahawks game. 
Hopefully you're not a Seahawks fan because Seahawks fans are probably kind of upset right now. YBZ spamming the Discord again. I might pin that message because we haven't gotten any locker codes. YBZ, yeah, take, a, take, take some time off, man. I'll pin that message in a second. Once this game's over, I'll pin that message. So once this game's over, send it one more time and I'll pin it for you since we got to lock in if we're going to get this win. Of course. Adam said, how do you get Baron Davis? Collect all the Season 3 Season of Giving players. Like Vlade Divac and Richard Jefferson and all those guys. And that's how you get them. M. Sib says, have you played against Jimmy Butler? I played against him twice yesterday on stream. And he's good, but he got completely outplayed by Doug West. Jacob Payne says, you the goat. I appreciate you, Jacob. Crazy says, you might not believe this, but I was born in one of the most famous hospitals. That's pretty good for you. I mean, whether you're lying or not, I mean, I'm not going to doubt you in front of all these people. I'm not going to, like, insult you by just doubting you like that. That's still pretty cool, though, that you were born in one of the most famous hospitals out there. Max says, I accidentally woke up at 7 this morning, so I've just been playing all day. I don't blame you. There's so much to do, so much to grind. I don't, get, I don't blame you for sitting down and playing all day. Alton says, is it worth upgrading Denny to Diamond? It's your decision, Alton. Pink Diamond Cam Reddish is really good. If you want to get him, you got to evolve Denny. So, that's your decision on whether you want Cam Reddish or not. But Denny, all the way at Diamond, I'd say he's pretty good. So, if you actually want to use Denny instead of, like, locking him in, then, sure. Might as well evolve him to Diamond while you can. All right, there we go. 40-point win. Not our biggest win, but we'll take it. That is now 14 games down. 14 games in a little bit over six hours. I can't complain about that. M. Sib said, how is Doug West? He is surprisingly good. Gonna post a gameplay soon. But we can't post a gameplay yet because we gotta get through this domination. If we win this game, that is 15 games down. So... Pretty much halfway there if we get this win. Sammy said hi. Remember me from yesterday's stream? Yeah, you were in here earlier too. Not your average Joe said, is it in Ohio crazy? Uh, what do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. Thanks for the dubs, Max. Adam said, pin his message. I was literally just about to YBZ. Hey, give me a second. I'll pin it right now. Caleb says, raid Carmine plays. I never raid people who ask for raids. I've learned my lesson about that. You never want to raid people who ask for raids, so probably not going to happen. Carmine's a grinder, though. Carmine's my dude, but I don't really like when people ask for raids. Berto says one more game. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. Adam says I can't upgrade him anymore. Really? You can't upgrade Denny anymore? That makes absolutely no sense. There must be something wrong with your game. Saucy says, me and my friend were born in the same hospital, different times, though. That's pretty cool. United Hospital. I see you. That's what I'm talking about. I know I say that a lot. About a lot of different things, but that's what I'm talking about. Andrew says, what benefits do you get for paying $2 on your stream? You get a badge next to your name that upgrades along with you to become a member. You get free emojis, early access to new videos. You also get shout outs in every video, behind the scenes content, bonus content, bonus videos, yada, yada, yada. And I might eventually start a group chat with all the members, possibly. I don't know, but we'll see. Those are all the perks you get for paying $2, but I mean, if you don't want to pay, you don't have to. If you don't have $2, I don't blame you either. It's only $2 though, so I don't think it's that bad, but some of you guys probably think that's too much. Wavy Hoop said, are you getting Antoine today? Nah, we're gonna do half the games today. We're gonna do the other half tomorrow. So I can give you guys two long streams on two days instead of one super long one. Eric said, do you think 2K should add a dynamic trio type of thing? No, I don't think they should. I think duos is fine. Eric said, I already read that. Oh my gosh. I literally almost read the same chat back to back times. I'm such a scrub. Lyrical Ice said the membership is worth it. Hey, 
I'm glad you think so, Lyrical Ice. You are my newest channel member, so shout out to you. I got a lot of appreciation for you. You are the man indeed. You know who else is the man? I was going to say Chris Mullen, but he missed the wide open three. Chant says, I just snapped Jamal Crawford. Nice. For 5K. That's a very good snap. Good job on snapping Jamal Crawford. Ham says, my friend was born in the same hospital. Nice. D2K said, my PayPal's messed up, so I don't even have $2. Like I said, not everyone has $2. I mean, not everyone has $2 just sitting around, so... If you can't buy the membership, I'm not going to blame you for it. I'm not going to get upset about it. M. Sib says, I played with Isaiah Thomas, and he's like, he's like Chris Mullen. Amazing layups and dunks. I've never heard Isaiah Thomas compared to Chris Mullen. I know they're both left-handed, but Chris Mullen's a six foot seven white guy. Isaiah Thomas is five foot nine point guard. I guess they're both left-handed, though, so I guess I kind of understand a little bit of your comparison. But yeah, I don't think they play alike at all. Sammy says, yo, do you have Discord? Believe it or not, no. I do not have Discord, and I have not I do not have a message about my Discord pinned to the top of the chat. So, no. No Discord. I don't know what made you think that one. Adam says, how do I select the shooting version of the purple upgrade to upgrade someone? You don't select it. You just you evolve that upgrade by doing those things. So if the shooting upgrade is hit 10 threes, just hit 10 threes. If the dunking upgrade is 10 dunks, just pick 10 dunks. I thought that was a pretty fundamental thing, but to be fair, some of you guys might be new to these concepts in 2K. Ben says I need 10 wins for Doug West. That means you're getting pretty close. That's what I'm talking about. Adam said, ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I thought everyone knew that. But hey, I'm glad I could educate you on that one. Come on, Chris Mullen. There we go. Thank you. Earlier, I said he was the man, but then he missed that wide open three. We're off to a decent start in this game, defensively. Nathan said Zion is godly. Are you talking about in real life or in the game? If you're talking about Diamond Zion... I think I agree. He's pretty good. Dignity says, is Doug West worth going for? It's your decision. I know that Doug West is not the most attractive sounding player. I know that he's not as popular as guys like Kevin Durant or LeBron, but he's easily the best triple threat reward, triple threat offline at least. I think he's a lot better than Wayne Embry and Michael Finley. The only thing that's a bit sus is his jump shot. He doesn't have range extenders, so that kind of sucks, but he is a super athlete. He has all the important Hall of Fame finishing badges. He has gold clamps, gold intimidator, gold pick dodger, gold green machine, gold catch and shoot. He's a great shooter with a super quick release. I like him a lot. I'm going to make a video of him soon. Splash says, sorry, I've been lurking, grinding. It's all good, Splash. Just glad you're still in here. Adam says, once I did the things for the upgrade, I couldn't upgrade him. That is very weird. Yeah, that is very weird. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why that's happening. Thankfully, it didn't happen for me. Flash Gamer says, who do you th think is better, Curry or Ray Allen? In real life or in the game? Because I got to go Curry in both. Curry all-time is definitely better than Ray Allen, but Ray Allen's still an all-time great scorer and shooter, nonetheless. RV says, how many games? This is game number 15 we're playing right now. It hasn't even been seven hours. It hasn't even been six and a half hours, and we are going through these games fast. I thought this grind was going to take 17 hours, but total it should take about 16, which I know isn't a big difference, but it's still saving time nonetheless. Endgame said, hopefully Miami wins. I hope they do too for you, because I know that you want them to win, and you're my boy, so I hope that Miami comes through for you and gets the dub. Finest Gaming says I'm back. Welcome back, Finest Gaming. Flash Gamer says real life. Yeah, definitely Steph Curry in real life. Not even close. Ray Allen has never been on Steph Curry's level. Well, I mean, that might sound a little bit harsh. But Ray Allen, second best shooter of all time. Possibly third. 
But you could argue he's first. You could totally argue he's the better shooter than Curry. Adam said, how many monitors do you have? Only one. I have one monitor right here I'm playing the game on and one laptop I'm reading the chat off of. Nathan says, my triple threat lineup's the best. Endgame said, D-Wade's amazing with Hall of Fame range. I'm happy I did it. Only took 450k. That's nice. Or 460k. I can't read. Yeah. D-Wade's pretty good. Especially with that Hall of Fame range. But Curry's pretty good too. Gotta say. Eric says Yao Ming is actually the best three-point shooter of all time. He's definitely in the conversation. That's a name you don't hear very often in the conversation. Finest Gaming said, should I make a setup video? I mean, hey, I'm not going to stop you. If you want to make a setup video, go ahead. Does anybody care about your setup? I think that's one big thing you should ask yourself, too. If people want to know your setup, why not come through for them and make a setup video? If they don't really care, then maybe you shouldn't do that and you should stick to whatever content you normally make. It's your call. It's your decision. Oh, Adam said, can you make a setup video? Hmm. I'll think about it. It's not a very good setup, but I don't see why not. Like I said, though, I don't know if many people care about my setup, so we'll see. Finest says I meant you should make a setup video. Got you. I thought you said, should I, as in, should you make a setup video? Yeah, like I said, I don't know how many people care about it, but we'll see. I'll think about it. Why not? Pink Headband said, how do you get through games fast? I get two wins per hour. I mean, I also get approximately two wins per hour, but we are a little bit ahead of pace because next-gen loading times are really good. And, of course, we're going up big. We're getting some really big leads. So, thankfully, the games aren't going to overtime. I don't foul much. They don't shoot many free throws. There aren't many breaks in the game, and that's how we get through pretty fast. Mensor said, Draymond Green or Dennis Rodman all the time? I'd say Rodman's the better defender, but eh, that's, that's a tough one. I think I think Dennis Rodman's the better player. I know championships are a team achievement, but Dennis Rodman was such a big part of each championship. Draymond was too, though, and Draymond's won three rings. I gotta go, Draymond is the more versatile offensive player, but I think the defense and the rebounding, the insane rebounding of Rodman is what puts him over the top for me. RJL said the first two games I played Domination, I lost? What? Come on, RJL. I need you to bounce back. I need you to bounce back and catch some dubs. You can do it. I believe in you. And you got this. That's all I got to say. Austin says, I got my first ring of limited for the first week. That's a big dub. Pink Headband says, I'm only on my 12th game and it took six hours. Yeah, it's been about six hours and... 20 minutes for me and yeah we're already on game number 15 so we've been going pretty fast we've been doing a pretty good job let's see if we can keep it up and you're doing a good job playing one game in 30 minutes is not a bad thing and I think me being on next gen definitely helps with getting through the games faster Max said pink diamond Iverson's godly yes he is Cam says just don't pause to do domination quicker. That's a pretty big deal too. No timeouts and no subs. Yeah, just no pauses in the game. Turn off replays, turn off manual, I mean, auto timeouts. And those are two things you can do to make it go by a little bit faster, I'd say. A lot of good things you can do. And those are some pretty good recommendations by Cameron. RVE said, I just started watching you today and you're a very good My Team creator. I appreciate that RVE. My goal is not to be the best in the community, it's just to be the best I can be, so it means a lot when you guys say you like my My Team content, because I do want to be a pretty big name in the community one day. That would be pretty dope. M. Sib says, I meant that Isaiah Thomas Pink Diamond can shoot as well as Chris Mullen. Oh, oh, got you. Yeah, earlier you said that Chris Mullen, you said Isaiah Thomas was like a, a version of Chris Mullen with better handles and dunks and stuff so i was confused about that but yeah he can shoot pretty well like chris mullen based on the gameplay i've seen adam says facts pink diamond ai can posterize at 6-1 yes he can and he's not even 6-1 so that's i think that helps add to your statement that definitely helps add to your statement 
DPDP says I've been gone for a couple hours. Did you get Antoine? I started my stream six hours ago with zero stars, so no. Yeah, not even close. Max says, is there a way to turn off controller vibration? Yeah, but you don't want to do that because vibrations are what help you time your jump shots. Adam said, how tall is he? Isaiah Thomas is like five foot nine, I thought. Isaiah's five nine. I don't know where he got 6'1 from. To be fair, the other Isaiah Thomas, the Isaiah Thomas with only five letters in his first name is 6'1, so maybe that's where you got that from. But Isaiah Thomas, who like almost won MVP a few years ago, he's 5'9. Austin said, what's up CP? I'm on the fourth division of domination. Nice. I'm on the third right now. We're putting in work on the third. And yeah, if we win this game, that'll be 15 wins in less than seven hours. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Adam says I was talking about AI. Oh, my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, Allen Iverson's like six feet tall. I thought y'all were talking about Isaiah Thomas. We have guys in the chat talking about Isaiah Thomas. We have guys talking about Allen Iverson. So I'm getting my names mixed up a little bit. That's my fault. I'm getting my names mixed up. Look at Curry. I thought that was going in. Not a bad first half. We have a 30 point lead. And you guys know this is a pretty important game because if we win this game, that is 15 down, 18 to go. If I'm doing my math correctly. Darby says just dropped 57 with Baron Davis, hit a full court shot at the end of the fourth. Nice. No respect for the CPU. I couldn't agree with you more, Darby. That is a classic smooth quote right there. All right, second half, second half sadness coming up for the Hawks. Adam says I should have explained, nah, you're good. I should have known who you're talking about. Nathan says I'm going to number eight spotlight. Nice. I haven't even started on the spotlights yet, so you're doing a good job on those. Better job than I'm doing so far. Much better job than I'm doing so far. The spotlights, they look like they're gonna be pretty easy. And of course y'all know, when we get new spotlights week after week, I'm gonna start grinding those out. Cam says, I spent 40k on gold clamps for Allen Iverson. It was an incredible investment. Yes, it is an incredible investment. That's the one big badge that he's missing. And of course, AI is only like six feet, so he can be a little bit of a liability on defense, but he's not too short to play good defense like Muggsy Bogue or Spud Webb, for example. He can still play some decent defense on the ball. Eric says, all right, so I'm going to swap out my Diamond KD for Diamond CJ or Diamond Damar. Which one should I swap for KD? I think you should keep McCollum. I think you should swap out um, DeRozan. Crazy says, my dog just stole my Fruit Loops and put a hole in my Kool-Aid. That is a big time L. I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry to hear that. That is tough. Super tough. Endgame said, shout out to everyone, man, who's been here for the whole stream. Yeah, no, seriously. Shout out to Endgame for saying that. Yeah, everyone who's been here for the whole stream, I appreciate you. It's been a good one so far. It is, I was going to say it's nowhere near over, but low key it is actually almost over. We're on the last stretch pretty much. But don't worry, because tomorrow we're going to be back with another super long My Team stream. It's going to be good. Trust me. Max said Iverson has great handles and defense. Yeah, not very good defense, unless you give him clamps. Darby says, just finished my first division. Nice. One division down, five to go, six to go, including those final three teams you got to play. But you're making some awesome progress, and I'm happy for you, Darby. McCoy said, I'm driving to Kansas City right now. If you need some entertainment, I got you. McCoy. Max says I gave him clamps. Well, that means he does have some pretty decent defense then. Giving him clamps is a good idea. That's the best thing you could do for Iverson. Nathan said, what time are you streaming tomorrow? Same time as today. Maybe a little bit earlier. Or, no, a little bit later. Same time as this stream. We're going to stream tomorrow. You guys better tune in. It's going to be good. Is it going to be better than this stream? Not sure. But we're going to end tomorrow's stream by getting Jameson and getting some games in with him. So 
That's going to be awesome, for sure. Out to the right wing. Here's the three. They get it back. Nice. What? That's good. No basket feels better than a putback. M. Sib says, do you think Zion Diamond will hold his price like he did before? Unless a better Zion comes out, most likely yes. But of course, y'all know we're going to get eventually a better Zion. That Diamond Zion's really good. And if we get a Pink Diamond or probably Opal Zion, he's going to be crazy. Like, he's going to be able to do everything that a Diamond can. Maybe he won't be able to shoot as well, but he's going to be great at pretty much everything. Y'all know that for a fact. Void says, I just picked up Cam Reddish. Nice. He's 100% worth it, so good pickup and congratulations. What's good, Tate Flynn? Welcome back. Nathan says, what time tomorrow? I think I already read that chat. And yeah, um, streaming tomorrow at probably 1 or 2 central time. Colt says, who's your favorite rapper of all time? Probably Kanye West or J. Cole. Eric says, I saw Pistol Pete going for around 14K. Yeah. Cheap pink diamond if you guys need one. Vicente said, Tyler Hero has 22. Really? Because he's on my fantasy team. And I need Tyler Hero to have a big game, so if he has 22 already, I am very, very happy about that. Braden says, just pulled another butler. Let's go. Nice. Nathan says, what time are you streaming until tonight? We're going to stream for a couple more hours, probably. One or two. Possibly three. Probably not three. But we're going to be streaming for a while longer. And the defense Nathan said, I already read that too. Gosh, what's wrong with me? To be fair though, you've sent that chat three times. Lou Dort says, just finished a division of Dom, and now I'm doing XP challenges. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let me know which level you get to by the end of the stream. Eskos says on the 2K DB, it says Thurl Bailey has the curry slide, but he doesn't have it on current gen. Really? Maybe he has it on next gen. Maybe he has it on next gen. I didn't even know he had the curry slide. That's pretty cheesy. I had no idea he had that. That makes him even better. Crazy Vid said the Bucks are killing me. The Bucks were killing me too in the first three minutes of our game, but we eventually won by 50. Chris said, Hero has 22, 6, and 2. That is awesome. That means he's probably killing it for my fantasy team. We were down by 100, but... That's not that bad. I mean, in my fantasy league, it's all about scoring. So, if you are down by 100 and you have a couple players who have a good day, you can be up by like 50 or 70, maybe even 100 by the end of the day if all your players have good days. Jude said, Doc, I'm back. What's up? I'm in a happy mood. I'm glad you're in a happy mood. Congratulations on the Opal tier. Cam Scott said, Thurl is a better Giannis in my opinion. Yeah, a lot of guys have been making that comparison. A lot of guys have come in the stream and compared Thurl Bailey to Giannis. Which is pretty crazy because y'all know Giannis is a beast. Thurl Bailey, he must be pretty good if he's being compared to Giannis. M. Sib said, for those who don't know, you can sell the Cam Reddish players. You just have to buy their normal version and switch them out. Very true. 100% true. That's what's called the Cam Reddish glitch. Dean Wade said, I'm about to go for my exam. <sighs> Let's go, Dean Wade. You said this is the biggest exam of your life you got, so I wish you luck. Hey, you don't need luck, though. You're going to be all right. You're going to smash that exam. You got this in the bag. Easy. Dignity says, do you think grinding XP will be easier this season than last season? It was so easy last season, I don't think it could possibly get any easier, but... Maybe it will. If I had to predict Dignity, I think it's going to be about the same. Maybe a little bit harder, but like I said, it was so easy last season that I'm sure it won't be too bad this season. Adam said, Doc, are you talking about the pink diamond cam reddish? No, I'm actually talking about the silver cam reddish. That one's the one that everyone's talking about that you can do the glitch for. Max said, my brother calls Thurl Bailey Thurl Acampo. Austin said, I'm back, Doc. What game are you on? This is game number 15. 
if we hold on to the lead and get three stars, then we have 45 stars and we are pretty much halfway done. There are six divisions of five teams and if we win this game, we are done with three of those divisions. So, big deal. Dean Wade said, yes sir, Doc, peace. I worked super hard for this exam and I need 90% for my future subjects. You got this, Dean. You got this. I believe in you. You've been studying and I think you're ready. I think you got this right in the bag. You know I believe in you and like I said, I would wish you luck, but I don't think you need luck. Void says, I'm winning in fantasy by 250. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See, I'm not winning by 250. In fact, I'm 2-0, and oh, but I'm losing by 100 at the beginning of the day, so I think I can come back, and Tyler Hero having a huge night is going to help me come back. So I'm glad that he's playing well. Very, very glad. Oh yeah, good block. When you guys play triple threat online, does it feel like you play bots? Sometimes. Sometimes. Depends. To be fair, we win the games all the time versus good players and bad players, but some of those bad players are especially bad, possibly on the level of bots. Nick Tuber said, bro, is Bill Russell good? I took a really bad shot with him last possession, but I promise he's very good offensively. Definitely worth the pickup. I think he's the best defensive center in the game. Really fun to use. Great rebounder, shot blocker, even a great on-ball defender versus anybody because he has such good speed, Hall of Fame clamps. Is it Hall of Fame clamps? I think it is, but you get the picture. Bill Russell, worth picking up for sure. He's good offensively, but I've not been shooting much with him because of, of course, Curry. Cam Scott says I didn't play fantasy this year because COVID makes things too unpredictable. In my opinion, that's what makes fantasy so, so, so fun this year, man. The unpredictability. That's what makes things so fun this year. Senua says, give your Hawks a chance. I gave them a chance, but they blew it. They blew it big time. We have really killed them this game. Can't wait for this game to be over because of how bad we've killed them. Fortnite said Isaiah Thomas for a snip. You mean a snipe? That's a dub if you got an Isaiah Thomas snipe. Adam said Hayward's bricking everything. Gordon Hayward? Yeah, so he had a huge game the other day. He had this one game where he had like 43 points, and because of that, he had like over 100 fantasy points. So, hey man, if he's bricking everything, that's tough because he was on fire the other day. Or early, early, earlier this week, I mean. Endgame said, do you think I should put Hall of Fame clamps and Intimidator on Thurl and try to make a good profit? That's your decision. I mean, if I were, if I were anybody, I wouldn't put a Hall of Fame contract or an Amethyst or, yeah, Hall of Fame badge or anything on a Diamond player. But if that Diamond player is that good like Thurl, I don't see why not go for it, Endgame. You know all about the auction house, so why not give it a try? Max said, let's go, Dean Wade. I believe in you. Yeah, I believe in you too, Dean Wade. I don't know if you're still on the stream. I think you said earlier you were headed out, but now nah, you know I wish you luck. And I know you're going to be all right on your exam. Lou Dort says, to be fair, I was shooting bad shots because of the challenges. Nah, I'll, whenever I have a challenge to do, I shoot bad shots too. Especially if it's like a three-point challenge or something like that. It's Walker says, I pulled Jimmy in a one-pack. Should I keep him or sell him? I say sell him and make some MT. Also, Streamlabs is broken again. Finally, the subscribers are all rolling in. All those guys subscribed earlier. Shout out to Andrew, JR, Raz, and King Mick. I don't know why the subscriptions just don't show up when people actually subscribe, but as long as they show up, I'm not gonna get too mad. All right, we're gonna dribble it out because we have no reason to score again. We could win 90 to 45, we could double their score, but why do that when we can just dribble out the clock, win the game, and move on to the next one. Another game, another dub, and that is now 15 out of 33 games complete. All we need to do is exit out right here, and just like that, we are halfway through the first 30 games. Lou Dort said, should I buy a single pack? That's your decision. I never buy packs. Let's go. 
15 tokens and 45 stars. There's five stars right here. Another five, I mean 15 stars right here. Oh, I said five. Another 15 right here. Another 15 right here. And you guys see it on the far right. Heat check domination, 45 out of 99. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We've been breezing through these games. Let's keep it up versus the Nuggets. Void said, who are your top fantasy players? My top two players are Giannis. I also have James Harden and Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry didn't play yesterday. I also have guys like Austin Rivers who put up puts up points here and there. I got a pretty good team. I also got Josh Richardson. Who else do I got, man? I have a lot of good players on my team. My team is actually kind of stacked, but for some reason I'm forgetting my players. I think it's because my mind is fried from playing these domination games. Sports Genie says, Dort, is that really you? I'll let Dort answer that question. Thunder fan here. Hey, I'm a big fan of Lou Dort. I'm not a Thunder fan, but I like Lou Dort a lot. I'll let Lou Dort answer that question. Lou Dort said, of course. Yes, sir, my boy. Yes, sir. Look who's open. Why is he open? Void said, how did you get Harden and Giannis? I made a trade for Harden. I traded De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, and Isaac Vaccaro for Kyle Lowry and James Harden. So yeah, I have Harden, I have Giannis, I have Bogdan Bogdanovich, I had Buddy Field, Buddy Heald, and De'Aaron Fox, I traded them away, and I also have Tyler Hero, like I mentioned earlier, he's a pretty good source of offense for me sometimes, sometimes a little bit inconsistent, but he's pretty good, and yeah, I used to have Tim Hardaway Jr., but I traded him away for Andre Drummond, Andre Drummond was a good pickup, I also used to have Kyle Anderson, but he was a part of that trade for Andre Drummond. And in real life, it probably sounds crazy trading someone like Andre Drummond for Kyle Anderson. But Kyle Anderson was averaging like 40 points in fantasy, and Drummond averages like 60. Braden says your fantasy team ain't fair. Oh, if you, if you think my fantasy team's not fair, you should see the rest of the league. There are a bunch of guys who have stacked teams, bro. It is not just me, so... I gotta make trades so I can possibly contend for a championship. Because winning the championship's a pretty big deal. What's good, Jordan Bryant? Welcome back to the stream. Sports Genie says you the best. I'm assuming you're talking to Lou Dort. If you're talking to me, I appreciate it, but I think you're talking to your boy, Lou Dort. M. Sib says, I really like watching your streams. I appreciate you, M. Sib. And I appreciate every single person who enjoys the streams. We've been going strong for almost seven hours. I know, it's crazy, right? We've been going for a while and we are not done yet. Brayden says, yo, what's good, Lou Dort? Lou Dort says, if you guys for some reason think about opening packs, don't do it. I couldn't agree more, Lou Dort. Don't open packs. Well, actually, feel free to open packs if you want to. I don't control you. Mason Stokes says, how much longer are you grinding for? Probably an hour or two. I'd say an hour, hour and a half. And then of course tomorrow, we're gonna finish up the second half of Domination. So one half tonight, one half tomorrow. YBZ said, I low key regret taking Miles Turner. How's he doing in fantasy? He's on my boy Brent's team and he blocks a lot of shots. He gets rebounds, he plays defense, but in my league, it's all about scoring points. That's the biggest thing about fantasy. Scoring points in my league. Lil Codeine said, two more games. Let's go. Finally, Codeine. You are back in your rhythm. I've been catching up to you a little bit, but I'm still nowhere close to you. So keep on grinding. Get yourself that. Antoine Jameson. Almost forgot his name. And I believe in you, man. You got this. And of course, keep on growing your channel in the process. Jordan says, I've only finished eight games of Heat Check Domination. That's not a bad start. Eight games is still, what, 24 stars? So you are not off to a bad start. Keep on grinding, keep on moving forward, and you're going to get that Jameson eventually. I believe it. James Chris said, let's go. I got 91 Bradley Beal from the Heat Check Pack. That is a dub indeed. How much are you going to sell him for is my question. 2K Instinct says, I'm level 22, feeling good this season. I hope I don't get my XP reset. Same here. I hope the same thing. 
Darby says I'm about to play the Bucks. Wish me luck. Hey, good luck. A lot of you guys in the chat have been saying that y'all have had some problems with the Bucks. So, good luck playing the Bucks. You got this. I believe in you. Doc Adams said, still no ring. Really? Still no ring? Man, 2K screws you every week. It's like you have the worst luck getting the ring ever. That is tough, but you're going to get it eventually. You always do. Taco Fall said, how many games left? We have finished 15 games. That means we have 18 to go. Yeah, there's a nice little math lesson for you, but we're going to finish up like 17 or 18 today, I think, and we're going to finish up the rest tomorrow. I know I've said that 100 times, but i got to say it again. Sports Genie said, green bean, yes, sir. Kobe Fan says, I'm playing versus the Nets. Wish me luck. The Nets aren't too good outside of KD and Kyrie. I think you got this. I wish you luck. John Parker says, OMG, I forgot how long domination took. Yeah, man, it is a grind and a half. Thankfully, they only gave us one new domination. Well, actually, not really thankfully, because if they had given us more dominations, I would do more domination streams, and domination streams were always pretty fun, so... I mean, we only got one new domination. If we had gotten more, the grind would be even crazier. I think next season we might, we, we, might, eh, we might get another domination, but I don't know what it would be. If we get another domination, I feel like the reward is going to be another Opal, and eventually we might, we might get domination with a Dark Matter as the reward, because keep in mind, if you get all 99 stars in this domination, you still have to get, what, 198 more stars to get 594, and that's a lot of stars that still aren't possible to get. Lou Dort says, it's hilarious when people judge people in real life based on their stats in 2K. Exactly. It shouldn't happen, but it happens all too often. Berto says, finally got him. I barely won by three. Hey, man. Berto, all that matters is that you did it, you pulled it off, and I'm proud of you. Carla Brown says I'm back. What's up? What's good, Carla? Welcome back to the stream. Harry said, who's your favorite IRL player? My favorite IRL player is probably Carmelo or D. Rose. I like both of those guys a lot. Those guys are pretty dope. I know they're kind of old-fashioned players. They aren't modern players, as you want to call them, like John ja Morant or Zion, but still great players in their own rights. John Parker says, I wonder when they're going to release a center equal to Blake. I regret not getting him. Yeah, man, Blake is really good. Blake is a great power forward center. And I'm going to be real with you, John Parker. I mean, some guys, they love Blake. But some guys think that he's not worth the grind. I think he's real good. I think he's a beast. He's a great ball handler. He can speed boost, dunk on you, shoot, defend. He does so many things well, but it's just so weird that so many people like him. But also, there are so many people who don't. But yeah, he's hard to stop. Great defensively and offensively. I definitely don't regret picking him up. Adam said, what quarter? Second quarter. Sports Genie says, I'm a Shea fan. I like Shea too. He had a great year last year, and he's putting up some good numbers this year for the Thunder. Even though they're tanking. Nathan says, get the AD Zion duo. Don't need it. Maybe I'll get it eventually, but I don't have it right now. Victor says, I just won the first five matches. How many you got? I've won the first 15. Right now we are on number 16, Victor. Joe Stott said, yo, Doc. What's good, Joe Stott? Welcome back to the stream, my guy. We just hit 380 likes on the stream. I wonder if we can hit 400 before the stream is over for the second consecutive day. Whether we do, whether we don't, I appreciate all the likes on the stream. We've also gained about 100 new subs this stream too, which is insane. I appreciate all the new subs. I appreciate everyone who's dropped a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that like button on the stream and subscribe if you're enjoying what you see. I know you guys have been enjoying this stream and tomorrow I'm going to be doing pretty much the exact same thing. Today we're going to finish the first 17, 18 or so games of Domination. Tomorrow, we're going to finish the rest. So if you're enjoying this stream, turn on notifications because tomorrow, 
we're going to finish this thing once and for all. So make sure those notifications are turned on. And if you're enjoying the stream but you haven't subbed yet, come on. Join Doc Nation today. Endgame says 400. Come on, y'all. Y'all heard Doc. Hey, if we don't get 400, it's not a big deal. But why not go for it? Why not go for it? We're getting so close. Why not try and get it? Oh, I didn't mean to pass it there. But yeah, why not go for it? Since we're so close. Nathan said you should do an all night tomorrow. Dom and Spotlight. I'll do Dom tomorrow, but I'll probably do the Spotlights on Monday. Monday's stream might be short, though. I might do a video and a stream Monday, but the stream's gonna be short because this domination, this triple threat yesterday being the first in the world to get Doug West is wearing your man out, but I'm still feeling great to start the season because there's so much content. Adam says I'll be here tomorrow. Yes, sir, Adam. I love to hear that. The weird one said, how many stars do you have now? 45. 45 stars. Yeah. Not too bad. Not amazing, but it's been a good stream and we're on a great pace. We've won 15 games in less than 7 hours. My goal was to win like 14 games in 7 hours. 2 games per hour, but we've won 15 in 7 hours and we're almost done with the first half of our 16th game. So, pretty good pace, I gotta say. Nathan said, bro, I love your streams. Hey, I'm glad you love my streams, Nathan. It really does mean a lot, and y'all know that. JT Graming says, I'm grinding Dom right now on stream. Me too, me too. Welcome to the stream, JT. Nice to see that you're streaming on your own. I appreciate that. Self-promo. Just kidding. Kind of. Mason says, how long are you grinding for? We're going to go for about an hour longer, I'd say. Probably. If I had to give you a guess, I'd say about one hour or one and a half hours. Once this is over, I'm going to go to the gym. There's a 24-7 gym in my hometown, which is a great thing. You can go anytime. Braden says, hey man, come on. We got pieces. What are you talking about? Are y'all talking about an NBA team? Because I feel like I might be a little bit lost on the chat right now. I'm sorry if I missed something. Nathan said I might get Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Batum tomorrow. That's a dub. Isn't he the level 20 something reward? I seriously have no idea. I don't know what any of the levels are. I know I'm going to pass y'all eventually, but I don't know what the levels are right now. Also, that was such a dumb shot. Let's see if we can get one more shot to go before halftime. Nice rebound. And there we go. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting Bill Russell to throw it down like that, but there we go. That dunk puts us up by 27. And this free throw should put us up by 28. And speaking of 28, y'all are saying Batum's the level 28 reward. Got you. Yeah. I had no idea, but now I know thanks to y'all. Alexander says, what is better? Diamond Eddie Jones or Pink Diamond Walter Davis? Probably Walter Davis, but please stop talking in all caps. Sports Genie says, Doc, I sub to you because my friend really wants subs. What? That makes no sense. Your friend wants subs, but you sub to me? I'm glad you subbed to me, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone who subbed. But that logic's kind of weird to me, if you know what I mean. Braden says, I'm trying to re recruit Lou Dort to the Blazers. Lou Dort would fit in well with any NBA team, to be honest with you. No matter what team you go for, Lou Dort's going to fit in with your team because he plays great defense, he's a hustle guy, he can hit open threes. Lou Dort's going to fit in with any team, for sure. Alexander says, thanks for the answer. No problem, Alexander. No problem at all. Sports Genie says, no, I want you to sub to us. Ah, so you're promoting your channel in my stream. Ah, got you, got you. Yeah, I make sure never to do that. It's kind of disrespectful to the streamer. Adam says, isn't he on the Thunder? Lou Dort, yes, he's the starting small forward for the Thunder. Actually, he might be the starting shooting guard now. Last year, he started at the three, but is he the two or the three this year? I know they don't have Gallinari anymore. They don't have Chris Paul anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Amit says, CP, can I tell people my Twitch because I have zero viewers? 
They're on YouTube right now. So I don't know if they'll be able to tune into Twitch on their phones at the same time or their laptops, but sure. Right after I say self promo's weird, everyone wants to self promote. Fair enough. Noah says, I just put a bid on Galaxy Oval Jimmy Butler. Hopefully I can get him. Someone earlier said they got him for 200k, so I wish you luck getting him too. Brandon says, we got Dame and Dort. That would be an amazing duo. Yeah, Dame and Dort would be interesting. Dort's not as good as CJ McCollum yet, but he's definitely better defensively. Brandon says, then we win a championship. Oh, you're talking about the Trailblazers. Okay. So you were saying the Trailblazers have good pieces. Sports Genie says, anyone who subs, it would mean a lot. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. People who hang around the chat, people who show up a lot, they usually ask for subs and they're fine, but so joining someone's stream who I only haven't even seen before and saying, yeah, please sub, it would mean a lot. Like, what the heck? That's like, what if I joined your stream and took away your viewers? Like, that's just, nah. I don't care how many subs you have or how polite you're being, that's just weird. Lethal Logan says, last season I ended at 39, and I'm so mad I missed Dwayne Wade. I don't blame you, man, because D. Wade is real good. Dean Wade is real good. So, I hate that you missed out on him, but there are some really good players that are coming out this season, like Westbrook, for example. Like... What's his name? Jameson, who we're going for right now. Of course, you got Kevin McHale. Of course, you got Kawhi Leonard. 39 is so close to D. Wade. If you work a little bit harder this season, you can definitely get Kawhi Leonard. Nathan said I might get Kawhi. I'm definitely getting Kawhi. Even though all you guys are ahead of my level, I'm definitely going to catch up. Golden Guy said, I'm on the second division, almost the third. That is a big time dub. Sports Genie says, I really want Dean Wade too. Or D Wade too. I don't know why I said Dean Wade too, but Dean Wade is pretty great. Nah, D Wade for real is one of the best guards in the game for sure. He's a bit undersized for the two guard, but still very good at the two guard. But yeah, I got Curry at the one and he's fine, so. We're not gonna, yeah, nah, Curry's still my starting PG for the near future. Unless D. Wade really shows me that I gotta start him instead, Curry's the starting PG. Endgame said I had to get him because he's my favorite player. Yeah, yeah. I know you had to get him. I know you're a huge fan of the, of the Heat. We got a lot of Heat fans who watch my streams. Endgame, Dom are two of the main ones. And yeah, Alonzo Bozen. No Limit Zo, he's also a big Heat fan, so I know he also had to get D-Way for the culture. Josh Move said, how's Bill Russell? He's pretty good. He's pretty good. I like him a lot. Great rebounder, defender. Pretty good post score. Not the best shooter, but who cares about shooting? Shooting's important, but if you only get a player because you like their jump shot, then that's not a good reason to get a player. If they can't do anything else, then, then they, they're useless. Now Bill Russell, he does a lot of great things. Alex said, what do you think about Antoine Jameson? Looks pretty good. Haven't used him yet, though. Adam says, I like the stream overlay. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys like the overlay. I hope you guys like my new setup because I know it's a lot different than my, what's it called? My old setup from like a month ago. The setups has changed so much in just a month. The stream quality has also changed so much in like a month, so... Yeah, if you guys want to watch in 1080p, all you gotta do is turn up the stream quality to 1080p. High quality, man. High quality, and speaking of high quality, Ticket on Xbox said, Hey, Doc, sorry I missed a couple streams. Keep up the grind, hey. Ticket, it's all good that you missed a couple streams. I'm glad you're back. Not only are you back, you are back. Dropping a $5 nuke. Thank you for that $5 nuke. Ticket on Xbox, that is a big time dub, man. Yeah, people spam dubs in the chat for a reason, because that is a big time dono. I really appreciate it, man. Y'all know I never see those donos coming, but man, they're always awesome when y'all drop them, so thank you for the dono ticket. You don't have to apologize for missing streams. I'm just glad to have you back. The RL Slick Nick said, have you gotten your limited ring? Yes, I got it last night. So I don't have to worry about it until next week. Darby says up 13 versus the Bucks. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. 13 point lead versus the Bucks. I'm proud of you. 
Golden Guy Gang says, what do you think about Bill Walton? I think he's the best of all time. Easily the best of all time. Adam says, what's your highest dono in a stream? Highest dono in a stream is $50, but there's this one guy who donated like 110 one time. I don't think that he donated more than $50, like separately, but the most donos I've ever gotten from one person in a stream, like in terms of total money, is the one and only, but most individual donos is Josh Smoove. Yeah, that's right. The only reason you asked me that question is because you wanted to hear your name, but you deserve for me to say it because you dropped like $25, $15. You were dropping donos like crazy that stream. I'll never forget that stream. It was legendary, all the donos we were getting, for real. So yeah, shout out to Josh Smoove. I'd say he's one of the dono kings in channel history. Y'all know you don't have a dono to be a big part of my community though. As long as you're here, that's all that matters. On the wing, Jones. From deep. Here's Russell. Lays it up and in on the nice Josh Move said I was dropping nukes. Yes, you were. You were dropping nukes like crazy. You were dropping nukes like out of nowhere. You were dropping one, two, three, two, 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 three, five, seven. And then all of a sudden you dropped 25 and the whole world blew up. Josh Smoove was dropping donos like crazy. Lou Dort says I'm playing an unlimited game for XP, and I found another dude whose team name is the Glizzies. That's what I'm talking about. That is big time. Taco Falls says, remember me? I am Bradley Martin, but on my other account. Got you. I remember Bradley. Taco Fall is a new thing, though. I appreciate you tuning in on your other account. Nice to have you in the stream, Bradley. Ticket says I bought some MT yesterday from my website. If you did, that is a huge dub. And anybody who needs MT, you should follow Ticket's example because that MT site in my description is 100% legit. And of course, if you use my code CP the Doc, you get some money off your purchase. If you buy $100 worth of MT, then you use my code, you get $5 off, which is a great thing. Adam said it is not fake. It is real. Thank you. It is indeed not fake. But some people think it is. And to be fair, I can understand why they think it is. Because buying MT, it can be a little bit suspicious sometimes, depending on who your seller is. Eden says late, but I like the stream. Hey, better late than never. The stream's not over, so I'm glad you're still here. I'm glad you can make it. Just because you're late doesn't mean you have to miss the stream. I'm glad you could drop by. And what do you know, we are 10 likes away. 10 likes away from 400 on the stream. I wonder if we can get there. I know a lot of you guys watching still haven't dropped likes yet, so y'all do what you gotta do. Drop a like for me, and let's get this thing up to 400. Slick says Kawhi Leonard looks like he's gonna be a beast. I agree. There have been some guys saying that Kawhi's not gonna be worth it, but he is certainly gonna be worth it. He's really gonna be good because He's going to be a 6'8 shooting guard, man, who can clamp up on defense, hit threes, create offense for himself, score in the post. He's going to be able to do so much that I just know he's going to be good. Nathan says, just one, another spotlight. Nice, Nathan. Vincent says, I'm surprised you're still streaming. What? Why are you surprised? We streamed for nine hours yesterday, and it's only been seven hours today. Like, really? For real though, I'm glad to still be streaming. It's been a long stream, it's been a good one, and it's not over yet. John Parker said, who should I replace with Jameson? Eddie Jones or Glenn Robinson? I think you should replace Glenn Robinson. Of course Glenn Robinson's great, but Eddie Jones is my favorite diamond shooting guard in the game. So I'm a little bit biased, but nah, Eddie Jones is great. Super easy to shoot with and great defensively. And Jameson, since he's not the best defensively, he's going to need a good defensive player next to him to kind of negate his bad defense. Sanua says Bogdan got injured. He's on my fantasy team. That's not good at all. It better not be serious. It better not be serious. Or else I'm probably going to cry. 
a lot, like aloud, live on stream for y'all to see. So hopefully it's not too serious. Daniel says the CPU just left rights and rim runs in Dom. That's what the CPU's all about, man. The CPU loves to cheese. They want to get in your head. They want to frustrate you. But guess what? It doesn't work on me. Another 50 point win versus the Nuggets. And we've been getting a lot of easy wins this stream. If you've been in here the whole time, you know this. We've been winning games like crazy. And we have a 49 point lead. We could win this game by 50. But why win by 50 when you can just dribble out the clock, get your three stars, and keep on moving forward? All right, so there we go. When at home, the fans are all standing up and clapping their hands, and that's just a beautiful sight. Another game, another win. There's the final score. Not the biggest blowout in the world, but still pretty big. We'll take it. Alpha said, I had a 20 point lead in Unlimited and then my game crashed. I feel like that happens to me way too often. 2K needs to fix their game, for real. They need to fix their game. Up next, let's play versus Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell, the Spider. For anybody wondering, 48 stars. I almost played on pro. That would have been terrible. Lethal Logan said Tatum has to quarantine, so as a Celtics fan, I'm really upset. Yeah, man. I got a lot of Celtics fans who were subbed to my channel, and I would be pretty upset too if my best player had to quarantine. Odd Squad said, what level are you on? I'm pretty sure I'm level 14. Getting pretty close to level 15, and getting pretty close to 15 games left in domination as well. We have won our first 16 games. That means we only have 17 to win. So if we win this game, we are over halfway there, which that was my goal this stream, to get to just over halfway there. Yeti says, yo, CP, smell like cheese. Now nah, that's all you. Now nah, you smell like shit. I guess I smell like cheese. Welcome to the stream, though, Yeti. Nathan says, I'm sad if anybody gets the virus. Me too, because getting it sucks. I've had some friends get it, some family get it. It's not an easy ride, man, at all. Christian says, how many games do you have left tonight? I'll play two more. I'll play two more. We'll get the stream up to eight hours in length, and we'll end things right there, and we'll go from there tomorrow. Look at Chris Mullen, man. Inspirational stuff right there. Will Jameson be better at the small forward or the power forward? That's a good question. That's a great question, actually. Um, I don't know. That's a I really don't know because I feel like he'll be able to keep up with players better at the power forward, but... I don't know, because he's going to be pretty cheesy at the small forward, too. I feel like, in terms of scoring in the paint and scoring in the post, you might want to have him at the four. But at the same time, as a floor spacer, you might want to have him at the three. He's not a complete defensive liability, but I feel like he might be better at the four than the three. But we'll have to see. That rhyme. Max said, bye, Doc. Got to head out. Take it easy, Max. I will see you around, my man. I'll see you next stream, most likely, so tune in, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Rudy Gobert getting locked up by Bill Russell. Daniel says, I've had it with no symptoms. That's a good, that's a dub, man. Of course, having it sucks, but with no symptoms, that's a very good thing. Because having symptoms sucks. Trust me. Cameron said, Jameson will still be okay on defense because of gold clamps. Yeah, yeah, he's not a complete defensive liability. It's just that his speed is kind of low. And having low speed is not the worst thing in the world, but it kind of it's kind of tough when you're guarding like a guy with 95 speed. And even if you have like 85 or 88, sometimes that's still not good enough. Lyrical Ice says, gotta go, have a good stream. Take it easy, Lyrical Ice. Have a good night. Thank you for, 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 ah, for becoming a channel member. I can't talk. I will see you again soon, my boy. Captain TF says, I've played so many games and no Byron Beck. I hate to hear that, man. In my opinion, if you've played like 100 games, you deserve to have gotten Byron Beck, honestly. But yeah, I got him three times yesterday and some of you guys haven't even gotten him once, which sucks, but hey, keep on playing and you guys will get him eventually. 
Jack said, how close are you to Opal Lillard? Um, pretty far away, but I have a million MT, so I guess if I wanted to, I could buy a bunch of cards and possibly get Lillard, but eh, haven't thought that far ahead. But yeah, I think we have like 1,200 cards. Maybe less. I seriously have no idea. I can check later, but it's not that urgent either way. We're just going to play a couple more games this stream. And of course, like I said, tomorrow we're going to finish up the grind for Anthony, Anthony, Antoine Jameson. Almost forgot his name. Lou Dort says, giving a fellow Glizzy an easy win. Yeah, your team name's the Glizzies. You play versus Glizzies. It doesn't get much better than that. Adam said, how do you get Opal Lillard? Collect 2,000 cards. Shiva said, how many cards do you have? Like 1,200 or something like that. I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Brayden says, I just finished my second division. And earlier, you said you were thinking about giving up, so I'm proud of you. That is some good progress. If you finished up two divisions, that means that... That means you've gotten at least 30 stars, so that's a dub right there. Cameron said, one like away from 400. Really? Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. So if any of you guys have not liked the stream yet, you have a chance to be the big like number 400 right here. So that's a big dub for whoever likes the stream right after hearing this. I wonder who's, who, 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 ah, who 400 is going to be. I guess we'll have to see. Endgame YT just dropped a 10. I didn't see that coming, Endgame. You caught me off guard. It doesn't get much better than that. My boy, Endgame, thank you for dropping 10. We also got some money earlier from our boy, Ticket. We've gotten some donations all throughout the stream, man. I really do appreciate y'all for dropping nukes. Shout out to my boy, Endgame. I owe you, man. Nah, nah, you don't owe me anything, Endgame. You don't owe me a thing. I appreciate you supporting me, and I appreciate you making some awesome content on your own channel. So yeah, man, I really do appreciate you. You don't owe me anything, man. I just try to give y'all content. Y'all don't owe me a thing. But I'm glad you guys have been so supportive lately, for real. Lil Codeine's fat son, what's good? 20 points up on West Conference. I'm in my zone. Nice, nice. A 20 point lead is no joke. That's what I'm talking about. That is indeed what I'm talking about, having a 20 point lead on the West. I haven't gotten there yet. We still gotta beat these teams like the Jazz. We gotta beat the teams like the Trailblazers. Yeah, we're done with the Eastern Conference, but we still gotta beat the Wild Wild West, which shouldn't be too hard. Cam says, now we got 404 likes. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for 400 likes on the screen. We've been live for uh, like seven and a half hours now, man. Seven and a half? Oh, no, no. We just hit seven hours. We've been live for a while now is all I'm trying to say. And we still got 100 viewers, which is crazy. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks to everybody who subscribed. And this stream is not going to be going on for much longer. So you guys make sure notifications are turned on. So you don't miss my stream tomorrow, where I'm going to be doing the same thing, beating Domination, and of course, making it look easy while doing it. Luis said, finished one third of Domination. Yes, sir, Luis. Yes, sir, my boy. That's what I'm talking about. That is some good progress right there. That is great progress. We're about halfway done right now. Once this game's over, we're going to be over halfway done, which is a pretty great thing. I can't complain about that. Ariane said, how many stars do you have? 48. Senua says, almost halfway done. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, almost halfway there. Great feeling. And then tomorrow we're going to finish. And it's going to be an even greater feeling. Endgame said, peace and goodbye, Doc. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, Endgame. I will see you around, my brother. Take it easy. All right, this is beautiful. We have a good lead, and we could go up by 30 right here at the free throw line. Splash Inc. said, Doc, I went to Ryan's stream, and he said, what's up? Hey, he was in here earlier. Tell him I said, what's up back, if you want to. Lil Codeine said, one more game. Yes, sir, Codeine, yes, sir. 
Keep on grinding. One more win for you. You've been going hard, and I'm proud of you. Nathan said, last spotlight, wish me luck. Good luck to you. Good luck to Codeine, too. Good luck to everybody who's grinding, whether it's spotlights or domination. Most of y'all don't need luck, though. Lethal says, after this game, could you show your lineup in my team? I can show my lineup at the end of the stream, but... As of now, we just gotta keep on grinding through these games, and once I'm done grinding games, if you remind me later, once before, like after I finish the game after this game, I will show you my lineup, for sure. Great defense. MTV says you're still streaming. I'm pretty sure I'm still alive, yeah. Welcome back to the stream, MTV. Nice to have you back in the building, of course. Taj said, Doc, what's up? What's good, Taj? I haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back to the stream, Taj. Good to have you back in the building. Darby says, just beat the Bucks by 39. Nice. Should have won by 40, but not for real. That is still really, really good. Moises says, random question, but have you ever seen the movie Uncut Gems? Yeah, very good movie. Adam Sandler was amazing in that movie, too. Probably his best performance as an actor, and I love his movies, like Happy Gilmore, Waterboy. I love a lot of his movies, but... Now, Uncut Gems was probably his best performance ever. Adam says, are you ending stream after this game? No, I'm ending the stream, the game, after this game. So, not yet, but pretty soon, yes. Adam said, Happy Gilmore was so good. One of my favorite movies ever, for sure. Happy Gilmore is a classic, and so was The Waterboy. Taj says, I just completed the Atlantic heat check. That's a dub. Eden says, how many 2Ks have you had ever? And who's your favorite card ever? Hmm, my favorite card ever? That's a tough one, but my favorite 2K ever, probably 2K13 on the 360 or 2K14 on the Xbox One. Those are my two favorites. This one's good, but I haven't had as much fun since 2K13 or 14, so yeah. Maybe one day I'll have that same amount of fun, but 2K21 is probably not the answer to that situation. Lou Dort says, never doing Unlimited, never going for Kevin. Hey, I, I don't blame you, man. Unlimited gets sweaty, but somehow I find a way to do it every season. I find a way to grind for that Ewing or the Iguodala last season. And I'll probably get Kevin McHale at some point this season because I do like Kevin McHale a whole lot. Cam Scott said, everyone's saying the Bucks are hard, but I beat them by 40. Yeah, I beat them by 50, and someone else in the chat just beat them by 39, so... The Bucks, I guess that can be kind of hard if you don't have a very good team. And the reason why I'm getting through these games so easily is because I have a very good team. You can argue I'm not even good at this game, and that I just have a good team, but... I'd say I have at least a little bit of skill. A little bit. But I also have a very good team, and that makes things a whole lot easier, so... I don't want to brag too hard about winning these games, because... My team is just so much better than these heat check teams that we're up against. Taj says I got my first ring. Congratulations, Taj. Adam says I have a bad team. Yeah, man, like, for example, like, if you have a bad team, these games probably are a little bit harder for you. But if you have someone like Curry who can shoot, if you have guys who can defend like Bill Russell, if you have guys who can hit shots like Chris Mullen and Eddie Jones, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get wins. For anybody who's wondering, this is not my actual lineup I use in Unlimited or like in Friendlies or anything, but still a good team with Blake Griffin, Curry, Eddie Jones, Chris Mullen. Speaking of Curry, look at Curry! Yeah. Almost a 30-point halftime lead. Can't complain about that. Let's see if we can do better in the second half. Jude said, dang, I'm literally eight games away from Mikhail. I hope I can go 12-0, and get no losses will be hard. I believe in you, Jude. Carlos says, I still don't know how Oko Dre is able to boost every match in Unlimited. Yeah, I don't know how he does it either, but he ha he, he, what's it called? He has a method. I don't know his method, but that method is able to help him boost every single game. Which is a big dub for him because he always gets those 12 and 0 cards first. Tosh said, look at Curry, man. Senua said, look at Curry. Yeah, that shot gave Curry takeover before halftime, so let's see if we can pull away in the second half. Let's shoot a fade away, just for fun. Leaner. Christian says, my goal is to have Dom done by Friday. 
because I'm gonna watch the games tomorrow. I got school Monday and Thursday, so I don't have that much time. That makes sense. Yeah, man. You guys are pretty busy with school, so keep on grinding out domination, grind out all these game modes whenever you have a chance, but if you don't finish them as fast as you want to, don't be down, man, because there's still a whole lot of time left in this season. A lot of time. Too much time. Nathan said so inspirational. Zersh said how many games left. Um, I have like 17 games left to get Jameson, but two more games left in this stream. I know I've said this about a hundred times now, but we're going to do half a domination today and half tomorrow. Just so I can keep give you guys some content for tomorrow. Flurry2k said, hello CP. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, Flurry. Even better now that you're here. Welcome to the stream, Flurry. Tosh said, hey Doc, do you have Diamond Thurl? No, but I've heard he's really good. Nathan said, faders are all I shoot. I mean, I don't shoot many faders. I feel like they're low percentage, but on next gen, they go in a lot. Like, way too much, in my opinion. Jack said, are you going for Opal Westbrook? Yes, I am going for Opal Westbrook. Taj says he's like an old Giannis. Yeah, a lot of guys are saying Thurl Bailey's like Giannis. Which is a pretty crazy comparison because Giannis is so good, but I've heard Thurl Bailey's the real deal. I've heard he is really that good. Zerse says, I'm going to play some more Dom tomorrow, but today I gave up at the Bucks game. Yeah, a lot of you guys are saying that you're having trouble with the Bucks, which I'm not surprised about because Giannis, pretty good. They got some good defenders and good scores, but... Since I'm using Curry and Bill Russell and all these really good players, we've been winning for every game pretty easily. But, yeah man, if you don't have a good team, I do have some good budget players I can recommend because budget players are pretty cool. Adam said, is Carlos Boozer good? Eh, he's alright. He's alright, he's a pretty good free power forward I'd say. Eden said, who's your favorite team? My favorite team is the Knicks. This is a question I get all the time, but... Yeah, for anybody wondering, I'm a Knicks fan. And we're off to a decent start this season for the first time in a long time, it feels like. Gashi says, I feel like Kawhi will be kind of easy to get. I agree, since D. Wade was super easy to get. I think Kawhi is going to be pretty easy too. Max says, do you play your starters the whole game? In Domination I do, but in actual games, no. Flash Gamer said, should I do this? And is Antoine worth grinding for? He's a free Galaxy Opal, you get hundreds of tokens along the way, you get a lot of easy MT, and Antoine's gonna be good. Free Galaxy Opal, like I said, so your decision on whether or not he's worth grinding for, he's free, so why not? Nathan said, Obi looks crazy in domination. Don't worry, he's not very good. That's a big mismatch for any good post-scoring center. Huge mismatch. What's up, Luna? Welcome back. Lethal says, I'm already 10-0 and in Unlimited. Nice, good for you. What's up, Ivan? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you in the building. We have a pretty good lead in this game versus the Jazz. So we're just trying to win this one. Trying to ride it out. And eventually, we're going to get Antoine. Not today, but tomorrow. If anybody's watching this stream as a video... If anybody really watched this far, or rewatched this far in the stream, the link to part two will probably be at the top of my description. Just saying. Taj said Curry from deep. Facts. Curry from way downtown. Well, Griffin hit that three, but Curry, he's on fire this game too. He has 40 points, which is pretty good if you ask me. Adam said, Donovan Mitchell just made a 100% smothered three. Yeah, that's what the dominate, that's what the CPU does on Hall of Fame sometimes. It can get kind of weird sometimes, especially considering how plays like that happen, where guys miss completely wide open threes. It happens, man. It happens. Nathan says he looks crazy in the picture. Oh, you're talking about Obi. Oh, you're talking about in his picture. I thought you were talking about like he's really good. I was like, really? He's not even that good. He's a heat check player. Cam Scott said, I don't know what I'll do when the stream ends. I feel like the last five hours have been my whole life. 
I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. I'm glad you've, glad you've been into it. But there are definitely some other streams out there, some other guys I'd recommend. I guess we can stop by and maybe raid them, depending on how I'm feeling. If not, we'll definitely raid somebody tomorrow after we get Jameson. But not for real. There are some other good streamers out there if you want to watch them. Some other guys I'd recommend. And there's also going to be NBA basketball games on tonight. Of course, football has been on pretty much the whole day. There's always sports on that you can watch. If I wasn't streaming right now, I would definitely be watching sports for sure. I'd definitely be watching NBA because, like I said earlier, I'm trying to make this comeback in fantasy. And, yeah. Yeah. I always love watching basketball while I'm keeping up with my fantasy. Max says, I've been watching for three hours. Yes, you've been watching for a while, man. Lee the Logan says, I have a basketball game tomorrow, and it's my first time starting, so wish me luck. Good luck, Logan. Ivan said, who's your favorite player in the NBA? Carmelo. And D. Rose is a close second. Gashi said, it's so good to see Curry back. Yeah, he's been playing like a beast. He played really well yesterday versus the Clippers. And I had a feeling the Warriors would win yesterday because they played so well versus the Clippers the other day. Well, actually, they didn't play well, but they came so close. Despite having a terrible first quarter and terrible first half, they still almost won the game. So I was thinking if Curry plays a little bit better, that they were going to win. And what do you know? They won, which is a great thing for the Warriors fans and Warriors Nation. Darby says, didn't even realize I've been watching for six hours. I mean, low key, I didn't even realize I've been live for almost eight because I'm still feeling energized. I'm feel, still feeling good. It feels like the stream just started, man. You guys are bringing the energy. The chat's been active the entire stream. We've gained a lot of subs. It's been a fun one, man, and I really appreciate y'all for showing up big. And I know a bunch of you guys are also going to show up tomorrow. Isaiah says I'm back because my phone died. Welcome back, Isaiah. I hate that your phone died, but I'm glad that you're back. Cam Scott said having Draymond back has been huge for the Warriors, especially defensively. Especially on defense. He's been great for them defensively, a great playmaker. Not the best scorer, but he'll pick it up as the season goes on, I think. Jay Bucket said, true, they needed defense. They really needed defense, but Curry provided the offense yesterday. He also had that 62-point game, 30 the next game. Curry's been a beast, and the Warriors have needed every single little bit of it. Taj said, I'm drinking coffee to stay awake. I don't really drink coffee, but maybe I should start. A lot of you guys who watch the channel have been making theories lately that I don't sleep. Maybe coffee would help with my lack of sleep. Nathan says, I'm drinking so much Coke to stay awake. I've drank nothing but water this stream, believe it or not. You guys have seen this transparent water cup right here. I promise y'all it's not vodka or anything. It's certainly water. It is certainly water. I don't condone drinking that alcohol stuff on stream. No, no. That wouldn't be very good. Max said, one time I drank coffee and threw up. I've never thrown up, but I just don't really drink it. Not because I don't like it. I just don't drink it for some reason. But maybe I should start. Maybe I should give it a try. Taj said, does anybody have Pink Diamond Shaq? I've actually been thinking about picking him up, but I got Bill Russell yesterday and he's playing like a beast for me, so he's probably gonna be my starting center for the near future. Ivan said, how do you feel about Thurl Bailey? I don't have Thurl, but I've heard he's like Giannis. That's what I've heard, but I haven't used him yet. Odd Squad says, Doc has Discord now. Yes, I do. Shout out to my boy, Troyaholic. I'm not sure if he's in here, but he made the server for me, and he's done a great job running it with me. Kind of. I mean, I haven't really run it. In fact, I'm rarely in there, but I'm definitely going to start joining it more since there are more of you guys in there. Jay Drizzle says, I left to do school and do things, and three hours later, still grinding. Yes, sir, Jay Drizzle. I'm loving the grind, too. I'm glad you love the streams. It's been fun, man, these last couple days, these long streams, and I'm glad you guys have enjoyed them for so long. Danny B says, is Hal Greer still good? I mean, he didn't suddenly turn to trash or anything. I'd say he's definitely still good. There's other good guards in the game you can get instead, but Hal Greer, still a very good diamond reward for sure. 
Adam says I'm down by 11 to the Jazz. Yeah, I can't say the same. We've been killing the Jazz. We've been kind of bad on offense in the second half. Well, ever since the first quarter, we've been kind of bad on offense, but we're still at, we're still holding a decent lead, which I can't complain about. Lou Dort says I'm level 13 right now. I think I'm also about the same. I think I'm 14, actually. Dylan Patel says I'm literally playing Sweats and Unlimited all day, and everyone just on balls. Yeah, off ball's not very cool. That's why I don't do it. Off ball equals no skill. Well, actually, it does take some skill sometimes to read the passing lanes and play help defense, but in my, in my mind, like, if you're playing off-ball defense, it's because you know you can't guard the ball handler on the other team. Jay Bucket says, I think I'm level 18 or 19. That's not too bad. That's not terrible. There are some guys who are almost level 30 already. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think anybody's almost level 30, but 19 does not too bad. Jay Drizzle said, Boogie Cousins, in my opinion, is a top five center in the game. Yeah, I've heard he's really good. I haven't used him, but I've heard that he's a beast, that pink diamond boogie. A lot of you guys have been pulling him. A lot of you guys have picked him up. I personally haven't used him, but I don't doubt that he's good. I will say, though, defensively, I think Bill Russell might be the best center in the game. Offensively, of course he can't shoot like some other guys can, but defensively, he is great. Nathan says someone already has Kawhi. Sadly, it's impossible to get Kawhi right now. Jay Bucket says that's a lie. Yeah, that's an 100% lie about someone having Kawhi. That rhymed. I've been rhyming like crazy this stream. But yeah, nobody has Kawhi just yet. Odd Squad says I can't believe Pistol Pete died. That was a while ago, but it really does suck that he's not still alive for sure. Adam says, sometimes I off-ball and I don't notice. To be fair, you can't play on-ball defense the entire game because let's say right here, uh, let's say he blows past me. I gotta take control of Bill Russell in case Donovan Mitchell decides to drive to the paint. But if Donovan Mitchell shoots a three like right there, then I gotta take control of another defender so I can play help defense. So, you can't play on-ball the entire game if you want to play good defense. You gotta play help. You gotta recover. You gotta play team defense and control multiple guys on your on your team, because that's how basketball works. You can't just guard one guy the whole game. Right here, I gotta play help. I gotta recover with Bill Russell and Blake Griffin to cut off the lane, but I didn't recover in time, so they scored. And sadly, I'm only up by 48. Either way, we're gonna dribble out the clock. That's another game in the books. Another good win. Can't complain about that. We'll take it, for sure. Darby says, I only off-ball when they spam snatchbacks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to on-ball when they do that. It's hard to on-ball versus the curry slide because it's so fast and hard to guard sometimes. Off-ball is understandable. Sometimes you have to play it because of how weak the defense seems, but I try to play on-ball as much as I can just for the integrity of the game and for my game. Taj says one thing about Thurl I don't like is his release. I haven't shot a jumper with him. I haven't heard much about his release. I just heard that he's a miniature Giannis. Alright guys, this is a sad thing for me to say out loud. I really do hate to say it, but I think this is going to be the final game right here. We have 51 stars, so we are over halfway done. And I said earlier that we are going to finish up one half of Domination and play the other half tomorrow. And we're already over halfway done, so we're going to play one more game. And that's going to be it for today. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling great. We went for nine hours yesterday. I want to make it all the way to eight today. And yeah, I want to leave some content for tomorrow. So y'all get ready for this final game. Should be a good one. And yeah, the grind's almost over for today. Taj says, Doc, you grinding. Yes, sir. Always. Jay Drizzle says I'm five games away from Antoine. Yes, sir. We really have been grinding lately, though. We've been grinding like crazy. Yesterday, we streamed for like nine hours. We won 150 games in one stream for Pink Diamond Doug West. I was the first person in the world to get him, which was pretty inspirational. Pretty legendary, if you ask me. And because I did that, I didn't get to start on domination, so... Sad. 
Sad stuff, but you know why it's not really that sad is because we had the chance to play some domination today, which is a great thing. I've enjoyed it, and we have to play some more tomorrow, which is going to be good. What's up, Google Games? Uh, we finished up 17 games. This is game number 18. Tomorrow, we're going to do the final 15. Should be fun. Adam says, I'm going to try finishing this division, then I'm going to stop. Hey, man, if you don't have to stop, don't stop. Feel free to keep grinding. I could keep on going, but there's some other stuff I want to do. I got to go to the gym, of course. I got to take a shower and all that stuff. And I'd love to watch some basketball later tonight once I get back. Since I'm not going to be there for long, I'm just going to go there, run, do a little interval workout on the treadmill, burn some fat. It's going to be pretty cool. Looking forward to that. Google says I'm on like six. Hey Google, at least you've gotten started. This domination is definitely worth doing. It's definitely worth grinding. All that matters is that you're playing it. Doesn't matter what pace you're going at. Just keep on grinding and you'll be good. Luis said goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Luis. I'll see you again. Another stream, for sure. Lil Codeine says three more quarters. Yes, sir, Codeine. Yes, sir. Farce said, how do heat check cards work? So the way the heat check cards work is if they're playing well in real life, their card heats up. Their card gets better. If they're on fire in person, their card catches fire. So the reason why Curry's card is a 96 overall on fire right now is because He's playing so well in real life. He had 33 and 10 yesterday, which is a great game for him. And yeah, his card is on fire because he's on fire. Snipe God said, yo, is this the last game for you? This is not the last game for Jameson, but this is the last game of the stream. If we win this game, that is 18 games down in this stream alone with nine games to go. And we've actually won 17 games in about seven and a half hours which is a pretty good pace since in about seven hours you should win at least 14 games but we've won 16 total which is pretty good i'd say louisville says when do you graduate college this year this year 2021 i'm excited for it only 14 more hours for me left to graduate so yeah not very many hours left and college has been a grind Chance says you're one game in front of me because my game crashed. That's too bad. Wait, I thought you were ahead of me earlier. I know your game crashed, but that's tough that I passed you. To be fair though, you're going to be ahead of me again since I'm going to take a break and go to the gym since your boy's not trying to get fat. Getting fat equals not comfortable or healthy. Snipe God says I'm taking my time. I think I've done eight or nine games but I'm probably going to get him by Tuesday. That's not bad. I mean, the season's been going for one day now, so getting this Galaxy Opal by Tuesday is definitely not a bad thing. Nothing to scoff at. Serenity says, what are you studying? Double major in neuroscience and communications broadcasting. That's why I enjoy commentating. I feel that that's why I'm decent at it. I enjoy the communications broadcasting stuff. I can't complain. Wouldn't mind being a broadcaster one day. That would be so dope. Adam says you got ahead of me. I mean, hey man, no matter what. I don't really care if I'm ahead of y'all or not because I believe we should all go at our own pace. It's no hurry, it's no rush. If you get this card before me, I'm not going to cry about it. If I get it before you guys, I'm not going to brag about it. So go at your own pace and... Don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare your growth to others, man. When flowers grow, even if the flower next to them is taller, they don't complain, they don't compare. The flowers just keep on growing. So, let's keep on moving forward. Nathan says, I'm nine and I weigh 102. Good for you. Very good for you. Gianna Luca says, just packed heat check hard and that's very big. Very nice. Hopefully I pack him too. I would love to pack him. Adam said it's not a race. Exactly, Adam. That's what I'm saying. It's no race. It is not a race at all. Elijah says this season is too good. I would grind. Yeah, this season is looking really good content-wise. I mean, so many guys are playing the new domination. So many guys are playing triple threat offline and online. So many guys are grinding XP. The new season so far has been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it, and 
I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Cam says that's because Flowers can't talk. Ha 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 ha. Good one. Why are they replaying that? That was literally just a wide open layup. The reason why I shoot so many layups is because I don't want to get a replay every time I dunk, but I guess it was a pretty nice layup. Adam says, I just want my first Opal. Same, I enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Like I said, I've really enjoyed the season so far. The content's been pretty good. Shouldn't have dunked that. Thankfully, we didn't get a replay. Nice shot. Nathan says, you should try to get Go Chris. I'm assuming you're talking about Chris Weber. Uh, I didn't lock in for him. I don't think I need him to be honest with you. Cam says, if you don't want replays, go to settings and turn them off. Yeah, I do want replays though. I just don't want too many of them. Messiah says, I'm back. What game are you on? This is actually the final game of the stream. If we win this game, that is 18 out of 33, so. A little over halfway done, and that leaves 15 for us to win tomorrow, which is pretty good. 15 games in one stream, we can definitely do that tomorrow. Considering that this is game number 18 of this stream, we can definitely do that. We've beaten every single Eastern Conference team, and we've beaten the Jazz and the Nuggets in the Western Conference. Jude says in the settings, you, yeah, I, I literally just read someone who was saying the exact same thing. I literally just responded to the exact same thing. Adam said came back from a 15-point deficit. Nice, Adam. That's good that you're coming back from all these deficits, but the real ones, they don't get in these deficits. The real ones, they dominate the game from the very beginning. Max said, is 980 MT good for one domination game? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, actually. Some guys get like over a thousand, but I mean, hey, as long as you're getting MT, as long as you're getting three stars, that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Terrible defense. Nathan said, that's good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Nathan says, after the spotlight, I'm grinding domination. Oh, call an ambulance. But yeah, let me know what progress you make on domination. Amit says, I got 2.2 thousand, good for you. Max said, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. It's not terrible, but not amazing either. Codeine said, one more half, nice. Elijah said, how much you play this game? Pretty often. Lou Dort says, are those the actual commentators on Next Gen? They're not fake commentators, so I guess they are the actual commentators on Next Gen. Not for real though, the commentary crew usually changes a bit, pre-game and during the game, usually varies. Sometimes you see David Aldridge, sometimes you see Ali LaForce, they change it up every now and then. Kali said, I'm level 12, what are your opinions on levels this season? Do you think the grind will be effed again? I mean, it wasn't, why, if that, by that, do you mean, do I think it's going to be too easy? Then maybe, because it was way too easy last season. Congratulations on Wade, but yeah, that grind for Wade was a lot easier than the grind for Blake or the grind for Curry, for sure. And here's Curry, checked by Hill. From deep three-point range, Curry's shot is off. Lou Dort says, I guess that's cool then. Yeah, it's not a big deal. In my opinion, some guys really do care about the commentators and like consistency with commentators and new commentary, old commentary. Some guys really care about that, but it's not a really big deal for me. Splash Central said, what's up, I'm back. Welcome back, Splash Central. Also, what's up, Too Real? Welcome to the stream. Big Time Chris says, sorry, I haven't been in your streams. Wasn't feeling my team. It's all good. My team's pretty cool this season though, so maybe you'll start feeling it again pretty soon. This season's been a lot of fun for my team so far. I mean, the last couple seasons have been a lot of fun. 
this season and the season of giving. It's been pretty cool, not going to lie. Elijah said, who's your best player? Best player is probably Curry. I mean, I have a bunch of Galaxy Opals and Curry's only a pink diamond, but I like him a lot. Kali says, you think the grind will be easy? The grind for Wade was insanely easy. The grind for Baron Davis was even easier. I wouldn't even call it a grind. So I think it's going to be pretty easy, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be kind of hard like it was back in Season 1, but in Season 3, pretty much everyone, pretty much everyone was being handed out XP from 2K in Season 3 because it was the season to giving. Darby said, which season was your favorite? Favorite season? Definitely Season 3. Like I said, the grind was easy, which isn't a bad thing. Some guys may wish it was harder, but I'd say it was pretty fun. And of course, we also got Baron Davis, Wilt Chamberlain, Pretty good unlimited reward, Andre Iguodala. Limited reward, Aaron Gordon. Eh, he was alright, I guess. I like Season 3 a lot because of all the content, all the tokens, all the MT, Christmas, Season of Giving. That's what Christmas is all about. So, it was a pretty fun season. And so far, Season 4 has some pretty good potential. The limited reward's a lot better. Domination's back, which is a lot of new content. Doug West is pretty good as the 750 wins reward. I think Mikhail's a pretty good unlimited reward, and I mean, it just looks fun, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing through the season a lot. Kali said the season's real good, man. I can't wait. I'm telling you, man, it is going to be good, just like you said. I also can't wait. It's been so good so far, and I think it's only going to get better as we get more content. Cam Scott says, who's your favorite NBA duo? Hmm, and that's a tough one, man. My favorite duo. My favorite team is the Knicks, man. And my second favorite team is the Hawks. But Trey Young and John Collins, it's a good duo, but not my favorite. And like Julius Randle, I like him, but the Knicks, I can't think of a great duo on the Knicks. Mitch and RJ. Mitch and Randle. RJ and Randle. I don't have a super favorite duo on the Knicks. So my favorite duo in the league is honestly probably... Luca and Porzingis or Stephen Clay. Watching those guys is freaking awesome. And they're not my favorite duo, but it's also fun to watch Kyrie and KD. What's good, Tevin? Welcome to the stream. You're a little bit late, but better late than never. You've made it to the final half of the stream. Once this half is over, the stream is over. And I'm telling you, man, we are winning these games at a pretty good pace, so. We've made some good progress this stream. Tomorrow, we're going to end things. We're going to finish Domination. But until then, let's play through this game. And you guys have a good night afterwards. Gianna Luca said, should I sell Harden for 40K? Or should I wait until he's on fire? If I were you, I would wait until he's on fire. Because then maybe you'll be able to get him for a little bit more. I think waiting until he's on fire is a pretty good idea. Especially considering he didn't even play that well yesterday, but still had like 50 fantasy points for my, for my league. Nathan says I like Kyrie and KD. Me too. I also like LeBron and AD, but my favorite duo probably is... Honestly, it probably is Luka and Porzingis. Because those are my two of my favorite players in the NBA right now. Of course, Damon CJ is also pretty cool. That's one that I've been thinking about lately. I like Carmelo, of course, y'all know that, and he's on the Trailblazers, so because of that, I kind of go for the Trailblazers too, but not a Trailblazers fan, I'd say. Amit says, it's the third quarter, Cousins is fouled out, and my bench is bronzes. Wow. That is a pretty crappy situation right there. You can still win because if you have the rest of your team out there, but Cousins is so good. He's such a good center. That sucks that he's fouled out for you. Lou Dort says he finished an alley under both legs. Sapphire Jabari Parker? What? He did an under the legs alley oop. I didn't know Jabari Parker was dunking like that, but to be fair, a lot of you guys have told me that Jabari Parker is really good. A lot of y'all have told me that, so I'm not going to doubt y'all on that one. And if he's really out here doing through the legs oops, that's pretty crazy. Nathan said Wall and Harden, also a pretty good duo, but a lot of guys have been talking about the John Wall and Christian Wood duo. They've been calling that duo Hardwood. 
People have also been calling the duo in Cleveland, Colin Sexton and Garland, they've been calling it Sexland. Great name. Great nickname. Probably my favorite nickname for a duo in the NBA for sure. Dynamite says I had 60 in one game with them. That's a dub. Darby says, what do you think about our first option, Jalen Brown? I mean, yeah, Jalen Brown, he's had a good season. And now that Jason Tatum has the virus, I guess that he's going to have to step it up. He's averaging, like, low-key near 30 this season. Not, like, really near 30, but pretty damn close. Having the best season of his career. So, now that Jason Tatum is out, he's going to have to step up on offense. If Kemba Walker comes back, that would be a big help in terms of taking a load off his shoulders, but... We'll have to see if that even happens soon, which it should. Max said, yo, Rams got the dub. Yeah, I got that one wrong. I was not expecting the Rams to win. I definitely wasn't, especially after they just snuck in the playoffs last week. And the way that Seahawks have been playing on defense, man, they've been so good defensively. I was not expecting them to lose this game to the Rams team that's kind of depleted offensively. And of course, Aaron Donald also got injured. He's so good defensively, but hey, what do, what do you know? The Rams, a couple wins away from another Super Bowl for the first time in three, four years. Has it really been that long? I don't think it has been. BWJ says, Doc, do you have any unlimited advice? I really want Kevin McHale. I would recommend using a budget squad. I'd recommend using some like, cheaper players because if you use a worse lineup, you don't have as much of a chance of facing off versus all Opal and Pink Diamond teams. I'd say using guys like Markel Fultz, Tyler Hero is not a bad idea. I usually do a little bit of a combination. I'll use guys like Curry, I'll use Blake, and I'll combine guys like that with really good budget players and if you do that, usually you'll either match up versus teams who are doing the same thing so their benches aren't as deep, or you match up versus lower overall teams. And if you do match up versus somehow like really, really, really good teams, then you usually have budget players who can still score, still defend, and are good enough to hang with the big budget, with the big players like Kobe and KD and Bird, for example. Michael Jordan says, are you going to get Kawhi? Of course we're going to get Kawhi. I mean, it's so easy to get him. And we've gotten Curry, we've gotten Wade, we've gotten, who else? Blake Griffin. We've gotten every single level 40 player so far, so I don't see how we're not going to get um, Kawhi, who I think is going to be a great shooting guard. That was a terrible shot. Why am I taking such dumb shots? We're still up by 30, but I'm taking such dumb shot attempts, man. I got to chill. All right, guys, one more quarter. One more quarter, and it's over. It's been a good stream, man. We've gotten some good work in, and let's see if we can close out this last quarter of the stream strong. Hash Gaming says, I'm glad I can still catch the stream. Hey, I'm glad you can catch it too, Hash. It's been a good stream. Really good. Has it been as good as yesterday's? I don't know. But it's been amazing. We've averaged well over 100 viewers this stream. We've been live for eight hours almost, and we still have so many viewers in here. And we also had our second consecutive 400 like stream, which I can't complain about one bit. And I can't do anything else but thank y'all for dropping the likes. And I can't help but thank all the new subscribers too. We've gained 100 subs this stream. We gained 200 yesterday. Those are freaking insane numbers, and... If we keep this up, we're going to be at 7,000 in no time, man. Timothy Rice, thank you for subscribing. Like I said, man, all new subscribers to this stream are appreciated. It's been a good one, and you guys make sure your notifications are turned on, because we're going to be right back at it tomorrow doing the exact same thing. Except tomorrow, we only have to win 15 more games. So tomorrow's stream is probably going to be the same length as this one because I'm going to like shoot around with Jameson. We're going to take it slow. It's, it's really no rush. We're going to get Jameson. It's not a race. And we're going to test him out, put him in the lineup, and see if he is worth that grind that we've been doing. Nathan said, should I do the Kareem challenge? 
A uh, free Hall of Fame badge, free diamond shoe, I don't see why not. And you can also grind some XP while you're at it with other players. I say it's worth it. Kali said, hey Doc, could you call D. Wade and Jimmy Butler a duo in my team? Maybe a big three if you throw Dosh Dosh at the five. That's a pretty good team. A very good Heat team too. I like the Heat, I'm not a fan of them, but they have some pretty good players and some fun guys to watch. What's up, Max? Welcome back. Lou Dort said, some MT. Not too bad. Exactly. Some MT. Kali said, oh, I already read that. My gosh. This is what happens when you try to read the chat so fast. You read the same messages over and over sometimes. Darby says, the free Hall of Fame badge is deep hooks. Yeah, I heard about that. There were some guys saying that they got Intimidator and stuff, but they were definitely capping. Because everybody caps. Toxic says, what playbook do you use? I use the Bucks playbook, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the Bucks. I don't really call plays, but every now and then, I'll just get some movement. For example, if my offense is kind of stagnant, I'll just give the ball to Curry. We'll get the offense set up, and we'll just move it around. If there's a mismatch in the post, like right here, usually my playbook identifies it, and we just go to that person, we get some movement, and you never like the ball sticking too much with one person, so... Yeah. Every now and then we'll do that, we'll move the ball around, and yeah, I'll show you some more plays just for fun. It's the final two minutes, so I guess we'll run some plays on offense. Let's get the ball back to Curry. Everybody gets across half court. Let's see what play gets called for us. I think this is an ISO. This is another post ISO, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It gets Blake Griffin down in the post, there's nobody in the paint to stop him, and I have a lot of good post players like Bill Russell and Blake, so I like when they call post plays like that. Toxic says, how do you run the play? So my play calling is on automatic. Of course, if you want to call a play, I'll show you how to next possession. And I know some pretty good plays, there are some good plays in this playbook, but usually I just run with the freelance, and for example, let's say I want to get a shot with Chris Mullen, and... Yeah, my favorite play to use with Chris Mullen is quick five out. Where right here, Chris Mullen just runs off a screen, and most of the time he gets a wide open three, but we'll take the two instead. Lou Dort said, always a good thing when you have some badges on the auction house. Facts, always a good thing. Big Goop said, what's up, what's good, Big Goop? Welcome to the stream. You made it to the final minute of my gameplay. Welcome. Let's close out this game, let's get the win, and let's end this stream strong. 18 out of 33 games in the books. What's good, Hey Zans? What's good, 32 Weasel? Why is Blake Griffin fouling? I don't know, but whatever. We still have a decent little lead. And I guess we still have time to win by 40. This hasn't been our best game, but it hasn't been a terrible game either. Let's get one more bucket. We'll clamp up on defense. I would love to win by 40. Look at that, and one. Beautiful. Max said, good night, Doc. It was fun talking. See you tomorrow. Hey, I will see you tomorrow. I would love to win this game by 40. But hey, if we don't, it ain't a big deal. Let's hold the ball a little bit, let the clock run out, and yeah, we're going to end the stream right there. Cameron said, are you going to raid anyone? I don't know if I feel like it. Psych, yes, I do. I'm going to have to set up my browser software, my Streamlabs thing, to raid, but hey, we'll definitely still raid someone. It's not going to be a super long raid, but yeah, you guys join their stream, subscribe to the person who we raid, and yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get that set up now. There we go. Let me pull up my YouTube and see who's live, and if any of my boys are live, we'll definitely raid them for sure. Also, let me go ahead and set up a browser window so that I can, you know, actually pull up the raid on the screen so you guys can see it. And yeah, final game of the stream is over. Very happy about that. And, okay, here we go. You guys should be able to see Google on the stream. Yeah, there's my Google Chrome extension. I'm going to go ahead and hide that for now. We're going to do that in a second. Let me pull up YouTube and see who's live. And like I said... If any of the boys are live, we'll go through and raid them.
So yesterday I raided my boy Codeine. It was a really awesome raid. I appreciate you guys coming through and subscribing to him. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that stream yesterday and enjoyed the raid yesterday. We're gonna raid my boy Ryan today since he's live. So let me pull up the link to his stream, the link to his channel, and I would love it if you guys raided him. So I'm gonna spam his link in the chat and we're gonna go from there after I get all these packs done. I'm wondering, how many packs do I have, man? We have, wow, yeah, that's a lot of packs. A lot of packs I still haven't opened because we have done all these games and haven't opened the packs. So, yeah, there we go. 54 out of 99 stars. Tomorrow, we're going to get the final 45 stars, but until then, we're going to raid Ryan. So, I'm going to pull that computer window up right here next to me while keeping 2K on. So, this is going to be a big time, big time move. So, we're going to raid him. I'm going to spam his link in the chat. So, yeah. Y'all join his stream and we're going to go from there. Let me go ahead and do my stuff in the chat. I guess I can pull up myself doing that right here. So, here's my window capture. Here's my stream right here. Here's my channel right here. Apparently, we're at 6.18 thousand subs. Very close to 6.2. Can't complain about that. I'm going to paste this link right here. You guys join that link. And we're going to, yeah, subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Like his stream and all those good things. We're going to join his stream right here, right now. There's his stream right there. Let me turn off my music real quick so you guys can hear him talk. There we go. That's a nice raid right there. Like I said, you guys make sure to like his stream just like this. Like his stream, subscribe to his channel like I have. He's at 973 subs, so he's getting close to 1,000. He should be getting there soon. He just gained a sub right there. I would love it if y'all subbed to him. He plays 2K too. He's getting Antoine Jameson today, apparently. So that's a great thing. And yeah. Ryan with the raid. He loved to see it. He's getting so close to 1,000, man. I believe he's going to get there pretty soon. My boy Codeine's also getting pretty close, so... Yeah, you guys, check out his channel. Drop a like on it. You guys see the 2K gameplay right there on my right. And this is kind of ratchet having this not taking up the whole screen like this. But I'd say this is still a decent format for a raid. So, like I said, subscribe to his channel. You see it right here. I have notifications turned on, which is a great thing. Like his stream. And, yeah, Royal Ryan. We're going to end the stream right there. It was definitely a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A really fun one, man. Over 400 likes for the second straight stream. And once again, we gained over 100 subs in the stream, which is a beautiful thing. So you guys stay chill, man. Stay safe. Thank you all for tuning in. At the end of my stream yesterday, we were level 5. Now we're level 14. Not too bad. And of course, as you see right here, we have 54 stars in Heat Check Domination. Tomorrow, we're going to get the final 45. And of course, you already know yesterday, we were the first person in the world to get Doug West. So that's why we're a little bit behind on the domination grind. But tomorrow, we're going to get right back to it. And we're going to finish Heat Check Domination strong. Brian Good, Max, Joe, Shant, Jay Drizzle, Odd Squad, D23, everybody in the stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. And... I hope all you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you are around the world, and I'll see y'all again real soon. Take it easy, Doc Nation.